Okay, I see the green square. How are we doing, everybody? We're live. We're live here on Cornell's wonderful campus here in Phillips Hall in order to broadcast some Super Smash Brothers. So it's pretty cool. Later, we'll get a picture of everybody, but this is the most stacked bracket we've had all year. This is, this is amazing. So, yeah, look forward to some great gameplay because this is going to be amazing. Now, let's see. It looks like for our first match, we have a less versus less than three. So, that's going to be pretty cool. The question is, what characters are you going to play? This is Need Cornell Monthly 42. And this is winner's round one. All right. So winner's round one, Cornell Monthly 42. Here we go. Alesh versus less than three. And here we go. So we've got, oh, so we've got less than three playing Pokemon Trainer. When did, whoa, when did this happen? All right, well, that's okay. Alesh playing the Zero Suit. So here we go, starting off on a good start for Alesh, using that good frame data to win neutral for now. Oh, welcome, Heathnoff. No, this ain't Marvel. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Well, we might get a Marvel stream running one of these days, that's for sure. Well, welcome. Thank you for thank you for logging into the stream. Much appreciated. Let's see. Oh my gosh, Nightbot is being a mod again. Hold on. I, oh, I suppose I should fix that at some point, right? But here we go. All right, zero suit. All right, I suppose I should pay more attention. Looks like Lesh with Zero Suit has taken the first stock. Oh wait, no, it's that's less than three. I've got everything all mixed up. Okay, Lesh is Pokemon Trainer. Zero Suit is less than three. There we go. So it looks like, so we're back. Game one, winners round one. Looks like they're dealing on the, dealing on the second stock here. Right now, pretty even, although Squirtle, unless using Squirtle at such a late percent, but here's the Ivysaur. You've got the up airs we know and love. Will less than three be able to land? With the down B, yes. Less than three will be able to land. Here you go, he uses the charge shot, going for some edge guarding. Does it the wrong way for the sake of movement? That's A-OK, -okay. B reverse is cool. All right, here we go, more edge guarding goes for the back air, but a critical switch from Alesh just in time, but the back air will eventually find its target. Here we go, Lesh going for the edge guard flamethrower. That covers <laughs> like how many options. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, Alesh going for the Nair, runs off there with Charizard, huge hitbox. That's gonna do it, and it's gonna be a one stock, last stock scenario on game one. Right, here we go, Lesh got the up air, but then Zero Suit converted from it. What is, what is this frame data? <laughs> Alright, Zero Suit going with the landing there. The landing there, side B. Alright, Lesh gets the down throw, but the percent's too high to follow up. Oh, neutralizing side B with side B. <laughs> you love to see that. Oh, that was close. Didn't quite connect the up B after that stun. That's tough. Gonna have to win neutral all over again. 
But Lesh needs to make it back to stage there. Man, Less Than 3 really wants this kill, especially via the up B method, because, I mean, it would kill at this percent, especially on Lesh. But let's see what he's able to do. Or is Lesh going to be able to take this back? Up smash, good DI from Lesh. Oh, you saw the up beads like coming out, but it wasn't fast enough for Charizard's Nair. Charizard going for dash attack, and just like that, it's even. Charizard going for the fair. Lesh. Oh, Zero Suit gets punished for the up beat there. That's okay. He really wanted it. He really wanted that uppy. He really wanted that uppy. It is tough. It is tough. Right, that is a okay. Good first game, though. Very close. That's cool. Oh, what's going on, chat? Oh, okay, we'll get him scored. <laughs> oh, cool. Let me quickly update Nightbot with the current bracket command so that the good people can look at the bracket for today. Hopefully, that's updated. <laughs> All right, I wonder if I can turn off. <laughs> Let's see, excessive symbols. Uh, we're not moderating. All right, no caps. All right, that's okay. Hopefully no one abuses this. But here we go. Game two. It looks like Lesson 3 counterpicked to Pyramithra on Smashville. So that's pretty comfy. Mithra having, in my opinion, some of the best neutral game in the game, but, you know, pretty relatively high skill ceiling. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we need even more results. Uh oh, the side B doesn't seem to be working out, but Mithra is still going to recover even from that distance. However, the damage still speaks for itself. But will Mithra be able to edge guard? So far, so good. Didn't get the F smash in time, though. The prominence revolt on stage. Gonna be a good reverse edge guard and up smash. How did that kill? Well, that's a really powerful move. That's that's just incredible. I didn't expect that to kill that early, but, you know, Mithra packing the heat. But Ivysaur back throw. And Lesh is gonna switch back to Squirtle. He seems very comfortable with Squirtle. All right, here we go. Mithra going for some more aerial juggling. Is Lesh going to be able to land? Uh oh! Ah, but only a forward tilt punish for the shell stomp, <laughs> if that's what to call it. Right now, Lesh turn three doing a very good job keeping the Lesh from landing, particularly with the with the up smash and it's hard oh no he did not tech oh that's tough yeah to, to be launched at such an angle very few characters will be able to recover at that angle and distance so right now lesson three having the whole stock advantage it seems that switching to pyramithra has worked out for him very well will let be able to adapt a good recovery with Ivysaur, shields, down throw, Nair, very nice bread and butter. Alright, here we go, so, Lesh going for, oh, there's the down, there's the down air from Pyramithra. Oh, and there's that horrible tech off, oh my goodness. Because the hitbox is so big on that sword, it forces you to tech when you recover. That, that's, that is a tough one. Oh, I haven't been updating the scoreboard. Currently, it is 1-1. One, one. Less than 3 just winning, so it is best of 3. Also, we now have the bracket URL, so that's pretty cool. I 
He looks like people are going places for people are TOing. That is good. Alright, so it looks like they're gonna run it back except on PS2. So that's pretty cool. I wonder, so Lesh, you know, Pokemon Trainer, PS2, that's pretty nice, but I wonder what Lesh would take advantage of stage pick-wise, you know, to counter pick on that stage. Maybe he's more comfortable with it. It's all good. So far, the first stop is going really well, though. So at least both players are going back and forth. Alesh is now having a much easier time landing, so it seems. At least that was the main exploit in the last game, but so far so good. The edge guarding has been pretty back and forth, neutral between the two. You notice like the Charizard bears from Alesh and then, and then less than three, especially in the last game, able to get those dares and different disjoints off stage. Of course, pretty niche tech situations, not gonna lie. Oh, and there's back air from Pyra. Did not kill yet. Charizard's going to return and still gets punished by dash attack. Right, Pyra going for the back air, but also maintaining stage control. We love to see it. Another back air on stage. Alesh recovering regular get up through the side B. We love to see that. Alright, up though not going to kill yet, but prominence revolts will. Alright, here we go. So, so now then Alesh now on the second stock. Sooner the better he takes. The sooner he takes the stock, the better. But yes, no rush. Just gotta feel it out in neutral. However, less than three right now, getting some extra credit. Going for the edge guarding. Oh, but the side smash. It didn't hit just in time. And Charizard able to get the stomp on it. So far, looks like Alesh is going for a lot of a lot of stomps. Less than three, going for a lot of for a lot of forward smashes. Some of them have worked, some of them not quite. And now it is a two stock. Right now it is two stocks even. However, with less than three having the stock advantage. Oh, down smash. Where did that come from? Okay, well, down smash is going to be the edge guard tool of choice. And with that, less than three has the whole stock advantage. You know, Empire Mithra, at least Mithra is really good. Racking up damage at these early percents. Right now, Lesh choosing to play Squirtle. Seems like Squirtle is his pick, the, the um, Pokemon he's most comfortable with. Which is really cool to see. Usually, I see Ivysaur, especially in terms of neutral, but. Hey, I love to see it. Look at these low hit forward airs. So far been working out very, very well for him. Alright, nice rolling back so he doesn't get caught by the forwards. Forward or by up smash. Up smash, that's me. Alright, here we go. Charizard back throw. Not gonna kill. Or it's gonna win. <laughs> Alright, edge guarding with the third. Alright, respecting the prominence revolt. Very good. Alright, Lesh is gonna be able to punish that. Up throw, will it kill? On the platform, it will. Ah, he, he said PS2. Isn't this on Nintendo Switch? That, that That's a good question. Sometimes we wonder about PS2 emulation on the Nintendo Switch. It seems that Nintendo allows it in this case. Oh, and that was close. And then it looks like less than three is going to take that set 2-1. Really nice game, I have to say. Alright, so that's gonna be game one. That's the winner 
winners, find winners round one. So, it's really neat. So, yeah, it's so tight over here. This is, hey, I'm you have a Yeah, so I'm not though. I am currently, yeah, I just commentated your match. It's pretty neat, though. Can I get on the mic at some point? Absolutely, right now. Yeah, it's open mic, so if you want to, want to, want to sit down. Wires everywhere. Yeah, there are wires everywhere. If you can find a way over. Hello, everyone. We're about to get some. There we go. We're about to get some post-match footage from uh, a Lesh. So here we go. Oh, just one. No, 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 my Oh, okay. Nothing, nothing interesting. You can, you can just sit here and commentate. Though. Yeah, that's cool too. Literally, we had our. This is like the last possible time. But yeah. So if anyone wants to see like how we're doing right now, so far really good. We've got a lot of people. This is the most stacked bracket we've had in a long time. People playing melee, people playing ultimate, people studying because finals are tomorrow. You know, it, it is it is all good. But we're all here. Yeah, no. we're in a university, so pretty cool. We should, should, should have the last tournament of the semester more often if there's so many people we get for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> the last tournament of the semester. Like having that announcement, especially. Yeah, exactly. Too. That's a nice thing. What's your name? Oh, my name is Akube. Akube? Akube? Hey, I'm Noah. Good to meet you. Noah, nice to meet you. This is cool. Well, here we go. We're getting ready for game two. It's going to be ESC versus... Let me check the bracket. <laughs> Yeah, see salmon. Salmon, yeah. Let's go. Oh shoot, I should disconnect this. I mean, oh, is that a pro? Is that a wireless controller? Oh, please disconnect that. Yo, uh, disconnect pro controllers on a console. All right, let's look at bracket. Yeah, ESC versus. Well, I, I like to say sal, salmon, but salmon. It's 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 all good either way. So ESC right, well. salmon. So this is gonna be interesting. Who does ESC play? ESC man. ESC plays a multitude of characters. Now I know him most for his Lucas. His Lucas is very impressive, but he, he, he plays many Luigi's, he plays many Donkey Kongs, he plays a whole bunch of characters. Monkey Luigi. Monkey Luigi. <laughs> oh, surely with the theory that every character is Luigi. Every character is Luigi. Every character. Tell, tell me how. Tell me how Shulk is Luigi. How? how sh <laughs> Dang. Sorties are Luigi. Right. So you, you, you either have a sword or you're Luigi. <laughs> gotcha. That, those are the rules. Well, now, now we know. <laughs> yeah. So I. Uh, I've been playing with. I, I know Sam, and we've been playing a bit over the past couple days. Okay. Um, Spelka is looking kind of looking kind of fresh, but I don't know like what the general skill level of the people here is. So. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, general the PGR right now. I would. I don't. Oh, oh no, 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 yes, yeah, talk. The the general skill level. I mean, from PGR, I haven't seen too much of Summon, but he's 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 here. Yeah. And then ESC is prominent. He's like. Is he is he like one of the top ones? Here? He's he's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. He's one of the top ones. Yeah. So. I know the game very well, but I don't know the scene very well. So yeah. The, the, the scene. Much, the, most of the stuff that, that basically have that. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, the seeding and the seeds and, and just player history. That context yeah. is always good to provide. Uh -huh. So, yeah, but ESC, Summon, definitely veterans of the Cornell Smash scene, Cornell University yeah, Smash. Yeah, sure. So, it's very nice to see them here. Facing off in winners round two. What does bracket say? It is indeed winners round two. Oh, oh, is that? Oh, okay. I see. It's a bracket. How many, yes, how many entries bracket. do we have today? Um, one. How? Yeah. How many? At twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two, 22 entries. Yeah. For, yeah, honestly, for a Cornell Smash Corner, we this is this yeah, is, that's this pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. So twenty-two entries. So that is really comfy. So yeah, looks like just, they're gonna. Be picking the stage about now. Yeah, we have still striking. Hollow Bastion. Bastion. All right. Whoa. Near the stage in the rotation with that platform in the center. Dang, what a gentleman. I forgot that's the latest starter. Yeah. All right. Looks like Salmon indeed playing Falco. And ESC 
Who is he gonna choose? Today it is Luigi. Luigi. All right, it's the classic. Can't, there you go. Can't improve on the classic. Absolutely. Here we go. So. ESC Luigi. Falco's gonna be looking for this. This is Falco. Some back airs, some up tilts. Yeah, up tilts. Yeah. yeah. Luigi's gonna be looking for some grab. Oh, here we go. Two up tilts into right, up yeah. air. So if I learn anything from playing against Salmon is that once he gets you in the air, he can pull off those strings so efficiently. That's yeah. Cause the Because the, yeah, the Falco, Falco is one of the best combo yeah. games in and, the and, game. And it's so versatile too. Like it's not the same combo every time. It's not stock. It kind of depends on what your opponent's doing. Exactly. So Ooh, some trying to use those down beats to land. Interesting approach to Falco's aerial. There we go. I mean, Luigi Cyclone. It's it's a pretty safe move. Incredibly accurate. Yeah. And I mean, if you can land safely with it, then it works out wonderfully. Yeah. It's that 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 hitbox that like kind of slow falls you. Can be very useful against a lot of those aerial oriented characters. Exactly. Great way to mix up landings. Here you go. Yep. Yes. Oh, and then we have you see the spot dodge on the grab here. Spot dodge. The up air, and that's actually Gonna kill. Wow. And he died because he whiffed grab. Man, you hate to see that, especially as a Luigi yeah, and player. Luigi, it's, gonna, it's <laughs> like, what else can you do at that point? What else you, can you do? The one thing you have has failed you. Failed you oh, with that drag hit. down fair, drag that's gonna connect fair. into a combo. That was Luigi now, sec now securely in disadvantage. Oh, but Not gonna matter covers. anyway, though. The momentum on that up is insane. Go. Oh my goodness, look at that conversion. Just a little late with the forward air, and then Luigi Cyclone is able to take the stock yep. that high. We were talking earlier about how that's just like a good move for landing in general. Absolutely. And now we just have that, we just have that securing the kill, even you know, on top of being a reliable option. There we go. Also, so right now, off stage now, but that side B is gonna get him with a lot of extra credit. Right now, he's looking for the kill option. Doesn't get the back oh, air. Gets out of the cyclone. Second. That's amazing. So he fell out of a little cyclone. bit unreliable. It looks like. Oh well, sometimes win boxes aren't what they seem. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it happens in Ultimate a lot. Like hitting oh, someone God. and getting punished for like not getting the full. Oh, yo, we got we got HD. In this? Yeah, we got HD. I forgot <laughs> we have full screen. I I, I forget to use it. Oh man. Yeah, he's right. not smaller screen. Looks like Falco kind of looking for a way back to the stage here. Luigi not going to get that grab. Oh, good spot dodge. Oh, and the Cyclone smash. is again going to kind of fall. Oh, forward tilt from ESC. All right, yep. going for the edge guard. Trying to catch Luigi Falco's kinda, jumps. Yep, trying to kind of keep him out of the center stage here, using that platform as cover. Oh, the up smash was on the way, but the last hit of forward air is going to cancel it. Ooh, right now, oh, spike, good gets hit by the from Salmon. And he gets goozled by the by the trades and upbees. That was tough. Very good game there, though. So went for the down air edge guard, clash with upbee. And missed the tech on the stage. Missed because to be fair, you're going for the spike. Often not prepared to get that tech. That's the thing, yeah. That's a, that's, that is indeed an unexpected tech situation. Yep. Right, okay. See what the players are gonna go to now. This is a question. Yes, he does get to make some strikes, but we'll see how much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, during my set, we only had two strikes a piece. Oh my god! Forgot goodness. what the set was. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> like what? What? What is the rules? Nobody knows what the rules are. The, 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 the first rule in the rules set is that we're not allowed to tell you what it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, Bastion's legal? Well, I didn't know. <laughs> it is a legal starter at, at yep. tour. If anyone is curious, you know, we're running um, a modified DSR. Or, are we running DSR? I'm not sure. I'm not up to date with the rule sets. I think we're running, like, a modified DSR, and then the starters mean Final Destination, Battlefield, Small Battlefield, all of Bastion, Town and City. Looks like the game is starting right now, though. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. It means Smashville, PS2, Yoshi. Here we go, but regardless, it looks yeah. like ESC. We'll, we'll learn about the counting picks later. Right now we gotta learn about <laughs> what Luigi that. can do to get back to the stage right now. That's the question. Whiffing the snap to ledge. Without them getting avoided for that whiff with the grab. ESC counter picking to Smashville. Yep. And that you love to see. I wonder how he'll take advantage of that center 
Uh, ooh, that side knee clashing. I think that with the grab. Yeah. Oh wow, both characters going relatively deep there, but no one getting rewarded for it. Luigi keeps going for those grabs. Does not seem on to fruition at this moment. Right now, both playing very careful, neutral, trying to maintain control, yep. but Stocko getting exactly. the side knee, going you know, for more edge guarding. Yep, these can both be very snowballing characters. One hit on either of these characters can lead into 40 50% very <laughs> it's easily. It's amazing. It makes neutral especially interesting because it makes really matter. Forward air from Taco. Oh, and back air from Luigi. And that's going to be there. first the kill. First stock number one. Here you go. Forward air from Taco. Yeah. Taco now nice. has an edge guard opportunity here. Going to try to two him with that down smash. Not going to get it. Going to try to stick those back airs. Oh, and oh, catches him up the up smash. smash. There you go, even with nice the DI to the, to the left, still kill. Alright, we got some more percent with those jabs. We got jabs from Falco, up to up air, Luigi Cycle. <laughs> <laughs> this is my combo now. <laughs> Both characters just trying to chain each other into as many random moves as possible. It's just interesting how the frame data works, because each character can convert. Oh, and the double double. And he's gonna get back. Wow. Very impressive for both players there. It's the thing, it's like both characters can convert from each other's combos if there's just a single gap frame gap in frame data. Exactly. Skill matters a lot here because if you mess up the execution as much as a little bit. Oh, you see Luigi, you see ESC adapting to, to summon spot dodges there. Exactly. That is how he charged the up smash yep. there. Just giving it a little more time to make all the difference. And that Cyclone barely gonna miss out on the kill here. Good DI from Simon. Alright, so Salming getting the grab. Got the for the lasers. Alright, Luigi recovering gonna low. Try to down smash again. Oh, dash, that attack. dash attack is actually Luigi, gonna pick it up. Dash attack, sleeper kill, kill move. Dash attack, Luigi into dash, dash attack. And true combo. <laughs> take notes, top players. <laughs> oh, oh. and that side beam to the up air is gonna take it. Very reliable confirm from Falco there. Basically, even on the third stock here. There we go. We'll take it. Salmon wants to move on to winners round three. But ESC does too. Is he gonna force the game three? We'll see. Salmon's doing a pretty good job of keeping him off stage there. Gets reversed a little bit by that cyclone, but that won't stop him. Oh, and a grab. This can be a lot. Oh, he converts to jab. Tech. Still tech chasing. JC, and it right. looks like it's back to neutral here. Maybe ESC not picking up as much damage from that as he wanted. Alright, tether or dash grab into dash. Come out again. Could be anyone's yeah. game here. Side B cancelled, and then the back air cancelled by the Luigi side. Yep, exactly. Falcon wants nothing more than land those back there. It's so important to have a way to avoid them. Ooh, Luigi going for the back air, going for an aerial of some kind, oh. attacking the forward smash, Cyclone not pulling coming in. 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 F smash not gonna land. Cyclone is gonna land. Falco's still gonna live though. Here you go, the tether is falling over, he's not as an edge guard tool. The back air, but it's the sour spot. Is he there? Oh, wow. and that dash attack gonna pick up a second kill? It is. A lot of close game there. A lot of ledge pressure from ESC in the last, you know. One of them is eventually gonna have to kill, whether it be a tether, a back air, or a dash attack. Yeah. <laughs> dash attack picking up two of the kills for ESC in that match. Of really fun. Up to one game apiece, gonna see another game three. Yup, game three. It's pretty nifty, I have to say. The question is now, where is Salmon gonna counter? I wonder. Yes. Now, as as a Falco, where where is what is he looking to? Do? I don't know. It's probably whatever stage has the lowest ceiling. Exactly. It's out of city. Classic. Classic Falco. There you go. So it looks like our ESC is gonna choose Luigi. Salmon yeah. gonna choose. He's gonna run Falco. it back on the same characters again. We'll yeah. see what happens here. Absolutely. Running. Game back. Game three. First two games, we both very close. We'll see what happens.
Right, we're back. We're back to the village. Yep. Town and city. Tom Nook looking at something in the background. Something yes. interesting in the match. Yeah, exactly. Something <laughs> apparently more interesting than two foreign entities tiered universe yep. and time. This is Tuesday for him. <laughs> this is Tuesday. Kent <laughs> <laughs> is fighting on that top platform there. Going to be very risk of dying at the top. That's the thing. Both players off to a very good start right now. Yep. Seems both are edge guarding back and forth. Mm -hmm. Neutrals. Oh, back and forth. There's that up there, and I connected the up B. Very excited. Up throw up there. Right back, we're going for four oh, there. Into two lasers, lasers to catch the jump. Oh, Still and has spiking the jump. below the stage. Sally spots are actually going to be enough there for Salmon. That's the thing. Pick up the early kill. And it's especially the positioning, the lateral positioning of that instead of the vertical because he couldn't exactly. use the up B to get past the diagonal on that yep. stage. Yep, we use up B really coming back to bite him there. If it were an up B more like Falco's. Yeah, exactly, to change the angle. Mm -hmm. got, got Pineapple on the bottom of the stage. <laughs> Although this isn't dream life, but yeah, same thing applies. Yep. Oh, look and, at that back air dodge! Unfortunate air dodge off the stage, and wow, unfortunate air dodge there for ESC. Gonna cost him a stop. Uh, well, ESC now has work to do. Yes, but we can see a comeback, and it could start with this. It could start with Lenny the up smash smash. key. That's a thing. So let's see. Salmon playing, he might be thinking. Yeah, Salmon right. playing very careful here. Lands that down tilt. He's able to connect it to a forward there. Yes, he's yeah. struggling to find a way to get in right now against these lasers. That's the thing. And Salmon, he doesn't need to. All he has yep. to do is just yep. use lasers, yep. chill out. I have the lead right now. We'll play at my own pace. Yep. On Oh, so we've got to grab. Oh, but two, two areas. interrupted by Falco side B. It's erupting the back air with Cyclone. <laughs> Cyclone has been proven to be so clutch in this matchup against area against more aerially driven characters. Absolutely, you know, tons of combos that we tons of Falco combos we assumed would be true. Yeah. You know, Luigi's able to cancel out of them. Right, let's see. Up it's smash relatively into even now, following the fact that Salmon is up an entire stop, not looking too good for ESC. That's the thing. Well, That's yes. the weak back air. ESC able to land oh, though. Back throw. Alright, it's Can ESC stop. do this? Can he make this legend? Do a comeback. Oh, back air, back air will say back otherwise. Air. Yep, back air is going to secure the deal for Salmon. Man. And Salmon's going to move on and win it. 1 0. Shoot, this is, is this technically an upset? I, 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 I would think so, but. I'm not sure. Yeah, honestly, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Either. But this is, I would I would say this is an upset. But they yeah. good game, though. Yeah, Salmon's playing very well there. It's a thing. It was, it was a high risk, high war reward scenario. For that tech second stock, you know, exactly in yeah. terms of like, okay, I'm gonna throw out the back air to try and like take the stock, but someone was able to tech it. So, it works out very nicely. All right, what? Yeah, you see, having a, f a few unfortunate SDs that said, so, you know, what do you do? <laughs> yeah, honestly, what do you do? Here we go, and we're back. This is what the room's looking like. Yeah, more people are. Lively as ever. Exactly lively. People are playing Smash Brothers over there. <laughs> Darling. That's crazy. Watching a little people. Why are they doing that here as opposed to somewhere else? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why? 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 Why are they here playing Smash Brothers? Could they play in their rooms or something? <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. Where else would they play Smash Brothers? Right. Do you have a, a lead on what the next match that we're going to be seeing? Is? That is a good question. Yeah. Oh, Z and Oh, that's gonna be good. So I don't, know who, I don't know who Sensor is. I know Z has a bit of a reputation around here. Indeed. <laughs> Z, Z currently is our PGR number one. Yep. He is. He is. Our, oh, yeah, our PGR. Sorry. Not, uh, Panda's yeah. not. Oh, I. Okay. Sorry, Panda. Please don't copyright this. <laughs> copyright strike this. But yeah, this is. I think Panda has a copyright on the acronym. Yeah, maybe on the acronym. <laughs> Uh, here we go. So Z, he has been, he has been our champion. Oh, we've got sensor. Have you thought about winners round one? Have you thought about calling it like the the PCR because G, the G and PGR stands for global, and Z could just stand for Cornell. That's true. We could just do yeah, Cornell. Uh, the, uh, or 
Panda Cornell or yeah. personal Cornell rankings. Cornell rankings. Yeah, there we go. Personal Cornell rankings. I like this. Uh oh, something happened. Oh, did you get disconnected? Oh no, guys, did the camera get disconnected? It might have. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold on, technical difficulty. Oh, yeah. So we've got like, as this is a college, our uh, our wire setup here is not the best. Yeah. We have people disconnecting cameras just by kind of moving around and stuff. How are you doing, Chad? What's up? I see we got some support for sensor in the chat from Lion Booster One Two Three. Shout out to this Twitch user. <laughs> He's adorable. <laughs> I don't know if I... Plushie met a night, that's adorable. Trying to reconnect the camera here. And... Well, it looks like... Uh, it's... No, it's still frozen. It is still frozen. It looks like we lost the camera. We've lost, we've lost video footage. Like, after... If we, like... After like 30 to 40 percent, the players, so, you know, contrary to what you may believe, the players have not been holding perfectly still for as long as you've seen them be <laughs> been that way. <laughs> Should be very impressive, putting it everyone in the venue to freeze on command without even saying anything. Perhaps this was a visual cue from the front of the room, and you would have never even known it was just immaculately coordinated. Are you playing, are you playing Currently trying to unplug e method on every single wire. I'll let you know if it works. Oh, let's see. So... Let's see. Well, it looks like their gameplay is going to be captured, but the camera seems to have just broken on this. The webcam just, so just, just went to wait. Does it have batteries? No, it doesn't have batteries. Just regular USB. Is it not connected? Dude, you're so Something. All the, all the connections seem to be good. We have tried unplugging and unplugging a few times now. That's amazing. That's so unfortunate. How much did this webcam cost? This one is like, I mean, it's a C920. It's a pretty nifty one. You can't fix it immediately. We're going to run the set, and then you can fix it between the two sets. That's it. That's fine. Yeah. Tournament must go on. Whether or not you can see the... The... Emotion on the the, the, the the awestruck faces of the players. Yeah, I'm I'm like, the play. That's his thing. Right. He won't be the gameplay is just fine. All right, just run it. All right. So there. So we're gonna, right gonna right we're looking at that webcams here. Uh, okay, but here we go. So we've got Z. Yeah. Z versus sensor. To the clash of the one that it tags here. Here we go. We've got Z snake yep. versus sensor's wolf. Let's see if sensor can. Let's see if Z can live up to his reputation. And let's see if. Sensor can kind of maybe put a little bit of a dent in that. He's starting off, other than getting Sensor off stage, kind of flooding the stage with grenades as this character tends to do. Absolutely. Snake is such a fun character to play against, in my opinion, because it's so really, it, it's so, it, it's so mentally intensive. It is, it is a mind game. That's yeah. You, you, like I always feel like I'm playing well when I play against Snake, just because I have to try so hard. I got you. And the the background is sticky. He's gonna pick up the kill for Z there. Sitting at a healthy 59 percent. One of besides my like general neutral interaction, I always feel like the Snake matchup is also a game against stage control. Yeah. Especially with the C4 being such a a prominent tool in the kit. Yes, that's why good snake players can be such a threat because snake is really, you know, by a lot of definitions, playing a very different game than a lot of other characters in the game. Absolutely. It's going for different stuff, and the snake player is going to know how to play that game. So if you don't, you're going to be in trouble in the matchup. Absolutely. Oh, going for the tech chase into grab, but sensor able to shield, punishes into dash attack. They're going in and out of each other. Look at the weave into down smash. That is going to be a second stop. Wonderful. No. 
Oh, first stop. <laughs> oh, yo, first stop. Yeah. But, oh, second stop. Yeah. Still. What, 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 oh, a second stop of the game, yeah. No, I, should, I should have described Ooh. that better. Wolf can go back and forth here. Oh, and then Akita's gonna come out, and that is going to pick up the kill. There we go. Very important side Since he does have a bit of a mountain to climb here, but, you know, I think he can do it. Yeah, might be able to right now. It's, he's, he's been able to handle neutral very well, but Z, yeah. staying Z just, dominant. Yeah, such a good advantage state coming from Z here. Absolutely. So good nice at just jab. keeping Wolf in, in that disadvantage there, keeping yeah. him off the stage with those jabs, those neutral Bs. Off the stage, has won every interaction. Backed out of... Wolf able to get off from the other ledge, only to go yes. to the other side. Exactly. Oh, up he's going to take out that Nikita, but dash attack. Dash attack's going to cover the landing. Going to pick it up from Z here. There you go. And that's going to be game number one. Game number one to Z. Game yeah, one will go to Z. <laughs> <laughs> very dominant play from Z there. You can just see how well he leveled all of Snake's various tools from keeping opponents in that disadvantage. And Wolf not being a character with the most options to uh, to get off that ledge there, going to be very susceptible to that. Yeah, the thing is the edge guarding in particular. How long Sensor stayed on the edge? How long Z kept, kept Sensor there? Oh, yes, that, exactly. That was, that was the most notable. Well, I found that to be the most notable. Thing you know, it's like once you're there, it's like you're stuck there. Yep. It's like Sensor will counter pick to battlefield, yep. giving him a little bit more room to, uh, to you know, that's not so close to the edge. On that, um, on that earlier stage, you saw it was very easy to get sent to the ledge earlier, but if you can stay in the middle here on battlefield, that's true. Utilize um, the platforms in the center, yeah, you can kind of avoid getting swept up like that. And you know, it's it, 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 it's, it's showing the words for him. Z already easily a kill percent. The uh, sensor is sitting at 76 right now. Looks like the counterpoint is more effective at least for this first stop. Dash attack not quite going to get it. Is he going to get the down to? Oh, there's the C4. Oh, but with up smash. Yeah, I think we should be noting how, how apprehensive sensor is seeming to kind of want to... Oh. Oh my goodness, C4, where did it come from? It just fell from the sky. <laughs> yep, Snake what? can just drop that on you. And now Sensor's on the ledge again. As we've noted, not where he wants to be. Well, oh, two back airs, three the back airs. And what's not going to make up. it back? Mega early kill there. Oh Z, my just goodness. Fantastic string there. Incredible Sen string. Yep, Sensor not been able to recapture... Um, you know what he was what he was able to get going in the first half of the game, just struggling to get this kill. Snake's in at 176 right now, and almost gonna kill Wolf here. And with that oh side goodness, beat, and inside beat, and that's fails to take it. Holy cow! That was insane. You just you know you can see why Z is ranked number one here. Just the capacity to turn that around as hard as he did. Yeah, came through no, so was, clutch there. That was that was incredible. Very dominant play. The edge guarding on fire. Neutral though was really very good between both players. Yeah, and we didn't see a flowing very well. Yeah, I think Sensei was you know holding neutral very well, especially in that early stage of the game. We saw players not really leaving that middle portion of the stage too often. But once he got knocked out, he kind of never got back in. That's the thing. Yeah, that was the hard thing. So um, here we go. We're we're here back. So we're gonna take a moment to fix the camera. Yeah, try and fix the webcam if it can even be fixed. I don't if know. it can be fixed, I'm not that's the question. I don't think these things just randomly fry, but yeah, but we'll I guess there's happens. always the possibility with technology. Absolutely. So we're gonna open some other applications, see if we can use the camera. Okay, well apparently it's it's working for now. Oh the that look it, it, it just did at, at least for zoom let's hmm. see if we so, use so it's zoom. working on zoom i believe in the power of so interesting have that you tried like closing the closing like this can, can you like take the camera off of the screen display and put it back that's what i'm thinking of let's see. let's see so if we unplug it the opposite of how works Oh no! Oh, we've removed the live game. Did you lose the game? Oh no, we did not. No, we did not. It should be coming back. Oh, did you see? Did you see? Was like 
Okay, so now if we go to the player cam and we enter the properties and plug this device back in. Yeah. Okay, looks hey, like hey, our camera's camera. back. All right. All right. So, I budget stream here, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. I budget stream. Oh, top. Move a little bit more to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Since gotta uh, make sure the players are actually in the cam here. That's, yeah. There you go. Not at the low, just yeah. So it's, 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 it's really close. So you guys are gonna have to like push the webcam. Right now. No, the yeah. webcam is not working. We got it back working. So it it is working. No, oh, the, the, oh my god, my Saturday. It was, it was not, not actually. <laughs> it froze just, but both of you guys were in frame. It just froze when both of you guys were in frame. Uh, yeah. So it was so really like the top of your head is in a set. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it works out really nice. But yeah, let's let's see. So we've got. Let me look at um uh, the bracket. We've got um Octop versus Top. Oh, this is gonna be a good match. Top. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm a fake avatar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it actually after the Avatar character? I I would think. I I haven't heard the name before. I mean, I, okay. I think it can be short for Christopher. That that is creative. Yeah. I like that a lot. I like that. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's on stream and it looks like they're beginning hold on oh shoot have we lost the game footage we have lost no game we got footage. the webcam back oh but no we've lost game footage we've lost game footage yeah okay yeah so um, i'm just gonna like wrong. try to narrate to stream what's going on right now yeah like, maybe, like, maybe like, let's pull the mic over to this side so we can look at the game it's now an audio um, it's an audio commentary yeah the, uh welcome to um Welcome to a Cornell Smash Club ASMR. Um, <laughs> currently, Top is leading by about 80% playing Meta Knight, and Octop playing Palutena right now. Oh wait, no, Top is losing by about 80%. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot how percentages work in this game. <laughs> Um, so I just want you to, uh, I just want you to envision Meta Knight sitting at 95%, uh, and Paul Tana sitting about 45%, both kind of playing neutral in the middle of PS2. Okay, we're good. All right. Oh, we got the game back. Let's go. Okay. Holy cow. All right. Something is going on with my USB peripherals, but it's stable now. Yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's almost it's like we have wires stringed up over like the majority of the like over room. After, yeah. Oh, and Palutena gonna pick up the kill with that back of ledge trunk. Here we go. So we've got Octop with the Palu versus Top with or Top with the Meta Knight. Meta Knight. Yep. Yo, no, this is good. Winners round two. Bam, here we go. Alright, so let's both kinda struggling to put some percentage on on Octoc here. Okay, well, that's the thing. Octoc's playing a great job of just winning these neutral exchanges. Top's gonna be getting back to the stage with that down B, but it's not gonna be safe enough. Yeah, down there, down down thrown to back air. Good old bread and butters. Yep. And look, catch, put in Meta Knight back on the ledge. Dash, backward throw. Into Nair, into back throw again. How does he do it? Is he roaring his Nairs for the sake of landing and getting the throw? Up top just showing so much prowess here. That, that little linking everything how he wants it to be, supposedly. Yo, that is incredible. That that, that, that looked frame tight to me. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah. All right, Meta Knight nice back on the move, currently maintaining stage control. Is Top yeah. on the run to take this back? Yeah, that Palutena recovery is so hard to punish if you don't know what you're doing, or even if you even if you do. Oh, and that oh, dimensional cape. Yep, the dimensional cape. Sometimes people forget that move has a hitbox. You know, fun fact. That's the thing I always forget. It has a hitbox. <laughs> oh, and the back air climb gonna pick it up, but Tof has quite a mountain to climb here. Absolutely, and with all the extra credit, Octop is already obtained. Yep, Octop can afford to play very defensively here, kind of let Tof come to him. Oh, and that oh, neutral no. air, neutral air, neutral, neutral B, special, yeah, neutral special, almost certainly a misinput, but a, a sadly end the game for Tof there. Never even got to approach the mountain, much less attempt to climb it. 
it is, it is it was a tough one unfortunate situation for him but up top is going to take game numero uno <laughs> and just seeing such clean play from up top there oh, absolutely. absolutely so let's see where did they counterfeit oh I, I did not see it. we'll find out later <laughs> yeah I, I i also missed it i was like glazed over for a second <laughs> but here we go so up top gonna Remain Palutena. Yep. It, it, it worked out very well. Toph gonna maybe stay on Meta Knight? Thinking about picking on the character, perhaps? Perhaps? Palutena and Tino? Palutena? Ridley! Wow! Whoa! Okay. I haven't seen this before! I have. Whoa! Dang! Okay, well, Toph. Right, well, apparently, this is a thing. <laughs> this is Toph's heavy! <laughs> Toph, Toph pulling out the. Oh, and landing that down smash! Palutena already at 50, 75%, 95%, Ridley is not 92%. The down smash going to attempt to cover that. The recovery going to attempt to two frame it. Top really showing the power of this character counter pick right here. Up top perhaps struggling to adapt. This thing, FD no less. Oh, but here we go. You have the narrow loops. Yep. No platforms needed. Yep. Yo. Here is, this is where really struggles when characters can only take advantage of this just massive hitbox. It's huge. And the weight. Oh, 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 oh wow. my goodness. Totally you attempting to go deep to a cover there with up top saying, not in my house. No, not I. In fact, you'll go deeper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And look, the nares are on point. Look at up to R. So get up attack, gonna reclaim neutral, get off ledge. But yep. then up top is going Whoa. to forward error. Taking over into the, the stage perhaps so on that side B. That was incredible. Here you go, off top playing neutral with neutral B. <laughs> yep. Oh, snagging the recovery with that down tilt. Gonna pop really Ridley nice. up. Not gonna capitalize on it though. Toph still struggling to pick up this kill. That's the thing. And there's that down throw back here, the bread and butter. Bread gonna secure and another butter. kill. The good thing for Toph though, is he hasn't been spending as much time on ledge, but right now it's just plain old neutral. Yeah. And just like that, he's already at 61%. You know, due to that, oh my oh, goodness! This is not the upbeat, the taunt from Toph! Oh, the, the going taunt for back from Octop. Uh, Octop was That's going good for that some, most players some, taunted. No some yeet smash Yeah. Sauce. No matter what, we can we can we can get taunted, get bodied, uh, clip out of this. No matter who wins. Absolutely. There you go. Both players taunted with gaming the system. <laughs> I, I I have a oh, oh that ledge back from air. back air. Back air proving to be such a potent option for Octop. Top there. He's gonna carry him through the set easily. There we go. And that's gonna be game two of the best of three set. Yep. Dang, wow. That was that, that was those, those are some fast games. That was nuts. No, those were really fast. Yeah. Those were incredibly fast. Yeah. That's... Ultimate potentially be a very fast paced game. Honestly, like, I think that makes it more entertaining though. What is it? In less than 10 seconds, zero to 60? Like, <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. Like we had Paul Kane had taken like the first 100% of that match. Exactly. Uh, 2 0 up top. Yeah. 2 0 up top. Oh, it looks like they're unplugging. Ah, and it's plugged back in. All right, well, yeah. I certainly hope the USB peripherals are working A OK. Seems that when I switch the scenes, but. <laughs> Seems to be okay. Yep, now everything's all good. Oh, JD4 versus Arbiter oh, on the stream. Let's oh go. my god. Yo, is, there do, icon? I, I, is there a random icon? There's a random icon, yeah. There's no, I, there's a random icon, but I do not have it installed. Oh no. <laughs> no. So, so, so for now, JD4 is not is, going to have a yep. character icon. So JD, for those of you who are not in the loop, local, <laughs> local random man, do the Cornell smash scene. <laughs> Therefore, one of the most in, one of the most insane players to watch. So, absolute. Y'all are gonna y'all in for a treat. Abs yeah, absolute menace. Yeah, that like, yeah. I, and the I, thing I, is, I've seen JD like maybe he'll like he'll be like one two in like a best of five set, and then he'll start picking characters. But the characters he picks are still not consistent. This man truly plays the whole cast. Oh wait, did he say JD four versus Arbiter? Uh, oh, wait, I see JD4 versus Wavy. Uh, that 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 looks like it's been decided. 
Oh, well, look at losers. We're gonna be losers. Uh, wait, are we? Lo oh, okay, we're in losers round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, gotcha. So JD4 versus Arbiter. Okay, that's right. JD4 Arbiter losers round one. one. Yep. Gotcha. All right, there we go. So now the question is, so we know who, well, we don't know who JD4 is going to play. The yep. question is now who Does is- Does JD4 know who JD4 is going to play? Gonna play? Exactly. <laughs> the question is who is Arbiter not going to play? They're going to go to town and city. Okay, this is going to be cool and good. Meta Knight's the first game, and when I lose, I'm probably going to Oh yeah, also, a quick note for stream setup. Make sure left person is player one, so that like the camera and stuff is- Yeah. Like, <laughs> Don't want to be uh. Don't want to be. Don't want to be like confusing chat here. That's the thing. Don't want to be confusing chat. Oh, and we got the Robin. Robin coming out from Arbiter. So this gonna be a. Good. Oh, okay. So Joker for Joker. Oh. All right, now very Joker. interesting match here. End of us, Robin. Yo, get that full screen. Oh yeah, let's get that full screen. Here you go. So JD4 is Joker is actually really good. Cause is it? Oh my God, he knows the setup. He's already. Here. Look at him go. Drag down. Set already. Drop Regular down, MK okay. Leo up in here. <laughs> Let's go. That's true. We're, we're missing Dobosh though. Dobosh is like our our Joker man. I see. Like he had some finals to study for. Him and uh, oh, and I've been failing to recover already. JD's showing incredible prowess with this character that he didn't even pick. Didn't even. <laughs> you know, maybe we can add, well, add the the icons. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Okay, but, um, we'll have to round two rounds. Looks like after I was losing that first stock, not gonna take it lying down, and next stock's looking pretty even. Oh, but Osen is gonna be coming out here. It's gonna be big. Oh, but caught in the in the side beam. Gonna get hit by that Levin sword. Down throw? Down over there. there. Or there? No. And he's going deep. Not quite gonna get it. Both characters making it back to stage. Just fine. Here we go, forward tilt from Arbiter. It's up smash, but it's shielded. And then the, that's the down throw, but no follow ups after that. Yeah. Both characters are kill percent here. Very tense situation. Arbiter is able to make it back. Ooh, and the lingering mm -hmm. hip hop to that down smash gonna get JD off of his back. It's really. Wow. Oh my goodness. It went so deep for that back air there. And now Joker took that stock, so now it's 3 oh, 1. Oh, this my kill? No. Arbiter needs to take this. Stock yep. as soon as possible. I really needs to get this going. Oh, oh my goodness! Getting hit. Nice. And even though he made it back, that is still going to use up more of that L wind. Oh, but the back oh. air is going to pick it up. Very well. Able there. to recover even from such an awful angle. Yeah. <laughs> Obudu is looking like pretty comfortable here. Comeback definitely possible. Absolutely. Adapting slowly but surely. Yeah. But Osen just that insane pressure in the up air. Oh my goodness. Gonna take it for JD. JD for catching the jump out of shield into up air. That is... <laughs> that will do it. <laughs> And that's the thing. So JD4. So for those who don't know, JD4, there, there's someone currently missing from our brackets. They yep. named Bobosh. Yeah, he's 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 our Cornell Joker player. So JD4 has so much Joker experience from that matchup. They've gone like, for, they've gone to like fifth game. I think like three times. That's insane. Over this year. Over yeah. this semester. So, so it's JD kind of insane. <laughs> being a stand in for, for Dobosh here, and cleaning, picking up those Joker wins so he doesn't have to. Ganondorf! Yeah, going from one end of the roster directly to the other. To the other. <laughs> we'll see how the gameplay varies. They do, hey, Ganon does have Arsene Nair though, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Up tilt. He's essentially Arsene Nair. Yeah. That's amazing. Or, well, it's like his Nair is Arsene and forward air. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. Right, yes. Sorry. No, it's all good. But it's heavy. That's a, oh wow. My good tech. Good tech by Obedo, but JD still has not taken any damage here on Ganondorf. Oh. Alright, Jab. Tom Jane is close right there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yeah. The rule number one of commentating. Say things that are likely to happen so that so if that they is. happen, you can commentate as close to them. There That's go. content. Oh! oh and Jamie nice. going to have the- Oh! oh no! And 
both players getting gimped off the bottom there. Well, that was, that was something be, special. Robin Gold yeah. getting the gimp on Ganondorf and then not being able to recover because only one L went left. Yeah. That is, oh, no! Oh, oh but the well, under the stage! But, and Ogre right. still makes it back. Very good. Within, within the down air here. Yep. So much has happened this game for it to be, for it to look like a relatively even second stock. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Right now, it looks like the edge games are going to be... Oh, oh and, and on that moving platform with the forward tail. Town and City assisted <laughs> like pivot forward? Yep. Forward too? That's the JD for you. Oh, oh my and goodness. And those side beats. Tets chasing. No way. Oh. That was number that he got three Still, of them got in a row. Them. That's impressive. That's incredible. JD really not letting the pressure off of Obito here. Playing so aggressively. And there's the back here gonna kill it 70 something. Wow. You know, Arbiter going for the edge guard, but then JD4 using the jump and then punishing it back here. But both players in hysterics right now. Absolutely. Oh, I did not update game one, but yeah. yeah they just... Bond two and the top two coming together to put that set away for JD4. Moving on. Moving on. That is incredible. <laughs> like, like, what in the world? <laughs> So he's not to see. Like yeah. Okay. So sorry, I didn't hear you. Some we're, we're getting top tiers and bottom tiers. He's not a mid -tier. We're, we're getting we're That's getting word from JD that he can play top tiers and bottom tiers very well, but mid tiers are not his strong suit. Are not his strong suit. Yep. Good to know. So give JD Yoshi doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, exactly. Yoshi. <laughs> oh, Yoshi's incredibly underrated in my opinion. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yoshi does have a lot of great stuff. Shield is insane. Insane. Is insane. There's someone who's watching who may or may not be a Yoshi player in, in his Oh, game. I see. So, so see you yeah, you're, putting, you're putting a good word in for the people. Yeah, exactly. Putting a good word for the people. <laughs> Two zero. Two zero. Good stuff. Two zero. So let's look at bracket real quick. Yeah. So, so continuing losers round one, ostensibly. We got Colin versus Julie. Colin versus Julie. Oh, that's Colin me. Colin got knocked. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Give me on stream. All right. Hey, Chat. all right. Me. I'm playing my set now. Gotcha. That's it. I got you. I got you. Thank you very much, Noah. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. All right. Hey, it's our boy. We have for probably a short time now, but <laughs> some period of time. It's your boy ESC. Well, on the mic. On the mic. Are you guys? Hello. Escape and yeah. I believe in you. I believe in you. You got the commentator matchup down. Let's oh, go. easily. <laughs> did, you, did you watch my last commentary? I did not. I was unable to. <laughs> it, it's well, on it YouTube. It's on That's YouTube. All I'll say. <laughs> I gotta look it up. I'll look it up. <laughs> so we've got Toph versus Alesh. It, it's Toph. Oh, is it Toph? I keep saying Toph. Toph. I mean, you're just, that just means you're an Avatar Alesh. fan. It's like, it's a good thing. It's a oh, good, it's good thing. thing. Oh, it's a good thing. I, I, I do um, like the, So it's Toph. Or, yeah, it's Toph. It's Toph. His name is Toph. Oh. I believe it's short for Toph. Oh, Oh, that day. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's why it's, yeah. Okay, gotcha. So, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it's spelled like, you know, top from Appetite. Makes sense. Yeah. Let's see. So this is Losers Round 1? Yes. Yes, it is. It yep, is. That's, we're running Losers Round 1 now because we've gotten through Winners Round 2. Very good. So. Gotta, yeah, let's the, see. So we've got Meta Knight and... Uh, Pokemon Trainer, I'm assuming. Pokemon Trainer? Okay. All right, all right. I'm assuming it's going to be Meta Knight versus Pokemon Trainer or it could be Pokemon Trainer versus Ridley. Oh, man. We, Ridley? We, Wait, we, does Alex does he, uh, play uh, Charizard? Or no, Top. Is it? No, because Top. Oh, okay, oh, good. Ridley, Top's Ridley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ridley. Oh, okay. Because I thought I saw Charizard earlier, and I was like, Oh, sometimes, yeah. Exactly. Sometimes Charizard players are like, I'm just playing Charizard still when they're playing Ridley. Oh, precisely, yeah. Except Charizard's heavier. Yeah, it's not. By like a decent amount. I miss Smash 4 Charizard. I mean, <laughs> Smash 4 Charizard was funny. <laughs> Rock Smash? <laughs> Rock Smash in particular. 
but yeah. yeah, it's like I don't actually miss. I, I actually miss rocks, not this bit. Yeah, you don't miss the. Yeah, that's the only thing you miss. Yeah. This is the thing. Wait, it looks confirmed. All right. Flesh PT Med Knight. There we go. And they are getting in this Alesh flame Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Off flame Meta Knight. Went for a you know the classic uh, grab down throw forward air into F tilt, which I. I don't know if that's a thing with Squirtle. Oh! Oh! It's a shell stop! Yo, let's go! <laughs> Yo, foot's doing the side special? Yo. It's one weakness. It, it's, it's like... Otherwise, it's safe on shield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's invincible. You even hit it. He doesn't take damage. That's it's just not a fair move, really. But... Well, I'm high risk, high reward trade-off, I have to say. Yeah. Right now, talk. Right now, both... Oh! oh. Something off. tells me that that Razor Leaf might not have been a Razor Leaf. No, not, it was like intention. Yeah. In intention, yeah. Yeah, that uh, it's kind of rough, but it happens. The question is, will will Ivysaur be doing be doing taxes today? That's the question. <laughs> That's the question. As How many question. taxes will we see being done by Ivysaur? Yeah, I'm Currently, so I don't see a lot. Okay, so we just switched to Charizard. So probably not. Okay, fair enough. Just Charizard. Go, unless we can use some auto Pokemon top coin underneath. Under the stage. Right? That it looks a little we, scary. Yeah, honestly, it's like staying but under. It's Meta Knight. <laughs> the Knight goes from anywhere. Oh, ladder, 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 ladder. ladder. Oh. No way! Yo, he, got he got the ladder on a super heavy! Oh my no way! That's crazy! No way! I'm a big body super heavy? Crazy! Crazy! Here we go. Flesh. With the charge. So, let's see here. We got, we got, yeah, we got classic back air. You know, a lot of people call Charizard a back air machine. And that's what he was at the beginning of the game. But since then, people have figured out more. But he's only really a good back air machine if you space the back airs really well. This is true. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's not safe. <laughs> I remember the 20, 2019 day. What was it? Tweak used to do a lot of those. Yeah, Tweak never played the character. <laughs> <laughs> Tweak, Tweak played a good neutral and was just generally good at the game. He never played Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer, yeah. He played Wario, kind of. He did play Wario. No. Yeah. He, got, like, really he beat Gluto in the Ditto. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I have to rewatch that. Yeah. <laughs> that is a long time ago. Yo, look at these Squirtle BMBs. Yeah, we got some nice little news. There you go. Coming in here. Into Ivysaur at the neutral. There's some things that I want to see from the Squirtle that I'm not seeing, but you know, I'm seeing enough of the other stuff anyway, so we're good. That's oh, and I'm being called. Oh, yes, he is being called for a gameplay. <laughs> All right, signing off. Okay, sounds good. Have fun. All right, so it's it's back to me solo, but it's all good. We got Alesh versus Pop. Yeah. Well, this is this has been a pretty long game one, I have to say, because now both are and both are finally back on last stop. Tope isn't gonna be able to recover, but right now Tope formed some very good edge guarding. Yo, and it's the Meta Knight man himself. All right, here we go. Welcome. Welcome, Rage Face. To it's, the mic. It's good to see ya. Let's get into it. All right, eighty-two percent on IV Source. So Meta Knight's probably going to be looking for drag down back here to yep down smash just like that. Just like that. Unfortunately, he does not have a ton of uh, higher mid percent combos, so that's what he's going to go for. That's the thing. It's gonna see see if Alesh can take advantage of this sweet spot percent. Only bring things back. Yeah, at 130 percent, he's gonna start going for down tilt now, which is gonna be really helpful because it will cause Charizard to tumble, so he will be able to get a check chase. Oh, just like just that. like that. Just like the back throw, is that something to worry about? It was close. Uh, not quite. Oh, and he missed the punish. That was close. Malesh gonna live just a bit longer. And here we go, back throw. Gonna start edge guarding once again. Oh! Dimensional cape. Reverse edge guard. The Cornell Meta Knight has been victorious. <laughs> that was incredible. Dimensional cape. 
I, I would not have been expecting that waiting that ledge. No, you, you have to expect dimensional cape always because if you don't, I will yell at you and say you forgot about down B. You <laughs> forgot about down B, that's true. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see where they go for game two because FD is one of Meta Knight's best stages. Interesting. PS2. PS2. Choosing the music. I like this. We respect that. We respect music counter picks here at Cornell. <laughs> It is much appreciated. Here we go. So Alesh gonna stay with Pokemon Trainer. And top going to choose the color, his preferred color of Meta Knight. Gonna go white Meta Knight for today. Skins equal wins. Skins equal wins. Yes, it is the color counter pick. The color counter pick. We got music and color counter pick all on PS2. All works out very nicely. So here we go. So top versus Alesh. Top is taking game one. But now game two, you know, maybe Alesh on the PS2 counter pick. Looks like this is the stage he's very comfortable with. So hopefully it works out for him. Looks like Tuff is playing a little bit more passive than he was previously. Uh, really often to camp out with those down airs, neutral. Absolutely, making good use of the platforms as well. Mixing up his movement too. <laughs> oh, tech? Oh, tech chase. Tech chase. Alright, Top gonna recover. Alesh gonna go for Edge Guardian? No, but then Top gets the drag down, gets to the other side. Top is gonna have to be really careful with the ledge there because if he, well, he got it, but if he messes up, he could get down, uh, down aired by uh, Ivysaur. That's the thing. Top going for a lot of first hit aerials for various combos. Yeah, that was a really nice mix up with the, uh, uh, what do you call that, man? When you land and immediately grab. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Huh? Oh, it was like first hit aerials. No, no, no. No, we're like you empty hop and then land and grab. Tom Tomahawk? Yeah, Tomahawk, Tomahawk, Tomahawk grab. Tomahawk grabs. Commentating is very hard. It, it, it takes it, it takes brain resources. We, we've already spent all our brain points on other, other things this week. Considering finals are tomorrow, but we're playing Smash, so it's all good. <laughs> oh, that's a condor dive. It didn't kill him, but that's that's dangerous. It did not kill, yeah. Usually I see some very unfortunate angles. Oh, but Charizard F Smash is gonna say otherwise. Yep, reading the reading the down B right there. You gotta be really careful not to spam that as Meta Knight. Advice I do not take myself. <laughs> oh, first hit drag down into and forward smash into mock tornado. That's yeah, incredible. Nato's a fantastic edge guarding tool when you get uh, to higher percents. It kills super early and it's really hard to avoid. And the mobility is just incredible. So right now, Tulk having the full stock advantage. But Lesh isn't out of this yet. We see tons of signs of life. Right now going for a lot of aerials. Main neutral. Squirtle is in a good position now because he is out of um, the ladder range for Meta Knight, which is going to be really helpful, especially if he needs this comeback. Here we go. Mock Tornado going again. It's going to punish with the side B and into Ivysaur for this mid percent neutral. Ivysaur messing up the spacing right there, which is really rough against Meta Knight. Oh, there's the cape once again. Oh my goodness. Alright, and here's Charizard ready to body the high percent blows. Oh, switching back to Squirtle! Squirtle does not clip to ledge, but you know, Squirtle will be A-OK -okay for now. And 120, he's at down till tech chase percent again. Again, Red Knight going for up throw. It's buff right now. now. And up throw, it's buff now. <laughs> and he and hits the smash. buff to the new and improved up smash for the win. New and improved up smash. It's gonna be 2 0. -oh. Does that mean I have to play now? In the back to back Meta Knights? Welcome oh. back, Alex. Yes, I come, I come back. Dapper. Welcome back. Draped in the honor of my own team. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> You're all good, man. This is the first tournament I've come to this semester. I'm not like. Oh, I'm not. I'm not that bad. Yeah, no, don't worry. It's all good. I, I like to just thug finals people. Me personally, I do friendlies and thug finals. I like to kick out the co-commentator and sit here. Jeez. Oh my god. Uh, it's 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 an open mic. Well, for me, I, I sit here to manage the stream. But, Ryan, no. you on stream. Oh Ready no. Okay. Oh, okay. All is good. Oh. Okay. Uh, so it on the stream setup. Oh, no, it's all good. 
all right but hey we're here we're back Look at this room full of people playing Smash Brothers. Look at this room full of people who are being irresponsible and playing Smash instead of studying for finals. Damn. <laughs> if that was too real, I'm not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Who do we got up next? JD4 against... Brian. Oh, okay. Let's see. What does... What does Le Bracket say? We've got... Oh, well, I'll wait here so I can snipe in some of Oh, so JD4 versus Brian. Here we go. Okay. And this Question, is Alex. Are the two. bracket numbers behind the, or in front of the brackets? <laughs> the number, like the bracket numbers, are they behind or in front of the brackets? Like 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 those. Oh, wait, those are seeds. Oh, those are seeds. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so it looks like we're waiting for Brian. Where, where is Brian? Oh, the controller? Oh, gotcha. oh, okay. That's cool. Really nice of him to lend the controller. That's cool. Valley. Alright. A lot of pro controllers today. This is cool. I will maintain that the GameCube controller is superior. Uh, hey, well, my, my quick, that's my quick controller. Oh, oh shit. Whoa, <laughs> oh, I like this. It's a quick controller and it's just reskin. It's a big game. This is first. <laughs> this is illegal. No, illegal controller it's techniques. It's, it's, illegal it's a little bit different. Like, if you feel like the spring on this, it's like a little bit different. Oh, gotcha. oh no, wait. Is that disconnected? Okay, it's disconnected. Yeah, it's disconnected. It's okay. Disconnected. <laughs> I saw something on the screen. Thankfully, uh, disconnected them after I said so, okay. I, I still don't know how to do that, by the way. <laughs> Dang, I'm so good. You don't have a... I didn't see the screen. Are both people using Pro Control? Oh, no. No, that's not... No, JD4 uses GameCube. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm yeah, you're on stream! Jay, 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 smile, you're on stream! Smile, you're on stream! <laughs> oh, what is it? How many, how many viewers do we have? Oh, audience? We've got three viewers right now. <laughs> it's all good. Maybe that number will increase. <laughs> I'll, I'll go follow it so we can see what the what the notification looks like. Absolutely. <laughs> In fact, hold on. If If we want more viewers, I can put this stream somewhere. Uh, what's it, what, what's it called? <laughs> All right, there. Okay. We are not unethical here at Cornell. Cornell, oh, no, is, no. is, is, is this it? What, I didn't. What, yeah, what, I didn't. What, what's your channel? Yeah, it's, I only. It's only in the Discord. I didn't really advertise it anywhere. Alice to the best of us, man. It happens to the best of us. Absolutely. Is there a stream away? Oh, Yo, is Brian playing Marth? Yo! Oh, in the Marth? Yo! What is Yo! Bro, we need to talk after this. This is great. All right. We were just talking about it. Wow, this is good. All right, wait, why did the losers thing just appear? Why did it do this? They're not, we're not doing grand fun. Okay, well, that's all right. Well, that's the Oh, first no, time. Mark. Mark, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, Min Min will still gimp you at zero for no apparent reason. For no reason. That's not a good reason. That's not an ethical reason. This is a thing. We do not play ethical characters here at Cornell. Honestly, we play high, high, and high, low tier. Like either or a lot of the time. But here we go. Oh, on the edge card. The get up read. The get up. Let's go. All right. So Mark going for the dancing blade on the side. Gonna recover low. Act to platform. Gonna be able to shield. Getting in on Min Min just like Sakurai intended. Here we go. Forward air. Going for the down smash on ledge. Um, Mark's gonna have to be careful every time he gets knocked off stage. His recovery is good, but it's not that good. It's tough. It's very linear. It gets the job done, but it can be red. 
But it is all good. Right now, Ryan is now mixing up the recovery more on the last stop. But JD4 is is a good min min. Is as 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 good as a player. He's also a good min min, just maintaining center control. As all the way from the depths of hell on that recovery. Edge guard situation. Oh, oh, mega one. Oh man, that's, that's a rough be. read. That is a rough. That's brutal. Here you go. So JD4 is going to take game one. Here we go. Alright, so then Ness! So Brian's gonna switch to Ness now. Wait, what happened game one? Uh, Brian exploded. <laughs> Min Min exploded Marth. Okay. <laughs> so JD4 now playing Lucario. First Lucario on Cornell Smash that I've seen in a while. But I mean, right oh, oh my goodness! We're seeing these really fast nest kills. Dang, I love to see it. Brian put fire into there. Brian putting in the work. It's gonna have to after that last match. That was brutal. Oh, absolutely. It's gonna take a bit of work, but it can be done, and it is being. That's a nice thing. There you go. Up there. Up there. Up there. Side B. Drag down the air from Ness. Ness is gonna try to. Is gonna have to get this kill pretty quick because if he doesn't, the car is gonna get raged and that will not be fun. Oh, not at all. And then here's the new- Oh, the up smash! Got a little charge too! Here we go, this is a challenge for JD4. Love the magnet right there to call out the Aura Sphere. That was fantastic. Absolutely. Oh, the PK Thunder. From across the stage. Right. Oh! Up smash call out. And right now Lucario has a whole lot of rage. It's comeback time, and, mas and Lucario is the master of it. Oh man, forward tilt to side B. The Aura Sphere gonna go in the other direction. Right, Brian. Brian's <laughs> going to hit from there. And right now, JD4 is coming back using this rage, but oh. gets up into up smash. And that's gonna do it. So Yo it's gonna be a good rage reset. So yep. hopefully, Brian can run away with this before Lucario. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no! Bro, you love to see it with Lucario. You hate to see it, man. Oh, it's the counter moment. That was a counter. It was a counter moment. I used to do that all the time when I played Lucario. You counter, you have to manually switch direction. You counter, you fly off the stage, you go to game three. Yeah, you go to game three, exactly. This is the fastest set I have ever watched. <laughs> It is that is incredible. It is currently one one. Looks like JD4. looks like JD4 is considering picking a real character. Oh yo, seriously? <laughs> yo, let's go. <laughs> All right, Brian. Oh, he's he pulling out the Yoshi. He's pulling Yoshi. JD4 he's pulling Yoshi. with he the Yoshi. He chose a character. Of all hey, the characters, this is literally Yoshi. what I said would happen. Quite literally, <laughs> yeah. Alesh, he, he, he said this would happen, and, and we're watching it in real time. <laughs> and he chose Yara, and he chose the woolly skin too. Yeah, and he's he's already doing Yoshi things. He's spamming the down air. He's hitting the nares. <laughs> Look at this, look, look at this nares, this frame data. <laughs> Yoshi's frame data is disgusting in this game, especially as <laughs> especially as out of shield options. Incredibly <laughs> underrated. What is it? Nares frame three? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's that's just yeah, that's just disgusting. She's got to be careful too because Yoshi is tech chase the character. Everything he does puts you into tech. But right now, Brian, Brian Sheik right now. Oh, the back air is gonna take it. Sheik being super light in this matchup is definitely brutal. Yo, bouncing fish, let's go! That was a read, and he hit it. That was nice. Good stuff from Brian. His Sheik has stuff. Let's go. Playing three different characters, though. 
You know, I, I, you know, as, as a Mark player, I, I would have loved to see more Mark. But you got to do what works. Ness has worked out very well. There's that out of shield option we were talking about. <laughs> There's the tech chase. The tech chase. Yeah, you should tech chase though. That's jab block. But we, we'll, we'll, we might see that later. Look at JD4 even just walking up menacingly with the Yoshi. He didn't run, he didn't dash, he just walked. <laughs> that was a nice little string right there from Sheik with the fairs and the bouncing fish. That's the thing. Yoshi there. Oh, it's uh, up smash, but that's. Oh my goodness, what a trade! And that wasn't in Yoshi's favor, surprisingly. Hey, I have go. no idea what just happened. I have no idea what's happening. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Alright, so Yoshi, so now JD4 is gonna have the stock advantage. Now, going for extra credit as Yoshi's do. But Brian is saying otherwise. He's doing everything he can to take the stock. Up B is a kill option. It's kind of interesting to see. Not sure how it's going to work out for him now. That's the thing. He'll, he just have to. It works or it doesn't. And this is true. Wait, ooh, those uh, up tilts are killing him, man. Down, Sheik. Down smash not killing. We forgot. Sheik has no kill power. And Yoshi is heavy. It's like typical Sheik moment. And right now, going for the edge guard with the eggs and the forward airs. It's, it's just snowballing, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Oh! My goodness! And the spike. Dang. That was a good game for Brian, though. I gotta go get ready to fight someone now. Goodbye. Take care. You can have your commentator chair back now. Thank you. Dang. So, good game from JD4. Able yeah. to pull the game. But Brian forcing JD4 to choose a character. Wait, <laughs> He chose Yoshi? He chose Yoshi! Oh my god. He I know nothing. I know nothing. I've been proven a fool. <laughs> it happens though. That's it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna quickly take the opportunity to reset the thing since right now there's currently a glitch that I currently I accidentally hit the losers button. So now that's showing up on the host controller. So what? What? Gonna... What's the host controller? Ah, it's this wonderful local server. Ah, that... look at this. So it's, oh, it's, 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 it's pretty neat. The last set. It, well, not the last set, but we're waiting on this set. Right? Why is it still uh, there? Well, so I guess we can start calling winners round three. Yeah. The loser yeah. winners round three? All right. I'm sorry, chat, but the, the loser's chat, the, the loser's icon stays, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. I don't know why it's like this. Oh no. Try hitting the thing. Up, like up up here. Is that like not like that W? Is that different? Oh yeah, this is different. Yeah, okay. these ones are like the winners loser sides, but they don't go away once they're it's something. Interesting. Even when I reset it, so that's unfortunate. Alright, so who is in bracket currently? Winners round three. We've got Ziva Sam oh Salmon's no Salmon's one oh okay. He started around two. Oh wait, hold on. It... Are we are, are we doing? Oh, killer weed versus less than three. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I am excited for this match. I'm excited for every match in this bracket. Absolutely. This is the hypest tournament I've ever been to. It is a hype tournament. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> killer weed less than three. They're not losers, but the Im but the yep. icon won't go away. Wait, I thought they were. Oh wait, oh they yeah, they're currently yeah. losers. They are actually losers. losers. <laughs> yeah, they're actually losers. <laughs> All right, but well, here we go. So I wonder who they're going to play. This is losers round one or two. Oh, this is still losers round one. Yeah. Okay. This is the match you're waiting on. So, so la last last match of losers round one here. Okay. Gonna be less than three versus. Uh, versus Killer Weed. So what, what character is Killer Weed playing? Killer Weed. Typically, I remember he plays Pit. 
But let's see if he chooses pit. Yeah, he is hovering pit right now. Yeah, I've uh, unfortunately gotten a chance to become intimately familiar with Less Than Please Pilot and Mithra. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I despise the Pyramid Mithra matchup. It's something that I have to learn Who do you play? as well. I play Roy. Oh, that, so, that's super cool. I love Roy. Oh, Roy, he is, he is, he is indeed the boy. I, lo I love I love Buttons characters. So, like, Roy is really cool. Like, Meta Knight is really cool. Meta Knight is really cool. <laughs> that's the thing. Um, so like Sonic, uh, Sonic played aggressively. Is really Sonic cool. played ag yeah, exactly played aggressively. The, this is the asterisk. Yeah. All right. Oh, Killer Weed is gonna play Le Ridley. Ridley, interesting. I've seen another Ridley so soon after the last one just got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but let's hope Killer Weed can make it work. Yep. Game already off to a start here. Ridley getting some solid percent, but less than three hitting with the bread and butter of the Zare to uh, grab. Notice Less Than 3 is very good at hitting these up tilts. Um, very good out of shield option. Uh, that's the thing. Here we go. So Coming, approaching with that side B. Not going to be able to capitalize off it though. I, I'm honestly, I'm, I want to see what Killer Weed's thinking here. Because if I'm picking a character against Zero Suit, I want a character probably with a small hitbox so I can't get hit by those upright combos. Absolutely, right? Right. But Killer Weed obviously has, you know, probably knows more about Ridley than I do. So we'll there see what's happening. Go. Oh, and there's the up B. Oh yeah. Gonna snag the jump from ledge. Have the jump from ledge. Ridley back, but stock number two. Let's see if there's any adaptions, right? First first stock's just data. Right? Yep, exactly. First stock's just the download. Just the download. Oh, you're yeah, seeing that F Smash go running the shield there. Ridley patiently waiting on the stage for Zeus to come back. This thing really gets the dash attack. Yep. Throw some fireballs. Yep. Throw some fireballs trying to get that edge guard. Nice. Forward tilt. So you're still able to go above them though. That down B. Down B. All, the, all these mix up options. Yep. Looks like they're doing a really good job of like sneaking in a lot of hits here. Been playing in disadvantage for almost this entire stock, but it would be still at 63. Goes backwards. Oh, it's the up smash. Bro, oh, and that's in. gonna lead into something. Ooh, but Somebody missed the flow with it. Oh, oh, wow. Just a little late on it. With that quick reaction with the spot dodge. Absolutely. Here he goes. So Ridley going in. Oh, yep. You're getting back in. Off the middle of the stage. And try to find a way in right now through these side bees. Zeusy making the most of that move, and it's gonna almost pick up a kill there. Oh, he's going deep. Ooh. As deep he went, and we're yep. with the down B. Yep, down B super safe. Oh, look, it's caught by that dash attack. Dash attack. All, All right. right. So now you know, Zero Suit, less than three, has a full stock in that. Yep, but Killer Weed seems to have been doing better over the course of this than at the very beginning of the game, so we'll see. Let's see if he can pull something out. Oh, try to with the down smash. Not gonna happen. Okay. Up tilt with no follow up. Right here we go, zero suit. Managing Triple to, jab. Yeah, managing to sneak in that shield before Ridley's dash attack. Oh, Ridley getting zero suit up and out of the middle of that stage. It's gonna be hard to zero suit to find a way back in. Uh, Ridley, Ooh. oh, air, air dodging to ledge. ledge. I'm glad it was to ledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might have been pretty rough otherwise, but, you know, was able to find that window. Um, oh, with the grab? Getting Zeusuit off the stage. Again, able to go over those fireballs with the down B. And perhaps we need to get up here. That's the thing. Zeusuit back throwing. And getting those up airs. Keeping really out of the- Oh, but the down air! Gonna sneak in over up smash and not quite get the kill. So now the question is, Ridley right now playing incredibly good neutral, yep. but now also has to play get, has to play catch up as well. Exactly. The stock has been very eye for an eye, very even, but Ridley has been playing an entire stock down, so less than three sitting pretty comfortable here. That's the thing, can you continue to play? Yeah. 
Zero Suit can completely, like, just play at her own pace. Yep. Gonna get, get that grab. Just needs to land one back air against Ridley over the course of an entire stop. But, you know, Ridley is one of those characters that can rack up a ton of momentum. So anything's possible. Absolutely. Especially this is like, wouldn't yeah. it be funny if we've got to see one down beat in this game? <laughs> yeah. From Ridley, I, I would love to see that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of time spent there without anyone doing anything. Let me get the sour spot. Oh, going deep to fish out the yeah. back there. That's true. Yo, you know, That's true. And I think this is the canon resolution to said matchup. The canon resolution, that's true. <laughs> the, resolution. the less than three will take the game <laughs> yeah. number one. You know, um, killing me playing very well there. I didn't notice that ESC. Canonical matchup on stream. Yeah. Killing me playing very well there, but cannot, cannot, cannot overcome the plot under there. They're saying he's just a boy. Oh, that's a super effective move, right? Yeah, super effective. Back in Brawl, when there was actually type advantage for Pokemon. Seriously? Yes. Oh, right. I forgot about that. And like, I'm so shocked. His fire moves were like the only thing that was in the rest of the game. Yeah, there was something that actually super effective. Yeah. So glad Pokemon Trainer is like actually good in this game. But uh. Starting off, we'll be coming back for round two. That's Ooh. the thing, yeah. Killer no, Weed said, it. run it back. We're going to do it again. Yeah. You know, I've got the download. Yeah. So, so, so we're going to play it out. Here we go. Something we said for the dedication. So I'd be carrying Zeusu all the way across the stage. What's the stage? Let's see. Yeah. Really, right now. Really going Killer after that dash tag, getting punished for missing it. That's the thing. They're playing so carefully right now. They're exactly. just sweeping. They're trying to get each other to run into their own moves. Yeah, this has been a very even match so far, and a very excellent one for neutral. A lot of good neutral being played. That's the thing. They're just, they're just both exchanging center control. Exactly. This is... I feel like if you want to see why Battlefield is, like, meaningfully different than, like, other stages, this is an amazing set to watch for that. Absolutely. Both players really clearly know what they want to be doing on the stage, and that... Oh, my goodness! That was some sus DI, but regardless... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Floridzo could just be stronger than we think it is. Or until, yeah, no, that, that really surprised me, though. I yeah. didn't expect that to go. I don't think anyone did. Perhaps not even the players. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, and that will be, that's going to take it. Nice. Now, now Ridley, zero suit, two stocks apiece. Yes. Oh, so we're trying to change those up here. Is, but Ridley be able to fall out of it. There you go, good SDI. Very even game here. Oh, but that air dodge. Oh, my So unfortunate. Goodness. Fails to be reverse that up B. And Kalubi now sitting at a decent advantage. Oh, unless... The ladders! Unless... Good oh, time. barely gonna miss out on that kill. Battlefield's massive ceiling coming in clutch there. Absolutely. And behind to the side to avoid the ceiling as well. Yep. Seriously, trying to cover all these get-up options, but get-up attack's gonna cover that anyway. However, uh, Zero Suit very close to evening out this stock, making up for this SD. Yep. Unless oh. really. Oh, trying to roll well, out. Reads the, the long get up, though. Ridley's really getting, getting good at calling less than three on these, uh, on these side Ds. Um, you know, you saw a lot of those getting hit at the beginning of the set, and now you're seeing a lot of those, most of those being covered by Shield. Shield, what? There you go, that's cool. Skew can can we see a skewer? A skewer? I would love to see a skewer. <laughs> skewer, skewer, but no. <laughs> like, oh! Hey, we saw a skewer. We didn't saw say a skewer. Didn't say that. Didn't say that. It didn't have to hit. It's all good. Okay. We, we, we got to see a skewer. <laughs> Killer Weed definitely the people's champion right now. Dang. Thanks, Killer Weed. Much yeah. appreciated. <laughs> but now yeah. the match continues. Killer Weed still holding that advantage from the SD, but not by a lot. Well, I think they've been doing a very good job of, you know, kind of earning a comeback here. Oh, and those up airs. The up air could lead into a lot of damage. Right now, it's just about even. Yep. Holy cow. Zero Suit, you know, generally has to work a little bit harder than Ridley for that, for that damage, given that her attacks do Ooh. less, but... Definitely proving to be capable of that. And then the side B. Yep. Oh, oh that's the up B, though. That could be big. Gets an up here. Will it connect to anything else? Zero suit using Less all the doing their best job to get back to the stage. Before yeah, the smash whiffing there. Incredible landing mix up as well. Yeah. 
Man, this is close. Yep. Yeah, go for our kill percent. It's, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh the dash attack. attack. Oh, but that's Lester not gonna, gonna come kill. back. Can we be intended to go deep for that punish, but actually just ends up in disadvantage here? Will Lesson 3 be able to capitalize? Doesn't look like it. Oh, and the back air drop to the platform. Damn, Amazing look from less than three there, able to come back from that super early SD there, oh, game two, and take the match. Very close. well done. Yeah, no, that was a close second match. That could have yeah. gone either way. I hope we didn't interfere with too much with the skewer. Yeah, I was, I was a little apprehensive on that. I was like, oh no, we're influencing gameplay. <laughs> the skewer. <laughs> You're struggling so much. Is a stream match? Is someone in a stream match playing melee right now? <laughs> right. Well, um, you know, for those of you at home who did not know this, uh, melee is currently happening in the same room, and it looks like there's some crossover between competitors, and our relevant players are currently being held hostage by the melee crowd. There you go. So you see. Some melee over here. I've already played. I've got the Octop Rage Face on stream. Octop Rage Face on stream. That's gonna be a good match. Octop Rage Face stream. Now. You're returning up the Cornell Metal Day. Hey. Octop. So, we've seen Octop before. We're now about to see Rage Face. Powerful Palatina. I've not seen Rage Face before. Who's Rage Face playing? He is playing Meta Knight. He is Meta Knight aficionado. How many Meta Knights are there here? It seems to kind of be like a thing. Yeah, I know, right? There, I believe there are two Meta Knights. So this is gonna be winners. Um, winners round three already. Yep. Already tournament winners round three. This tournament's moving. yeah. Tournament's moving, moving quickly. People are really motivated for that maple syrup. <laughs> exactly, a maple syrup. Yeah. Oh yeah, chat. You guys don't know. Yo, the yo, prize can, you, can, can we get the prizes on screen? Oh, do we want? I feel like we should show them. We should, we should show them what's at stake. We'll, 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 we'll show what's at stake, right? I, we can show it on camera. Yeah. Let's say right before top eight starts. Right before top eight starts. Good. I, I like the idea. I like the idea. That'd be cool. But yeah, maple syrup and all sorts of maple syrup. All sorts, all sorts of Cornell swag, Cornell goodies, Cornell goodies are on the line. So let's see. So I'm expecting a Meta Knight versus Palutena. On principle. Right? Who knows? But winners round three? Yeah. Is it still, still going to uh, say losers? Let's see. We'll see. It's, it's still, well, it's still probably going to say losers. But okay, this is winners. This, this is, winners. is winners, yeah. These players doing very well for themselves today. Uh, let's see, o OBS score. Also, shout out to um, uh, this is a random shout out to um, uh, someone named Waffle In or like someone who the person who developed the OBS scoreboard that we're using today for today's tournament. Open source and works pretty well. Yeah. Yes, please. Wait, just switch your players. Just this guy. Oh, oh, okay. I guess you can move physically too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Player one on the left side. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, At least it just makes the camera more. Uh, yeah. Gives that that symmetry. Makes yeah, people understand what's going on. That's the thing. Alright, awesome. Alright, so we are going to be seeing Meta Knight Palutena here. We'll see what these characters have for each other. There you go. Octop Palutena versus Rage Face. Oh, both Meta players kind of playing footsies with each other a little bit there. My goodness, two down throws, two All back airs. Already seeing down throw back air. Crack down, down Octop. Into up air. Take your commanding lead here at the start of the game. Dang. Meta Knight is unable to land. Yeah. Except now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And Meta Knight is gonna get that grab. And you know, you know Meta Knight. One hit can escalate into into many. anything you want. Yeah. It's any or any. In fact, up air. Oh, up air. Ladder. Up air. Oh, oh it's so a back air drag down though. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's true. So both Oh, that was yeah. what an <laughs> angle to be launched, but um, no problem for me. Covering, covering that dimensional cave back to the stage. Like, man, able man. to kind of keep it, keep Meta Knight close to the ledge here in this disadvantaged position. Dude, back oh, wind box. Attempts to wind box. That would have been. That would have been big brain. Big brain. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. If when I, I able to land that up tilt though, poke through the top of the platform, but it's not gonna matter Woo! as that down it comes out, securing the first stock for up top, but Rage Face by no means out of it at all. Not at all. Altana still sitting at 74 here. Here's the thing. Alright. Landing that dash attack. Ooh, barely missing the up B. But recovering nicely. Trying to land these, trying to make leads with these forward smashes. Absolutely. Recovered very nicely. Didn't get punished for it. Straight to ledge. Yep. Maybe gonna. Ooh, gonna try to use Tornado there. Not gonna pay off. Dimensional Cape is a landing option. Very good, very well played there by Drag the Drag down, but the forward smash does not connect. Yep. Roll to the octop, making the wise decision to roll to the left there. Getting out of dodge for that down smash. Look, they are dashing Ooh. back around each other. Oh, octop! We see a little bit of... There, there was not much attempt to punish that. <laughs> it's hard, but it's hard to... Yeah, you especially know. Especially with Meta Knight's drift. Exactly, and, and his ability. the platform too. So, maybe that was tough, but... Yeah, both players just kind of going equal on whiffing there. And Rage Face still has not been able to secure this stock. That's the thing, yeah. It's like, they're, they're even until you remember, like, there's a whole stock difference. Exactly. Oh, I'll and then the back air, possibly? No. Nope. Down, Down into... Up. Up. Oh! Air. That's interesting. Wonderful. I was but still picking that. up that kill. <laughs> yeah, up top knows the percents. Yep. Clearly has practiced this stuff. Auto reticle keeping Meta Knight out of the center of the stage now. And Rage Face just seems to be struggling a little bit. Yeah, it's just the dominant Halutena. Yep. You know, ledge guarding's on point. Center exactly. It's like I blinked and, and, and Rage Face is dead. You know, but like <laughs> roll, roll in into yeah. grab, into down throw back. Yeah, Octop just so consistent with that stuff there. You need to be totally on your guard or you're gonna get caught by it. Absolutely. <laughs> now they're going to go to game two. They're already choosing music. <laughs> yeah. They got they gotta set the mood. Gotta set the mood. What what music are they going with? Go full screen, I gotta see this. There you go. Let's see. And I'm not ready. And Paulo first. Scroll the smash. Oh, the smash music. Oh, yeah, Final Destination. Classic. We're all destination. I can respect it. I can respect it. I like the music. Oh, the music kind of There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll be looking forward Wait, to where's it. Where's your ring a ding? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright, Wade's attempting to hit him with the music counter pick. We'll see how it works out. There you go. Well, I hope it does work out for him. Yep. But here we go. Oh, Off good. top. Getting that first hit. Showing us a but, textbook. Yep. Alutena. Those nair loops. It is. And Octop incredible. knows exactly how many nairs to go for. I've never seen them, like, do nair into nair into, like, with a nair. They exactly. always know how to capitalize off those strings. Very good place for them. Both right, players trading down air to shield. Ooh. Alright, let's go. Octop going jab. into dash attack. Oh, nair. going deep for that nair. Deep. Meta Knight oh. will cover, but the F smash is on the wrong side. Yeah, barely missing that F smash window. Ooh! Rage face with the lead on the teleport. The thing, he didn't clip to ledge, he landed on stage, so that's a free up smash. Basically, I did like that. Yep. Side me back to stage. Game looking decently even here. Rage face perhaps has gotten a bit of a download. Oh! Oh, did not get the up there. Oh, wait, what? Back throw is gonna kill, so up top is gonna take the lead with the first stop. Yep, nice and reliable option there. Now okay. let's see how much extra credit. 38%, 51%. <laughs> Okay, 
We're seeing the same problem here again. It's that Rage, Rage Face is okay at dealing that damage, but once it comes time to land a kill move, is uh, kind of struggling at uh, finding one. The finding the kill. Oh, my oh wow! And that back is gonna kill mega early. And Octop just looking dominant here. And now Octop, now Rage Face down to the last stop. Yeah, just the combos and bread and butter that Octop's utilizing here, and the ledge pressure, just keeping Rage Face on ledge. Just like so. Oh, but dimensional kick? Yeah. Almost gonna kill there. Oh, there we go. And that F smash leading the get up. There you go. And get that kill for the The momentum Rage Face needs to get back into the game. Yeah. Up top. Trying to deny that though. Back there. Almost sending Meta Knight to his grave. The oh, back. Oh, yeah. and that up, up there. there. That's, that's gonna, gonna seal it. it. Wow. Uh, Great set there. Good set. Up top just showing us exactly what Palutena can do. Absolutely. Let's go. Oh, JD Force playing Lucas over there. I will never not laugh. When I, I will never not laugh. Gotcha. Okay, so now they're just talking about the matchup. But yeah, it looks like Up top will take that and move yeah. on to winners. Semis. Round four? Oh, is that semis already? Win, win, yeah, round four is semis because there's only five rounds. Yeah, Oh, oh, wait. What? Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so losers quarters, maybe? You have winners quarters. Yeah, winners quarters. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Wait. So let's see. Oh, let me see if I can broadcast the bracket. Oh, that'd be interesting. That'd be cool. Show the show the people what what matches are on deck. Oh, here we go. All right. So, so checking yeah. this out. So this is our current bracket right now. So right now we just watched off top and off top and rage face. Yep. So now off top is going to play face. Oats next. Oh, that's going to be a good match. Holy cow. Oats. Oats is what is Oats playing? Incredible Kirby player. Kirby, really? Kirby player. And he's and he's going to go play. Right. So we're having rage face versus ESC on stream right now. All right. So two players we've already seen today. Yeah. Let's see. So we're gonna see Rage Face versus ESC. Losers round three. Not a match I would be expecting to see in losers round three, but tournament snack, I guess. Yep. So let's see, ESC, and he might play Luigi, he could play anyone. We'll predict the Luigi. We'll, we'll predict the Luigi. I like, how, I like how so many people here play so many characters, it really makes the matches so interesting. Absolutely, yeah, very great character diversity in the scene. Yeah. Nice. I appreciate that a lot. This is nice. Let's see, how's chat doing? Oh, we, haven't, chat, we haven't had a chat dry. in a while. <laughs> chat, chat's that's a little struggling. dry. That, that's okay. <laughs> When, when, when they feel like talking, we'll, yeah. we'll be here to communicate. Yeah, you'll, you'll go when you need to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, cool. Whoa, but nine whole views? Yo, this is a banger. <laughs> Yo, we got Whoa, nine viewers? What's nine up? viewers. Yo, can, we get, can we get double digits? Double digits? Yeah, that, would, that, <laughs> I, that, that would be flattering. Yeah. Perhaps the, all the people who have left the tournament so far, because we had so many people playing today. Perhaps That's everyone who, who, who left has gone home and turned on the stream. stream. Yeah, <laughs> understandable. If that's you and I just called you out, say something. I want to know if I'm right. Yeah, please say something. We, we would appreciate it. Yep. Looks like a competitor is going to gentleman to Rainbow Cruise for this game. Interesting choice. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way they're going to do it. Oh, they're going to do it. No, they're not. Ah, uh, they're not going to do it. Ah, uh, they go to a small battlefield. Unhype. Oh, no, do Rainbow do Cruise next time. <laughs> oh, no, I, oh my goodness. No stage hazards, it's fine. It's fine, oh, trust I, me. It's fine, no stage hazards. It's all good. Oh, all good. good. Hmm. Oh, wait, I see. Let's see. It looks like they're... Both friends. players kind of confused about how to switch which players they are. Looks like they figured it out. 
Oh, okay, they're doing a doing the switch. Oh, all right. Yes, yeah, see, indeed. They spent all that time trying to figure out how to make this incorrect. <laughs> oh, right. Here we right. go, though. We've got range face. Yeah. Versus this is Luigi. Luigi. Yep. Yeah. So both players, range face. We just saw actually. Um, we just saw. Let's see if range face can kind of try to redeem redeem himself for their performance in the last match. They're looking like they're looking pretty good here. They're able to land those dash attacks, but not quite able to complete off of them. Like I see better than I wants to. That's the thing. Let's see, but right now, well, yes, he's going oh, on the going off with the up airs. Oh, oh going to to the double grab does not land it. And a good spot though yep. to go into jab. That's one consistent thing with a lot of the Luigi's I've seen is that they often are very good in knowing the spot dodge. The spot dodge is like a prime opportunity for hitting that grab. It's actually grabbing up smashes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Frame data on that's deceiving. Deceptive. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh that in the back air. Where did it come from? Wow. Where did he go? Yes, see. Taking a, a very strong lead. Honestly, that was on this first game. Oh, the rage face. Able to get a ladder on. Oh, the Luigi Cyclone. Luigi as we were talking about earlier. Whipping just one up air. Yeah. That opened him up to Luigi Cyclone. Yep. Great way to land against those cages want to be comboing you in the air. Oh, right. Rage right. going deep. Yep. Going for that edge guard. Not going to get it. Oh, and barely out of the range of that grab. Very well spaced by rage face there. Is it big? Oh. Oh, uh, that dash attack gonna connect into up B, not gonna land. He's gonna get hit with a Luigi dash attack for it. There you go, another and a second dash, dash attack. attack. Can we see number three? Oh, we will Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. hey, we, we kind of got number three. <laughs> yeah, we exactly kind of got it. Just delayed three. a little bit. Got caught in the mail. Ooh, good up tilt from Rage Face. Yep. And oh, double man. loop, and that's gonna take it. Yep, up you gonna finish it off. It's now two Great two option for the night to close off stocks there. Hey, look at that up air. That was unexpected. Yep. Interesting match here, Luigi being a very grounded character, and Meta Knight really wanting to, uh, you know, like be confined to the air due to his fast aerials. We saw that earlier with uh, ESC versus Salmon, but he seems to be perhaps adapting to the play pattern a bit better here. Yeah. He's using the, especially with the Luigi Cyclone, because Meta yeah. Knight's multi-hit combos, yeah. and being able to escape escape it just with the hit of a button. Yes, exactly. You've seen... Yes, just like that. Like, <laughs> there we see it. Well, it seeing the well. methods ESC is using to kind of, uh, you know, putting the game back to the ground, so to speak. Absolutely. Oh, it's gonna miss that alive. down air. Oh, Nair into back air? Yeah. Send out that fire. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> oh, oh. shuttle loop. Yeah. Right now, rage face. Rage face. Signs, plenty of signs of life. Really yeah. trying to bring this back. Oh, but lose the spot dodge. And that's gonna end the game there. And yes, he's favorite. Good. Playing very aggressively. Yep. We'll see what we'll, we'll see what Rage Face is gonna do to adapt here. That is the question. Yeah. Like Kuno Meta Knight seems very dedicated to the character though. I doubt I'll get crazy kind of bullshit. I agree. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna do both for the stage. Yes, too. Yes. Alright. Got some platforms for Meta Knight to work with. Alright. Alright, I'm just running it back to the same character. Yes, you. Here we go. Rage face versus the Yes. Three games. See if that affects the play at all. I know a lot of people play better or worse under pressure. I definitely play worse. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, right? It's I guess it's how you redirect that stress. Yeah. Oh, but Luigi oh with the ladder here. I'm barely gonna miss out on killing. Oh, but Luigi gonna miss the ledge there with that fast fall. Luigi face able to kind of keep Luigi at a disadvantage. Oh, he went deep for that. That was yeah, very deep into, into the blast zone. Took some percent ticks off of that. <laughs> and yeah, both characters now back in neutral. Luigi throwing off the grabs, the back airs, man, throwing dash attacks, the flubbers. 
Throwing the classic the stuff. Kitchen <laughs> and no players have hit each other for 20. Oh, and Luigi's gonna be the first to break the stall with that. We grab hitbox and a dash attack. There. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna catch that landing there with the down throw, yeah. connected into Cyclone. There you go. That's gonna be a lot of knockback there. Support. Oh, the plunger. Uh oh, that yep. nair from Luigi's right getting knocked into off. Into another Ooh, nair. nair. No miss fire. That's gonna be fire. hard to get back from. Oh, oh he and then I right, be ready. And oh, that's no. gonna be Luigi oh, no. getting dimmed. Something you see so rarely. Yeah. You know, just proves how how good Rage Face is at getting those edge guards. Absolutely. At least Luigi's if they recover, because Luigi does have an like, exploitable recovery, but if you recover, but usually you recover at such low angles that you can't get them. Yes, and the thing is, it's exploitable, but it's also very doable in the sense that once you actually land that move, a move to interrupt it, Luigi can often just try the same thing again. So you have to be very persistent to officially uh, edge guard Luigi. Exactly. You can never, like, think you've done it. Oh, and with the loop oh, there, and Luigi is taking stop board. too. That's very good. Very, owning a very nice lead. With that ladder. Okay, let's we just like, we're not gonna quite pick up the skill. The kill. Yeah. Oh, charging that up smash. Oh, and Rage Face dash attacking something. into it. No fear. Oh, oh and this more ladders. Oh, oh tornado to finish your Attempting to finish with tornado, but getting got by the air dodge. Rage Face, really just been. Oh, and that oh, misfire is fire. going to backfire for ESC. Ah, uh, <laughs> That was a free stop. Yeah, Rage Face oh. really turning it around there, getting that download. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see what happens in game three. You know, I feel like there was a moment there where Rage Face just kind of turned down the heat. Yeah, exactly. He just said he was able to get a lot more of those ladder conversions. Exactly. And those ladders can kill so early. An insane oh. advantage of playing Meta Knight. Yeah, can you sign for the first one? Here we go. Luigi. Meta Knight? It's in my uh, bag. Like, my black mystery bag got set. Here we go. Losers I... round three. Game three. Rage Face versus ESC. So they, so ESC counterpicking back to small battlefield, or he won game one. So maybe the sage counterpick can give him the advantage here. Excellent thinking, yeah. St stage a lot more like oriented around being like you know horizontal. So Luigi's ground based quick is gonna be very good there. Oh, yes, yeah, ESC having a much better time on this first stop. Getting a lot yep. more grabs, especially. You're seeing ESC use those platforms to great advantage there. Staying under them so Meta Knight can't use landing aerials. Mm -hmm. Now also there's even some SDI on the on the up air. Yeah. Let's just keep the ladder combo. Ooh, gonna whiff that uh that Foley smash, but we grab into dash attack. How do we keep seeing from ESC? Couldn't be very reliable and efficient. Oh, oh and up my smash. goodness, how did that hit? <laughs> Why is Luigi up smash like this? <laughs> but that's gonna be the first stop for ESC. Up smash hitting at a totally reasonable angle as always. <laughs> exactly. The tip oh, of the hat. But comes oh. back against that. Uh -oh. well, the green the missile, that's what that move is called. Oh, and the oh back air. Very air. efficient edge guarding from Rage Face there. Assistance as we've seen in both games now. Yes. Just keep going at him. Until your aerial is literally the thing to kill it. Absolutely. So right now, it's just about oh, even unless... Oh, hold on! The combo! 65 65% off of the grab. That's incredible. It's and that dash attack is going to keep Meta Knight separated horizontally there. Oh. Alright, what's going to happen here? Luigi knocking Meta Knight below the ledge of that dash attack. Avo Meta Knight avoiding the up smash with dimensional cape. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Wow. Forward smash Luigi, from Luigi! Using his entire repertoire of smash attacks there to eventually land the kill on Meta Knight. Dash attack. Oh, can't stay Meta Knight's dashing with the- What oh, is the this? Up tilt. What is this? The up tilt. The up tilt. <laughs> Rage face perhaps not sure how to SDI out of that, not prepared for it. It's tough. It's, it's a mix-up, bro. Yes, he's using loops of his own. Alright. 
All right, rage, rage face. Able to cover that with shield. Definitely not out of this yet. No, not at all. Kind of stuffing that missile by running into it. Oh, and Luigi up smash. Back at it again. <laughs> Back at it again. <laughs> Is yeah, yes, he is just applying so much pressure here. No, not letting Rage Face bleed. Mm -hmm. Rage Face, oh, Rage Face still finding it. ways to keep Luigi off that ledge. Gonna be going very deep to edge guard. Oh, but he's not oh and popping up loop. too early. Yeah. So unfortunate. That's well, unfortunate. still great playing by Rage Face there. And uh, looks like ESC is going to be moving on to top eight. Probably. Yeah. Or, well, further in losers. Have to see. Is losers, is losers in top eight yet? Um, I think top eight starts at um. Is top eight next round? It is actually. Yeah, right. we'll be moving into. We'll be moving into top eight. Yeah. On to. We need Wavy and less than three to play. Oh, but looks like they're already going. So Wavy and less than three are now competing for top eight. Yeah. Uh, top eight kind of just sneaked up on me. Like I didn't know. Yeah. We were already Shall here. Sh sh shall I go get the prizes to show off in preparation for top eight? Dang, actually, yeah. That would okay. be cool. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Hopefully, we don't break anything on like trying to get over the wires. These are the these are the main prizes. We've got the Cornell Bear. So we've got so for our top eight prizes, this, we've this got first place. this guy first place gets the believe, Cornell Bear. Sec I believe all the top four get these bottles of Cornell Ithaca maple syrup. Maple syrup. So we've got some exclusive 100 pure 100 percent maple syrup. You know, dark amber color. Pretty nice, you know, along with a bear. Yeah. So it'll be a really nice winter treat. We've got steaks, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So they, 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 they are the the players are fighting for something. So I don't think maple syrup. Is pretty nice. I also got some assorted sweets and chocolates, some small gift cards. Yeah. So you know, every other topic is going to be walking away from this camera with something they can be proud of. <laughs> with something, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. With something to be proud of. Meanwhile, the venue is still full. Yeah. People are playing a lot of good games. You know, some people have trickled out, but you know, people seem to be for the most part just enjoying their time here. Pretty comfy. Oh, this match. Oh, this is a match I'm excited for. This is Octop versus Oats. Octop versus Oats. So I believe we are now in top eight. Yeah, right, now yeah. This is. Are we? No, we're not semis. Is this semis? This is where it's No, this is no, it's, no, this it's is winners quarters. quarters. It's winners quarters. It's semis. Oh yeah, that's winners finals. Yeah, and then this yeah. is grand finals, and this is grand uh, grand finals. Grand that's reset. Yeah, so this so, is semis. So this is no, this, this is, is no, no, no. Semis, winners finals. <laughs> oh, and then yeah. oh my gosh, yeah, Alan yeah. has me messed up. <laughs> this is winners semis. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got winners semis. Octop versus Colts. Oh, my God. this is gonna be an explosive game. Both of these characters, both of these characters, both of these players are incredibly strong. That's that 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 is an understatement. And Bumper is in the background. I love this. <laughs> this is cool. Octop versus Oats. Winners. Yeah. Looks like despite the fact that we have, it, that stream says five viewers, we have at least six. Hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we we got some in-person viewers too. Here we go. We've got Kirby versus Cloud. Who needs boss when you have random people singing who have nothing better to do? <laughs> All right. Winners. So, top going Cloud here, opting instead of the Palutena. That's the thing. I wonder why. Well, the dish toy probably. <laughs> yeah. More than anything. But Oats, yeah. not caring about this disjoint, no, but are getting quickly anyways. Uh, he doesn't care. He has he has much experience yep. with this matchup, I imagine. This being, this yeah, is Oats off top. Off top. Off top is playing cloud because there's a, I believe because there's a disjoint. Incredible disjoint. <laughs> oh, it oh, looked at that cross slash with the down air. And Oats gonna be evening stuff up here. 
That's the thing. Kirby BMBs are nothing to laugh at. We got yep. oh the down tilt, nah. but it's gonna be up the other shield. Yep. 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 Up the the, the elite smash yeah, special yeah. as we call it. Absolutely. And Cloud has the opportunity to use the limit to cover this get up oh. and does so immaculately with that neutral B. Gonna be stuck yeah. one to up top here. That's the thing. counter pick paying off. Blade being hitting below ledge is gonna punish stalling. So now Oats has gotta find a way to take the next stock. Yep. While Oats was uh, looking very strong at the, at the, you know, at the very beginning of the game, um, you know, I think this is going to be a, probably a lot of a match of uh, Octop finding ways to abuse his range and Oats trying to find ways through it. Absolutely, and finding ways to take the kill. Exactly. Cloud's hitting 110 right now. Oats kind of looking for any way to get his hands on him. Uh -oh. That forward air, gonna right. send Oats far from the stage. We'll see how he opts to land there. And off top, running away with this, yeah. especially in terms of extra credit. Right now, just oh. off playing the, the neutral is incredible. Yep. And, you know, off top's ability to just run away and, like, charge limit intermittently, as, he, as he's been shown to be very willing to do. And then the is... frame punish with the side beat. Yep, exactly. Supporting. It really puts the pressure on Oats to approach. That's a thing. It's crazy how- Oh, oh there we go, forward air! Reading the Kirby. jump with the forward air. Alright. So that's gonna- so that's no, gonna Oates take a, the stock. Yeah, Oates, Oates has a stock to make up, but- you know, Oh, here he goes! Oh, seen, oh, the small the battlefield, battlefield platforms. Oh, but he's gonna do oh. it again! Gets another grab! Into Fury Stomp, down throw. Alright, uh-oh, but oh, now off wow, top's claiming the, the ledge. So now off top and Kirby is using the trip into the grab. Kirby classic. Cloud there letting go. go of that limit a bit early, perhaps. Wow, look at the, but, dish, the back air at this point, beating the forward smash from Kirby. Yep, yeah, and still able to connect into that side B. Side B again, this time out of shield B. with Kirby's S smash crossing it up. Oh, look Cloud trying to space there. a bit with those specials. Oh, oh and that ledge invisibility beating out the down air, and Kirby oh, landing that good down, down smash. smash. <laughs> So right now, right. last stock scenarios. Oh, yeah. Oats able to take this back. Yeah. Kirby let's... rage, low cloud percent, optimal for combos. Yeah. But you know, Octop. You don't neutral. see a whole lot of Kirby's in this game. They can really do anything. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> you never thing. know what they're capable of. You really never know. But then Octop's neutral has been immaculate. <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh -oh. Kirby try to walk Octop off the stage instead of opting to take the neutral B. Wow. Oh, Kirby able good to keep him out, even with Cloud having this limit. Limits expired. And Cloud's limit, the limit's been gone. Oh, it's been able to kind of force that out of him by just forcing him away from the and stage. And just like that, he's evened it up already. Yep, both in terms of, well, was in terms of stage control. Oh, it's still finding ways to bob and weave over those blade beams. And gonna oh, miss that up smash, smash in the wrong direction because of the cross up. Yep. Oh, oh no! Oh, the Kirby it. spike! And Yo! Oats with the amazing comeback to take it. Wow, how did he Basically steal that? Basically, two entire stocks to one. And Kirby just looks so happy. Uh, Kirby, Kirby's definitely excited about yeah. that game. <laughs> how did he has pulled it back? That was cool. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's go. So, Octop picking, counter picking PS2. Yep. Got those platforms to disrupt that Kirby forward throw combo. Alright, Octop gonna stick with Cloud. Cloud definitely a good choice here. Stayed dominant, especially in the early game. Just a matter of closing it out now with the character. Oh, no, don't worry, Zaga. <laughs> here we go. Yep. Both characters trying to find ways to get in here. Cloud with that classic uh, forward air to side B combo. Coming in clutch with 65%. Daring over the neutral B, Kirby's neutral B. Yep, Kirby though, getting those red and mud and grab combos. Stacking up percent up on Cloud, showing the world that, you know, your, your, your little cousin who, who, who picks Kirby, Kirby when they pick up the game, perhaps, perhaps onto something. Grabs onto something, you know, the classic J Jaw J Jaw, if I say so myself. <laughs> it is a good I love this combo so much. Alright, alright, off top with the dash attack almost closes it out. Just yeah. looking for one final oh. hit. Forward air is going to take it. Yeah, the vertical knockback of that attack, you know, kinda gets slept on when you when you realize like all the combo potential that it has and the fact that it spikes. It's it also incredibly just kills off the top. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, the fact that it killed off the top. <laughs> That's that is incredible. Truly does everything. Kirby having an edge guard scenario though. Oh no! Whiffing right. it, but doesn't matter as cloud is cloud. Dang, that was tough. Maybe he was trying to go for, maybe for the trade. Yeah. Kirby but, though, 
really getting in close there. Well, Putting Cloud tough, to 69% yeah. with just that grab. But and it's still two stocks. Yeah. Lux is gonna take that SD and run with it. Yep. Well, it's more of a gimp. He got knocked off stage. <laughs> yeah, well, he didn't get knocked off stage. Yeah. Kirby able to poke him with those down tilts. Really doing an amazing job of just kind of coming in off top with too much pressure um, for him to be able to decide what to do. Oh, shielding, yep, and then like oh, hit, hit. shielded. Yeah, hitting my shield, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the climb hazard. Yep. <laughs> that's just how that's, it is. Yeah, Another that's the, the algorithm. The, the cloud flow trait. Shields. Ooh! Oh, but up and smash. And with that outer shield up smash, giving cloud limit, but it's not gonna matter. Mm -hmm. Limit won't help you in heaven. <laughs> Here we go. So up top going for the edge garden again. Needs to take this stock before Oats runs away yeah. with low percent combos. And Oats just, you know, honestly. There we go. Dash attack. That's right. gonna do it's gonna be it. even one stock to one. Let's see what these players have for us. Cloud with limit already. That's the thing, the limit head start. Oh, but the way said, and Oats able to find a way through that cross slash to get some grab combos in. The J Jaw, J Jaw forward air. Oh, the release is shield just a bit too early. Yeah, both these characters have similar uppies. <laughs> yeah, <that's> exactly, <laughs> he's perhaps yeah. not as good as an out of shield option there. Yeah, exactly, that's true. They, yeah, Kirby's up, he really can't be used as an out yeah. of shield option, unfortunately. But it's still, it's got the projectile. That's the thing. It's a good projectile, if yep. need be. Both players kind of trading hits very equally here. Right now, it's just about even until... Oh, it's landing with that down here. juggling. Oh, and getting finding his way through the limit cross slash with that down tilt. Okay, he's still performing very well here. Right. Now Oats looking to land oh, in the cloud up smash. And the up smash out of shield. And that's gonna take, gonna the take game. it. And we're going to see game three here. Thing. Tion, what has been what have been two fantastic games so far? Oh, by the way, top eight to best of five, right? Okay. Oh, Let's okay. So game three out of five. Five. It's best of five, not best of three. Yeah, chat, uh, chat. That is true. This Kirby is truly going, buddy. I've never seen a Kirby perform at this level since Frostbite 2017. That's the thing. Oh, hey, Twabby Car, how are you doing? Yeah, Kirby going, buddy. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, someone in the chat. Yeah, someone in the chat. Dog cam. Dog cam. This is Kirby going nutty. We appreciate you trying to uh, Always appreciate it to be the, the first one to, to make some chats. That's the thing. What much appreciate. How many viewers we have? Uh, we are wait, solid seven. seven viewers. Solid oh, seven. This yeah. is a banger. <laughs> yeah, banger stream today. Banger stream. This is great. <laughs> Still tech chase? Forward air? Oh, up wow. Up B? Up B to fall. Oh, and tries to catch the up B with the pose, but he barely misses it. Still able to keep him out of the air. Back air. Yeah. And dash attack is gonna happen. From Oats in the first game, this exact same comeback. So, off top, definitely not out of it yet. Absolutely not. Oats still not gonna alleviate the pressure though, despite his advantage. Gonna keep punching in with those aerials. Oh, here we go. Forward air into oh, forward throw into forward air. Yep. Kirby classic. Ooh, catching that dash attack with the side B. Very well done on off top's play. Up B, up B. Slamming him into the platform. Up the activating limit for Cloud. This could be an early stock here. Oh, oh and no air dodges immaculately through that cross slash. That's surprising. Yep, could be keeping Cloud out with that nair. Cloud grabbing that ledge again. And using down tilt to get back to the stage. There we go. Octop reclaiming stage control here. Yep. You know, 
definitely doing doing a good job putting that person on Oats. Oats is for straight kill percent. Um, but you know, despite that fact, Oats not going any less hard on Cloud, still keeping that aggressive play style, no matter the the, the percentages. And now, look, we just got we have got two characters at kill percent here. Oats looking in a very good position. Absolutely. Oh, the back hair. That was yep. the fast one from us. Yep, the runoff ledge aerial. Now then, off top now at a critical percent. Yep. And I like the... Oh, is this gonna kill? Okay, that might. Wow. Oh, that's gonna kill. Is that the up top? Yeah, yeah. amazingly played oh, sense with others. Uh, like it was like 130. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. Um, yes, you still, very yeah, well show. played yes, by yes, Oats. You know, even given the character counter pick, up top just could not pull that through. So Oats is gonna be up 2-1. Yeah, very good set though. Oh, Definitely could have gone either way. Absolutely. So now here's the question though. What does well does Oct no Octop running it back to PS2? Oh wait, uh, it's best of five. I'm so sorry. So now <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the best of five. Oh my goodness. He's gonna I'm, stick I'm, the I'm, cloud. I'm a terrible I'm commentator. No, you're not. <laughs> I'll you're get used to it. <laughs> um okay, so best Octop of five here. Oh, set is not over yet. Octop still definitely has the possibility for a comeback. PS2 counterpick costume change? Here yep. we go. Cloud's taken off the cloak. He's here taking off the cloak. Taken off the cloak and in doing so taking off the training wave. There you go. Kobe sitting already at 41, and to be honest, I don't even know how it happened. Uh, just some forward airs yeah. and some, some cross slashes. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, good. Still, Oats able to earn that percent right back. Oh, oh the bear, but the limit recovery! At the exact that right time, too. Fun. Yeah. That was incredible. Could be getting that back, though. Whoa, get up attack into that. Into uh, that was fair one. Oh, oh that was fair one. Oh, but getting that two frame with the down smash, sending Cloud off the side, and Oats. Okay, it's like, I didn't see Not that. Not letting off the pressure here. Absolutely. Just getting in every chance he has. Cloud able to take advantage of that with the uh, up B, as always. Oh, there's the dash attack. Yep, able to dash into that Kirby neutral B. Kirby kind of trying to maybe spit Cloud off the edge, but oh, she's really stuck there. Oh. It doesn't matter the pivot up tilt. And off, off top covering the turn to stage so well there with the limit blade beam into uh, oh, punishing the air dodge. All neutral B and neutral. I'm pretty sure that was missing, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. All neutral B. Alright, back air from Kirby Oats. Back air. For the oh, and. Oh! Very good. Going very yeah. deep. But yeah, both players having. A lot of skill there in being able to get back to the stage oh, and the down oh. smash. Yeah, the two framing for the second stock in a row. Two susceptible to two frames. <laughs> Even Kirby can abuse that. Yep. Oh, and okay. yeah, now we're seeing the classic Kirby rebound combos. Yep, Kirby loves just ch horizontally chaining those grab combos across the stage. With the for, with the aerials. As good as the clouds out of shield it is, um, you have to like wonder you know, like how good is this matchup for him despite that. Yeah, just because of Kirby's amazing ability to cover his recovery. Oh no, burning the limit quite yep. early. Oats has been doing an amazing job of weaving around these cross slashes this match. Very impressive. Up B not gonna connect. Yeah. And up smash gonna take the stock there through up top. All right, we have a last stock game here. Yep, Octop sitting at seventy nine percent, but has definitely shown himself to be capable of making comebacks like this. Ooh, the parry on the Oh, oh the drag down into F smash, and yeah, that's that, gonna take the set a, for Oats. Yeah, it's a very reliable confirm. Yeah, that's one of one of Kirby's classic shebangs. Mm. Uh, and Oats gonna take that set, showing off some great, so showing off, you know, perhaps the truth of the Kirby Cloud matchup. Gotcha. We got to get some commentary insight from Z, yeah. current PR. 
So that was really nice. Thank, thank you, Z, for joining. Yeah, yeah. Z, with a lot of insightful Appreciate comments there. That's, that's Absolutely. There you go. So, oh, we got more comments. We got more people. Yeah, right? no, ch ch chat's, chat's invested. Chat, chat is was, invested. What in the world was that? Eat, 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 eat chair, I agree. I, what I just saw, I don't think I've ever seen before. Oh, no, I banned your face. All right, so Octop Oats. And then. I just fucked up. Sure Alright, so what is the <laughs> next game? Perhaps Z versus Bunkers? Z did just leave to play, so that makes sense. Okay. Oh, is it, are we watching Z versus Bumpers? Yo, Bumpers is finally on stream. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Who's, bu who's Bumpers play? Bumpers, I know him to be the best Fox player at Cornet. Interesting. He is, he is a strong player. Yo, Simon, where are you working? How are you doing in the tournament? So let's see. Are we about to see uh, Fox you got, you got versus Snake I stole my top, top in top winners top. semis? <laughs> Yo, this is exciting. This is exciting. Currently playing rock, paper, scissors. Alright, so they're currently working on bands right now. <laughs> hey, more sus loops. What are the sus loops? Yeah, ed educate us, Yo Soy Vegan. Yeah, Yo Soy Vegan. Who's sitting on the mic? Uh, I am, I am, I am Elish Onoah. Um, I am, took a strong own to in this tournament. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. And then my name is Akube. I'm currently providing some stream hardware. Yep. Was all good. Akube coming in mega clutch with all this setup. I just came in and said, hey, can I start talking? <laughs> that is a okay. You've been talking good. <laughs> Thank you. All right, here we go. So we've got Fox versus Snake. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. Oh my goodness. We've got Bumpers versus Z. Yep. Now, Snake, I've not seen Snake recently run into a character with a reflector. Let's see if, like, how slash if Bumpers even is able to use that to his advantage. Okay, Snake, I mean, like, definitely very heavy on the projectiles. Absolutely. Possibly we'll get educated about... Uh, yeah, you know, you know like, like you what ex like, oh, what explosions affect what people like, when stuff is reflected. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. This is gonna be some some reflector like, theory like, in here. But the explosion into the back air, sending bubbles off the side, but able to make that speedy yeah. recovery with the side beat. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Right. How? I imagine uh, rolling uh, below the like, lasers and then getting some jabs. Yeah, like, I can do that. Get up attacking into that bomb, but that immunity gonna save him to take any damage. Ooh! Wow. And the duck into the up tilt, avoiding that, avoiding that landing aerial. And on F Snake blowing up the entire stage right now. No place is safe. No place is safe. Right now, it's currently master of stage control, especially with the grenades. It's tough because now Fox has to get in and stay in. Yeah. And it's hard, especially. Especially with the frame disadvantage of the reflector. Fox has, you know, been struggling to get in here so far. Z just so efficient at setting up that virtual wall of bombs. And then capitalizing off of when anyone makes a mistake and traversing that. That's a thing. Fox though, if able Fox to hold on to life here pretty pretty well. Oh, and that's oh, the sour the sour spot of Dub Smash. Yeah. What? Right now, the right now Bumper's positioning is very good. Yep. So as long as he just maintains it, he'll take the stock at any moment. Yeah. Unless Z. Oh, getting able to hit him with the. Uh oh. Wow. And he was at critical percent percent. And the, yep. And the up tilt gets him off of the down throw. And, you know, Z not not letting up despite the fact that he just took a stop. He wants another one. He wants more. No, he is indeed playing to win. No, it is a dumb move. So the question now is how? how oh, that bumper jab is so powerful. Nikita missing. Bumper's being able to side the under. Well, Bumper's be able to escape ledge. He does escape ledge. Oh, and smash! Probably falling out of jump. jump. Very well done by Bumper's, but still at a major disadvantage here in terms of the game. Oh, and Z perhaps going a little bit too deep with that after putting the C4 on the stage, and suddenly this could be a 
close game. It is now 1-1. One, one. It could be quite the reversal. Holy cow. Right, up throw yeah. into up air, but an explosion. Explosion's gonna catch him out of the pattern. Fox's gonna be able to... Oh, and then up tilt. Oh, with the F smash into up tilt from Steve. Yeah. You know, gonna easily cover Fox's whiffing that play with smash. Not quite getting that cut to range. Snake just, just has the speediest punish. Okay. <laughs> Oh, it looks like we got disconnected. We have no internet. Oh no. Oh, but we're reconnecting though. So okay. Let's, here. let's go. Alright, so Z is gonna Connecting take game chat. one. Leonardo Perez Lopez Perez, then you then you choke it from time to time, you know? Alright, chat's back. Alright, chat's we're back. We're back live. Let's go, we're back. We're live. Connected. Uh, right, okay. Don't know how much of that we missed, but hopefully not wasn't too much. a vital amount. Uh, Z did take that game one. That's too right. Despite SD unfortunately after his first stop was taken. And already has Fox at the ledge here, but Bumper is just showcasing an amazing ability to get back to center. Absolutely. Counter picking on the battlefield, so hopefully he can make use of these platforms. You know, I don't think Snake is too upset with this counter pick as well, to be honest. Yeah. Snake, you know, definitely can form a bit of a zone in the middle there. It's a thing more platforms to take advantage of. Yeah. Right now, oh, going at Fox's shield with that up smash. Nikita coming out to try to just go through recovery. Not gonna do it. There you go. Reacting to the jab combos, but then jab is gonna kill. Gonna kill. Snake's jab is so funny. Like, ah, why does that move kill? He just kind of punches you. It's, it's, it must be the knee. No, it's, it's like Snake's incredibly strong, very like very yeah. heavy, but it has amazing zoning ability. Yep. And Z really showing us all the advantages of this character very well right here. Absolutely. All right, Bumper is able to recover, yeah, but isn't but able to get off Snake ledge. Snake and going to cover that get up, as it does so often. Go able to recover to the side platform. Yeah, and you see Z, as long as he can remain under one of these platforms, A, it's hard for Bumpers to get in, and B, he has the potential to land these up tilts that can kill. Thanks. Very oh, good, good for jumping me. Nair. Yep. And now going to go in another Nair. Oh, oh but Jab's gonna take it a second time. Jab's taking, yeah, Snake Jab's taking all of the stocks here. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Insane play from Z here. Although Bumper is showing, showing us that uh, he's not done for the count just yet. Getting a fair amount of good conversions here. He, Z now sitting comfortably at Kilka set. Hey, out of shield up smash. That up smash. Watch out, the Bumpers I think does have a sticky on him. Oh, and there, that's that sticky. As soon as Snake loads back in, you know, the stun KO might have mattered there. Give Snake less time to release. Oh, oh the footstool! With the fair footstool. Oh, and the air dodge is barely gonna make it back. Oh, she's gonna make it back. All right, Bumpers side B. Almost getting that kill too. And then Snake is going to be continuing the edge guard. What Z has been so prominent in doing has been keeping his opponents at ledge for so long, but now it's Bumper's turn. He's going in, dash oh. attack, Nair. Both characters weaving around each other. Then Z, but then Snake's down there is gonna be the answer to that, and they're back in neutral once again. Yeah. Snake using those bombs to his advantage. Get Fox out of the middle of the stage. Oh, good jab shielding the jab. That would have killed. Jab perhaps not going to kill for the third time this game. Reflecting oh, Nikita. And he's going to recover. Oh, he's smash. calling out the roll. Using Interesting. The smash oh. on the opposite side. And you see that... that uh, uh oh. And, oh. It. and up tilt. Down to yeah. up tilt. But you do see that down B's utility yet. Even if it doesn't actually reflect anything, just the fact that it exists is enough where Snake kind of has to mix up that the way that he sends the key to Fox. Absolutely, it allows Fox to mix up not like not only well not only the reflecting property, yeah, but then also mixing up the speed of his recovery. Exactly. In general, it's like okay, I can fast fall, I can float, yeah, I can reflect. Yeah, you know, it's it's a great tool to use, especially when trying to recover. Yeah, especially since Fox has so many recovery options in this game. Yeah, and here we're gonna see Wolf from Bumpers. 
Fun first wolf? Did he choose wolf? Yeah. Oh my goodness, he chose wolf. All right, yep. If there's any time to do it, it's on a game three like this. Yep. Bumper is fo saying Fox is not working and gonna attempt to show us uh, what a wolf can look like uh, in the matchup against Z. Maybe perhaps in a different manner than the one we already saw today. <laughs> yeah. You know, Z's proven himself to be very good at exploiting wolf's weaknesses, so we'll see what Bumper has up his sleeve here. Using side B, recovering to ledge. Yeah, yep, side B to ledge is going to be essential. When you go over that ledge, Snake is going to be punishing you with those grenades. The only thing is that Wolf's recovery options are going to be much more linear. Yeah. Somewhat more restricted than Fox's. Yeah. Doesn't even have that momentum difference on the shine. Exactly. But maybe he can use that to an advantage and on stage oh, neutral. But up tilt out of shield going to be taking it for Z there, but Bumper is still definitely putting up a good fight. Yeah. Absolutely. He just needs to find a way to take the kill before Snake. Make snowballs. Yeah, exactly. That's the key. Z Z's just so good at taking advantage of any misstep his opponents do. Oh, Air dodge back to the middle. The down smash. Oh, the forward smash almost connecting, but yep. Z is able to shield just in time. Yep, shielding himself in those grenades. The C4 has been Classic. placed. Yep, C4 is placed in a spot that makes it difficult for Bumpus to act to edge guard Snake, allowing Z to get back to stage. And Wolf now back in the disadvantaged state. Oh, but jumps back to retain stage control. Ooh, gets and get the dash. perfect shield on the projectile. Oh, oh in the back air. Gonna take it for Bumpus. It's gonna take it. Putting up a strong showing and weathering all of like everything that Z's doing just looks so overwhelming. That's a thing. So now will Bumpers be able to utilize this momentum to his advantage? So far, it's looking very good for him. Yep. Yeah. Been able to catch both of them in the explosion. Um, and Snake already perhaps a kill percent here. Absolutely. Both, uh, Bumper, are, yeah. both are already at each other's kill percent. Yeah. It's Bumpers a matter of who can showing first. the people why he chose Wolf here. Oh, and the laser to clank with that Nikita. So good. Nikita's back. Oh, and this time oh, it's gonna drop and hit. Oh. oh, tragic. Yeah, Wolf. Yeah, he wasn't able. He wasn't in a position to reflect it and able to still recover. Yeah, much more susceptible to that Nikita than we saw Fox to be. And Z, kind of doing the thing he's been doing all tournament. Yep, and the edge guarding, 74%. Yeah. 90%. Goes for the tech chase. Doesn't yep. throw out the up air. Does the, does not find the up tilt. Or up the up tilt. Yeah. Oh, and the down smash. Down gonna smash cover the goal from the ledge. And now, one stock a piece. Oh, oh my goodness, he didn't oh, clip. Good DI. DI to the left. He also got clipped by the grenade, I think. Maybe offset his angle oh, a little bit. That's the thing. So now then. Yeah. That was. Bumper is still holding on. Near death. Can't turn into anything. Oh, but Jab is going to do it. Jab's going to take it. That's going to be a swift 3 0 for Z. Just uh, playing a Mac and as always. That's the thing. It's a good game. Ooh, that was. That was yeah, that was intense. That was hype. That was hype and for, intense. For a 3 0, that was really good. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, that was, right. that was really let's good. Let's see what we got on deck. So, let a, let's see. It looks like the bracket. So, it looks like Z will be moving on to, to face winners Oates. finals. Z and Oates in winners finals. Wow, that's, that's going to be something. That's going to be something. It's going to be a good match. So, then, meanwhile, in, in losers, in Octop versus Big Green, who we've not seen on stream today. And then Bumpers versus ESC. Yeah. Yo, this is gonna be incredible. What? Yeah, this is this is looking good. Yeah. Oh, bumpers and ESC right now. That's like a Cornell like legacy. Have it on bumpers stream. versus ESC. We we can't say it's a legacy and not have it on stream. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's all I, I like the match. Uh, it's okay. okay. Legendary match. Unfortunately, not gonna be on stream. I don't know. Why, I don't know why it's legendary. I don't know, like. I I, I consider <laughs> something it in the C. Something in the C 
team that I'm not familiar with, but I, tr I trust the people. It's all good. What will be the next match on stream? Oh, Oats versus Z. Oh, oh my god. So we're going right to winner's finals. Oh my goodness. So this, this is going to be winner's finals right here. Straight to winner's finals. Uh, Oats versus Z. This is going to be quite the match. We're about to see Kirby yeah. versus Snake. Z, see if Z can carry over that momentum for the last set. Absolutely. And I, honestly, I'm very interested to see because Kirby is, you know, Kirby's main weakness is A, his airspeed, and B, he, his uh, you know, low speed, range. Low, and so he has a lot of difficulty getting in. Um, the main Snake, thing I, the, I worry most about he, the weight difference in this match. That's true. Kirby. That's a good point. With the explosions. Yes, Oats is going to have to work a lot harder than Z to be able to get his opponent into kill range. And then there's the fact that Z has been showing an, an amazing ability to, you know, with those with those grenades, make it difficult for an opponent to get in. And that's difficult for Kirby to do to an extent on any character. Absolutely. So we're going to see how Oates, how Oates is able to do it. You know, he was able to get through Cloud's disjoint hitbox last uh, last match that we saw him in, so... And here we go. Let's see how we can play that over the snake. And wow, look, the inhale oh. combos into Futsu. Whoa! And he's able to make it back. That's the thing. There was no wow. Futsu, but regardless, that Oats was able to get the kill. That what aerial inhale showing oh. just what Oats is capable of. That's the thing, and we were worried for Kirby. Holy yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's a com that's the commentator's curse right there. Yeah, exactly. That's that is coming. Come up with like you know. I think Oates has just proven to kind of defy all logic when it comes to his character. Absolutely. Like we 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 out here we list like three reasons why this matchup is probably not optimal for Kirby, and Oates goes grabs him with the inhale in the air and so grab puts a short and disease for style. Absolutely. Now this second stock is much has been much more balanced. Yeah, much more even. Say. Oh, but the down tilt trip to the F smash, that, and that killed so early. That killed like my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, Kirby proving, F smash is deceptive. Yeah. Kirby even living that jab. Snake proving to be perhaps lighter than we thought, and Kirby perhaps proving to be heavier. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, that fake out on the up so There you go. Jab that. Make around the hundred percent. Oh, do it. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Oh, it's getting that grab in the range of that grenade though. It's gonna disrupt him and give Z three straight aerials of advantage there. Now, oh, it's using a lot of safe aerials on shield, or it's made safe due to this spacing. Right now, Z's now got to think, Zay, how to deal with these out of shield yeah. options, especially from Oats Kirby. Able to find his way to the ledge, and Z currently trying to figure out a way to keep him there. Up still, gonna be setting Kirby up. But and I've noticed from Oats, we have not seen a single down B. And I think that, given what I've seen about Kirby, the less down B's you have, the more disciplined the player is. No, absolutely. Kirby down B is always a very tempting option to go for, but Oats really showing that self-control. Or maybe also just like, oh, well, I don't want to move, so I'm not going to use it. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> but it has its uses, though. It could be a cool well, mix-up The, the thing about that. Kirby down B and other moves like it is that you remember them way more when you hit them than when you don't. No, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, and Z gonna be able to gonna get that kill on Oats, bringing this down to one stop. But Oats having a sizable percentage lead here, and kind of able to keep Z away from the stage. Z perhaps feeling a bit of pressure, but not letting that get to him. Getting multiple dash attacks in a row, picking up those grenades, sending Kirby back and forth, and all of a sudden I can see Kirby dying at this percent. We've got a very good. We've got a very good game on our hands. Oh, Z boosting himself with the Oats grenades. Z. Snake versus putting that oh. that C four down though. Advantageous position. Down tilt's gonna send Kirby up. Back air's gonna follow up after it. Z so trying to ledge trap with these up smash. Oh, oh. the back air and landing the back air. Uh, Excellent combo. Air. Sneaking, sneaking a back air in there for that edge guard. Yeah, that um, was very cool. amazing comeback from Z there. You know. What 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 doesn't he have? We've seen you know ability to keep opponents out, ability to get back in, ability to play under pressure. That's the thing, yeah. Despite that first stock, he was yeah. able to just keep calm, collected. Yeah. You no, know, like no play. no desperation. Yeah. Just jump in and place it. Exactly. Just playing very consistently into his game plan. Oh, yo, hi, Jose. Hi, over there. 
Here you go, and they're playing once again game numero dos. Yep. Here you go. Oats versus Nope. Z. So far, nobody has hit anybody. <laughs> okay. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oats up with the uptilt strings. Gonna disrupt that with the grenade, but Snake already sitting at 52. Forward air. Back air. <laughs> gonna see if Oats can, uh... Forward smash! Probably. Not quite gonna kill. Snake's weight coming in clutch there, as we've seen. And all right, Snakes will return to ledge, dash attack to retain stage control. Jab. Yep, sending Kirby go. away to the other side of the stage. Dash attack, finding Kirby his way in. Attack. Gonna have to wear that C4 on the ground still. Absolutely. And then Kirby, going for their own back air. Yep. Snake keep up, keeps up being above the stage, taking that aerial approach. And Kirby not quite been able to punish it thus far. Dash attack punishing that up B out of shield. Yeah. Yeah. Thing into up B. And Kirby he definitely floating around the explosions here. there. And I can't believe that was the first stock of the game. Yes, Both players have been playing so consistently here. Very patiently, just mean care just mean just trying to space to avoid each other's aerial field. Yeah, exactly. That's the main thing, especially watching jumps. Yeah. So at the higher percents. And Kirby not intending on letting his stock go at a similar time. And right now Z down to the table. Stuffing to out Snake's approach and continuing to land up oh but the whiff but the shielded up smash up smash on shield is going to get punished by up tilt yep up tilt just such a reliable punish option for snake kobe with perfect shielding that grenade yeah it's a good out good out of shield option exactly because yeah he didn't get the trip on the second down tilt surprisingly so. oh and kobe trying to oh, oh and the spot dodge looking excellent for oats here but you know we've seen z's ability to kind of pull through these mm -hmm. uh, see the so with that c4 in the dead center of the stage very good position for that I, 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 i'm wondering if i should stop singing with the c4 is i wonder if they can hear me <laughs> <laughs> How's that good? One can we or, or, or we can mention this. Season. Yeah, Maybe not where. we will stop with asked. <laughs> uh, oh, the ooh, clink. the clink, yeah. All right, jab, jab gonna be complaint. putting Z in advantage there. Could be, you know, I, I just wanna. Whoa, oh. the C4. I didn't even know. Yeah, that not, that neither time. did I. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, Oats been doing a great job of weaving through the Nikitas, but C4 is gonna get in there. Oh, and the footstool. And the parry, cool. the parry, the parry there. out of the back air. Snake creating a literal minefield on the stage. Absolutely. Snake going for dash back, or Oats going for the dash back forward smash. Not yep. And Oats finding ways to land, you know, through Snake's many options to prevent him from doing so. And just like last game, we're seeing the game get very close here at the end. Could be weaving around that up smash, trying to keep Snake off of the stage. High percent last stock. Yeah. And then who? And the oh, up smash, up gonna smash. take it for Oats. And we are seeing an even set right now. What a good game. That was long, too. Yeah. Both players playing, you know, Snake playing very defensively, but Oats still finding ways around those defensive methods. That's big. But being very patient in doing so. I feel like that's that's key to playing at Snake, because you have to be very patient. Extremely. Extraordinarily yeah. patient. And Oats really showing his talent to play very patient despite playing such an aggressive rushdown character. At least Oats has been able to weave through all of the grenades yes. and projectiles been and so while, while still playing effective neutral. Yes, been doing a great job of leveraging those multiple jumps for that. Thing. Well, here we go. Yep. Z versus Oats now on Battlefield. Good. Interesting. Let's see how the platforms come into play here. This is Z's counter pick. So he's, he's comfortable yeah. with Battlefield. Wants to make it, you know, wants to give even more spots on the stage for him to be able to keep Kirby out of, but Oats proving to not care here. Nope, not and he at takes all. an early lead, despite Ten the fact that it might be a small one. Yeah, rushing down completely, going for those down tilts to get early trips. Yep, and air dodging out to the ledge. Very nice air movement there by Oats. Oh, attempting to inhale that grenade, not quite reaching it. Down into up B. Is he going for oh, is he going attack? for charging that up smash, almost catching Kirby way there. Oh, up. and then up tilt's gonna take the first stock. Yep, up now tilt. Now Z's going to be up one. Catching Kirby's approach into that middle. 
Now Kirby going into back air. Z returning to center stage, maintaining it down tilt, up throw, back tilt. Or uh, up <laughs> back, air. back tilt. Or back tilt. What, was, what am I saying? Why don't back, you see any back, back tilts from other characters this game? Yeah, exactly. Why no back tilts? Yeah, back, back air. Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, uh oh. It goes for the tech chase, right, covers yeah. with dash attack. Oh, bye, Salmon. <laughs> oh, nice Salmon, yeah. headed out. Okay. Earned a nice seventh place in the tournament. Oh, and that back air, gonna won't. pick up the kill for Oates, but Z did a great job of staying alive there and picking up a lot of percent on Oates. It's gonna be very easy for him to earn the kill now. Oh, but Oates using the back throw, huh? sacrificing some combo potential at the hopes of getting Z into a better position. Mm. Z gonna continue ledge trapping with those up those up smashes and Oats just playing so disciplined around them. But that's oh, C4. The C4, it's gonna drop yep. in the sky and it will explode. Yep, getting that dropped on you. Who can truly be prepared for it? Nice. Oh, uh -oh. Oats with the down tilt. So Z going for oh, Oats at support tilt. Moves for the forward smash, but gets caught by the grenade and yep. shield. Oats gets the trip up. Guarding. Perhaps. Uh, put Z in a kill situation, but Z able to definitely move back to the stage. And the B reverse, <laughs> yeah, the B reverse grenade pull from Z for edge guard position. That was, yeah. that was really nice. He was able to hit that Nikita, get rid of his hitbox, but you know, still sitting in tax stock behind you. That's the thing. Oates needs to take this stock before yeah. it continues to snowball. But based away. on what we've seen from Oates, I think he's truly capable. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Snake gonna be knocking Kirby off with that dash tag and attempt to capitalize on his distance with the Nikita on the up smash. And it works. Uh oh, Z safely like, returning. Oh, the C4 wow. was right there. The patience. Yeah. So get Oats up forward air. Masterfully there. Showing us that he's not dead yet. And Whoa, the first down forward, hit air. forward air into up smash. That's gonna take the stock for Oats, but, da but Jab but is jab. going to do it. Snake, Jab. We spawn jab. invincibility coming in clutch for Z there. And Z is gonna move to 2-1. Nope, he's gonna lose final one to Z. You know, it's like the third the third game is especially in a one one scenario, it's always one of the most important games in the set, because now Z will get a counter pick. Yeah, in this exactly. Set. Neither kid neither player is opting to switch character. And we'll see what Oats has to bring to the table. Here we go. Oats, right. Oats immediately charging him with that flow there. Then getting caught by the grenade. So that's getting a little aggressive. Back air. Yep. Forward air. Or forward throw. Forward air. Yeah. Down tilt. Down tilt. And we're seeing here, Z has a tendency to kind of know what what Oats might want to go for and place grenades in those situations. We're seeing Oats get hit by grenades when he tries to jumpstart Yo, his combos. Using the down B to escape the explosions. Yeah. Excellent counterplay with C4 there. So dumb. Oats. Oats using his jumps to find a way in through Snake's various projectiles. Eventually does find that down tilt, but Snake's able to hit back with that strong dash attack. Yeah, using the jumps to play at his own pace, you know, it's like, okay, well, when I'm comfortable going in, you know, alright, I'll go in, but until then, you know, I'll just wait out the grenades. Yep. Oh, and that drag down forward there to F smash, you're gonna steal the deal for Oats. Getting an early stock lead. That is the Kirby, the classic. The Kirby classic. Oh, inhale! And able to inhale! Footstool. Oh, but what, Snake, Snake is the one who gets the footstool. Oh my time. goodness, Snake got the footstool and now Kirby down. Perhaps it is just dumb luck, or perhaps he has learned from his experience in game one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is pretty 50, I think. Interesting. Still, it's very well done of Oats to notice that opportunity, but unfortunately could not just capitalize on it correctly. Yeah, it's just the angle of the release. You know, sometimes the other characters get the advantage for the footstool situation. But it's high yeah. risk, high reward though. Yeah, exactly. Snake picking up his grenade, throwing it at Kirby, who's perhaps frustratingly not approaching. <laughs> Oats going in. Oats for the forward tilt. Kirby, cover, trying to cover Snake's landing with that high up B, not gonna do it, and gonna oh, die to the up tilt. Very well played stock from Z there. And Kirby trying to chase him into the sky, but Snake proving to be, you know, perhaps a more aerial character than you would think. Really using the, um, 
I don't know. The, I don't know what the uppy is called. It has a name. Oh, I think it's the hyper cutter. No, 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 snake uppy. Oh, snake uppy. Oh, the cipher. Cypher. Okay, yeah, Snake really using the Cypher to his advantage to kind of like stay out of Kobe's range of influence. Ooh, nice edge guarding with that low. Yeah, we see Z really liking the ability to have a high here, especially with the ability to drop grenades and see foils down. Oh, but with the back air, that's gonna kill. Let's see if Oats can make this comeback. And he's gonna get jabbed. So uh, right now playing for. Who goes to Grand's now yeah. then? Whoa, close one on yeah. Oats. Right now, Snake comfortable, has all of the oh. bombs. He's going for clutch, oh. but he gets foot oh. Oh. oh, Oats almost had the low percent comeback there, but low those foot soul mechanics just come back to bite him and Molly stocks them one. Absolutely. So Z is now going to be moving on to Grand's. Yeah. And then, but you know, oh, despite yeah. the fact that he might have been a zero at the end, that was a lot closer than it looked. <laughs> no, absolutely. So we'll see Z. So, so we'll see Oats again in losers finals. But then let's see what brackets look like. Right now. Yeah, three one. That was three one. So now we go back to. Oh, ESC and bumpers. They are still going. Holy cow! What's happening in there? What game is that? That is. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, why really do you have a problem with me close? Uh, because if I hit some, drag some down, and maybe I get smashed. There's really not anything I can actually do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Curry's first option. And I think maybe just try and cover your hands. Not only that, you also fall really fast to catch a possible landing, too. I got that too. Yeah. That was really good. Wow, well, who's that? So you're, you're in Grand Finals once yeah. again. And Z, 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 would you like to get on the mic to give, you, give your thoughts on that set? Or perhaps mm -hmm. the, your prospects for the tournament? Yeah. Uh, prospects for the tournament? Well, first yeah. of all, like, Oats is an amazing player. That matchup is like 80 20 St. Kirby, in my opinion. So, like, the fact that he like does that well is like actually impressive. really impressive. Gotcha. Uh, prospects? Yeah, I'm not sure. How's the bracket looking? Well, here it is. We can pull up the bracket right now. So. So right now you are in win yeah. in grand finals. Yeah, okay. So then, then uh, the uh, 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 versus 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 octop. Yeah, I probably expect to you know, to octop. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Comfortable with bumpers. And then you've 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 also guaranteed yourself some form of maple syrup. Ooh, so I have. congratulations. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm actually more hyped for the maple syrup than the teddy bear. Than the bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the bear if I get it, but yeah, yeah, maple maple syrup. Syrup. when I saw it, like, yeah. I had like, it. Absolutely. I have a file tomorrow, but, like, I have to come to it. The, 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 marketing, well, I'm, I'm glad the marketing team did a fantastic job on the presentation of maple syrup. It, it does it does just look so alluring. It is. It, it is nice. It is good Cornell maple syrup. <laughs> it is cool, though. Yeah, like, e even if Cornell, like, doesn't make the maple syrup in a meaningfully oh, different way. It is from It is Cornell maple syrup. It has the logo. Cornell maple yeah. syrup. So, like, e even if that maple syrup is like not meaningfully different than other maple syrup, it definitely looks better. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, it lasts yeah. like a whole year. Yeah. yeah. A whole year. So if you're still watching, thank you for tuning in. We are currently at three viewers. Okay. Right, back to the first. Not too bad. Hey, pe yeah, people, okay. people are down to uh, are down to start rolling in for, for finals any day now. That's the thing. Let's see. Oh, did we just... Oh, whoops. <laughs> We're at Code Yellow now. I didn't yeah. even notice. Yeah, that actually happened like the, like pretty much as soon as the tournament started. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah, this oh. event this event is grandfathered in uh, because it technically started before we went to COVID or Yellow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. Here, I'm going to quickly gonna I'll, get some. I'm feeling very safe here. Okay. Well, I will stay here. Entertain chat. What's up, chat? How are you I'll be doing? Back. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. Um, I'll be right back. Yep. My, my co-commentator, Akube, he will, he will be right back. Um, currently, bracket match, I don't know what game is that. Do you know what game that is? Okay. Well, um, 
Yeah. Yeah, so top six for this tournament is best of five, so that's uh that could be why these matches are lasting a little bit longer. We will get um uh Octop versus the winner of After this yes, Yeah of ESC and um who's the ESC playing? Oh, oh, please. Yeah. Oh, okay, it looks like that possibly just finished up. Was that the set? Uh, three, two, three, two. Three, two bumpers. All right, bumpers just barely eking that set out over. Um, yeah. ESC there. Top bumpers. Oh, okay. Attempting to uh, use a Kubo's yeah, computer to figure out how to do the melee bracket. Yeah. Like, oh, who's putting the results? <laughs> It wasn't, it, was, yeah, it wasn't Okay, don't I think we can put results in on this computer? Um... But yeah, very hype for Losers Finals. And then we're gonna see Glands. Um... Oh, wait. Oh, true. Right, I forgot about that. This is Losers Semis. Okay, Losers Semis, then Losers Finals and Glands. I'm mixing up the bracket. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna see Octop and I'm joining you on the mic. You're joining me on the mic? Alright, we got we got Z on the mic. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll yeah. Sit here. Yeah. Alright, I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing some Fox Palatina. Yep. It's gonna be kind of an explosive matchup, I feel like. Yeah, pretty like. explosive. I'd say both, pretty even, honestly. Yeah, both characters that can play very good neutral, but at the same time definitely capitalize. Okay. Yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, definitely. Like, if you've seen Light against any Palutena, mainly like Nairo and Chag, he just absolutely destroys them, because Fox can be just so good once he has a Palu in disadvantage. Yeah. Like, the main thing Palu has in that matchup that lets her win is her edge guards on, on Fox, so... I don't think we'll be seeing... Yeah, that. well, yeah. we'll oh, kind of... Like, oh, we should switch to the oh. game. I yeah. Oh, that. shoot. I don't know how to do it either. Um, <laughs> That's awkward. Uh. Okay, please don't click. No. I'm do. Oh, I'm clicking on things and I shouldn't be. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, where are we go? I uh, I don't know. Okay. okay. Starting, well, the match is starting, but neither of us know how to go on the stream computer. Yeah. So uh, you can't quite see it. Um. Hmm. Uh. Scenes. Here we go. Uh, oh. Gameplay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then we. Okay. Good, good job. Okay. I'm under I understand you like. Okay. I, that's how you do it on Mac. I don't know how to do it on this computer. Is there any really cool screen this? Uh, no, no, no. The, 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 he has like a, basically the second screen. Oh, oh man. Wow. Okay. okay. I'll come. I'll be taking that second stock. Or the first stock, rather. Um. The fade yeah. back legend. Um, the fade back forward, falling forward are really good. Ooh. The yeah. Draw counter. We're just playing very well around uh, Fox's options here. Ooh, the whiff combo off the dash attack, you can see it. Yep, back air though. That disjointed pilot there. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a back air, proving to be one of the moves of the tournament so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the double jabs from Fox coming out? Yep. Ooh, the I'll drag down up air on Fox, trying to get a yep. follow up afterwards, but it wasn't facing the right way, unfortunately. And Palutena able to get back to the center stage with that up -y. Oh no, that looks like a missing Caught up on a dash attack. Yeah, that, that's supposed to, that might have been an, uh, an up -y. Like, probably Ooh. an up -y down. Oh wow, ledge cancelled up there, into that dash attack. Able to get Octop back into neutral. And start kind of putting, perhaps putting in the kills. Ooh, raw up smash, catching yep. Palutena. Alright, we got an even stock game. Catches that jump. Fox kind of oh, jabbing Palutena over bumper to the edge. Bumpers with these jab cancels. It's, something, it's like something you see from Snake or Terry. Didn't expect Fox to be doing that. Yeah, Bumper is innovating on the Fox formula right now. <laughs> okay, we were pretty safe dash attacks from both sides, but you see a bunch of raw dash attacks in neutral right now. Oh, oh wow! The and that dab is the good explosive flame, yeah. Oh, DI oh. out on the back there, but still getting caught. Probably yep. an air dodge in time. Very good stuff that from Octop. Down air, that down air to back air is uh, coming in super, oh, super clutch for Oh, forward tail on the platform. I need to see that. I, I, I appreciate how you catch the misinputs, because that's almost like something I yeah. almost never catch. Oh no, I can tell it's a misinput. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fox with those up airs. 
Palutena's game plan on the ground. Hello, he, I'm he never... back. How do we switch to full screen? Ah, that's a good question. Four fingers, swipe Four to the fingers. Screen. I was trying to three. Yeah. Oh, there. Yeah, <laughs> Palu's ground game is honestly very reliant on her zoning capabilities rather than her tilts like Snape. Yeah. If you see Octop doing a tilt in neutral and he isn't like comboed into it, then it's probably a misser, but honestly, oh, unless he's, like, conditioning with down tilt the ledge. We're like, not changing the overlay. F tilt in neutral is very rare for Palu. Oh. Okay, it looks like yeah. more DI in the end there. Da yeah, down tilt catching foxes, a fox on that ledge. But yeah, I agree with that. Palutena's tilts it come out very slowly. Yeah, a lot of end lag too. Yeah. So you don't really see it in neutral unless they're ledge trapping. Yeah. In which case, it's really good. Down tilt's the only one you ever see, I agree. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Octop gonna take that first game. We'll see what Bumpers has for him. Ooh, counterpicking Hollow Bastion, I believe. Yep. Gonna see what uh, Fox can do with that platform in the middle. The, the, the is, middle? The this middle. This is best of five, I believe. Mean. Yes, so. this is best of five. Still have at least so, two more games here. Yeah, so, uh, um, Bumpers right, has time a, to Yeah, this coming. is a bit of a small stage, but I'm really curious how this is yeah. different here. You see Octop going to a classic drop forward air in neutral. Minus five, by the way, so virtually unpunishable, <laughs> unless Bumpers decides to parry it. Ooh, Ooh missing carrying the that crab. side B. Yeah, missing the paper crab, unfortunately. Yep, but trying to capitalize off that before getting it. Up air is now. Yeah, the up air. Yeah, oh, wow. This, this, and that's actually going to kill super early. This is the why, how, why Fox Pally is probably even. Fox is yeah, <laughs> pretty ridiculous again. Yeah. Like, Paul Peter just not taking the initiative yeah, to really land there. Palu is that in spite of like how broken a lot of people say she is, her out of shield game is really not that good. And Fox loves to um, bully people's shields. So. That's true. You see that coming out here. And as we saw there, Paul Tana just not able to find a, like a, a definite yeah. option to get back to the to, to the ground. And Fox and air for the ledge able to pick up the kill. Very adept. With that up tilt Ooh, trying into to go for the, Trying to go for the drag down forward air. Yeah, Florida has weird knock that thing. Oh, and another forward tilt in the opposite direction. You know that's a missing point. Paltana hitting with those forward airs. Oh, the pivot oh. grab. And oh, Fox being yeah. able to air dodge that air up air. air. Yep. Yeah, Palu's down throw confirms that high percent. If you see that hit, that is fake. That is not true. Interesting. You can very, you can very much air dodge if you <laughs> DI correctly. Okay, well. But they can also coming with that good DI. You mix it up. Yeah. Getting that nair, able to first palpitate into the ledge. Let's see if he can. Oh, oh where's the up smash? He's reading the ledge drop, but not playing yep. with the up smash yeah. quite well. Oh, missing oh. another one and getting caught by the lingering flurry to hitbox. Unfortunate yeah. for Bumpers, but Octop still hit, sitting at a high percent here. Yeah, that was an example of where the, the tilt's definitely not missing, but since he's keeping with punishing kill with it. Exactly. And there's the uh, kill. Bumpers with the yeah. very stereotypical ta uh, fox taunts after taking a stock. Love to see it. <laughs> Taunt to take 43%. Where's, where's my taunt to take 43% compilation? <laughs> oh no, explosive flaming off the ledge. Box yeah. is ledge trapping with the active nair is so good. Yeah. Very scary. Oh! Ooh! Barely missing that F smash. Yeah, just enough to get him in the win box. Yeah, but it still is an advantage, so. Yeah? Octa been playing very well on this last stage, just on this last stock, despite being a stock down, and oh, there's that there hit. you see it again. Uh, and now Bumper's, that, Bumper's not air dodging or jumping away. Yeah, this game like, is relatively even. Bumper seems to have lost a lot of the momentum he had in the early game. Yeah, even stock game, though. So. Yep. Oh, and the Fox frame traps is up there, so good. Yep. Bumper's... Ooh, tries to two-frame with that down smash, but... The laser's chip damage. That, that's something that's very <laughs> underappreciated, but that adds Yeah, up. especially with like Fox. That, those two lasers might have just put him in up smash kill percent right here. Right yeah, that's true. Every little bit matters in this game. Oh, and with the back air to keep him out, we've had no jump, but he's back to the stage of the ledge grab. Long top. Very strong advantage to you here. Yep. Oh, and the ledge truck. Find a ledge truck. Not gonna do it. Oh, no, that should have been an up smash. He didn't confirm off the, the light air. Oh, getting a jab. And but here we go. I was talking about again, that Alice, Alice game though. game is just not that good. Fox yeah. Fox just bully her. Paul just kind of has to try to get away and get something else in another opportunity. Oh, and the parry on the back air. Dash attack, though. Very much very. Proving a good boost option. This is, oh my god, this is... Yeah, good. this is so close. Oh! And the f tail just barely gonna eke it out. Yeah, probably poor DI. Did not look like a good DI there. Yeah, and wow, what, a, what an insane game for... Wow. For, uh, for Octop. Very, kept it very close there. Wait. 
the overlay isn't updated. Okay, yeah, you got it. Yeah, why did it not update? Huh? Oh, yeah, let's keep it. Is Alcobay here? Yeah, Alcobay. Yo, Alcobay. Yo, Alcobay. Yo, Alcobay. Oh, my God. I still actually don't know how much. Yo, Alcobay. Oh, yo. Um, the, the overlay is not updating. Yeah. Oh, is it not updating? No, nah, it still says Xenotes. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Oh, Jordan. Yo, Alcobay. 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 Grab hot top. Very. Oh my god, I think we just missed a zero to death. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, I attempted to update the overlay. Missing the stop here. The overlay. It's gonna. Yeah, okay. So now we can see the game kind of through the, through the overlay updating interface. There we um, go. <laughs> Hold on. OBS plugin. And Bungle is kind of struggling to find a way in. Um, oh no, the Jabbar yeah. shield. That should be a big punish. Oh no, no punish. Ooh, parries okay, the side B and gets that forward smash. All right, we we have an overlay. Sick. <laughs> All right. So what is happening here? So Octop's three stocks to one. Yeah. Octop yeah, stocks just stocks really to turned on the heat this game. Been playing yeah, super smooth. I saw the last stock. He did the down throw and just ran up F smash, calling out the fact that bumpers wouldn't do anything. No yeah. double jump away. And it also covering the air dodge, because if he air dodge, he'd still get caught by the F smash. So. Yeah. Players clearly Very picking up on each other's body. habits here. Oh, oh, but that dash attack in the up air is gonna get Bumper some nice advantage. Up top though, not gonna not gonna let the assault up. Trying to two frame with that down air. Oh no, not in the right direction for the up top. Yep. Bumper's with the nair. Octop trying to put the game away. Can he do it? Gets that back air in. Oh, the ledge jump air. Okay, this time Bumper is mixing up his option, but you have yeah. to ask, is it too little too late? Yeah, he's gonna get back thrown. Octop goes for the trump and Bumper is able to avoid it. And Octop oh, still no. just playing so dominantly. Oh, and yeah, catches the side B with the nair. Very good edge guard. That's gonna be a 3-0 yeah. and a 3-0 for Octop. Octop clearly knows his, how to fight Fox. Yeah. Uh, knows the matchup Fox and is gonna Fox. move on to losers finals. Yeah. And play against. Um, yeah, so the seating Oaks. here has been very accurate so far. <laughs> Yeah. With the exception of Oats being Octop, because I think Octop was hit in second above Oats. Uh, uh, yeah. Now we'll see if he can win in the run back. I'm yeah. very excited to see this. Let, and, and we'll see Personally, if I'm... as I am fighting the winner. Of yeah, them. and we'll see. Uh, Here, you want to you 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 get back on the line? Oh, sure. Oh, okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Yo! Oh, we can! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Okay. oh, yeah. You want to, like, you want to, let's present this on the stream. Yo, this yeah. is like, let's, let's do this on right. stream. Okay. Here, I can go Oh, much appreciated. Last time you said you have a we have a projector here. Yes. We should do grands on the projector. That would be amazing. Which one is fourth place? Fourth fourth place is the one right in front. Oh no, uh, it's the it's the BRB switch. Yeah, the, all that. Yeah. All right. So welcome, bumpers. You're on stream. That was some great Fox gameplay. We present some some Cornell so, flavored treats. We've got some accessorized oh, chocolates. I hope you're not allergic to anything. Uh, I, I think it's so. chocolate. I hope some, it's chocolate. some pineapple shortcake. Uh, some pineapple shortcake straight from Taiwan. Wow. <laughs> and two five dollar Cornell dining coupons. That's nice. That is really These are nice. pretty cool. Yeah. Two BRBs. That's, 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 that's a solid meal at Trillium. Yeah, this exactly. one expires this semester. This one expires next semester. Okay. okay. So okay. you're gonna want to use that for the next week. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a finals meal right there. Yeah, there's gonna be this is a finals meal. So yeah. congrats that's to bunkers. Nice job. Awesome. So that was so that was one priest just got uh, the first uh, the fourth place prize, and so and Z, you're 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 looking forward to to claiming some maple syrup today. You've already have some yeah. maple syrup. Even if on I got second, I'm still getting the most maple syrup I could possibly get. So. That is true. So it works out very nicely. You'll be fighting for the bear now, or did anything? I am, yeah. 
Is it also, really, that's a pretty good incentive too. So, yeah. hope to win. Absolutely. Is Wavy gonna join us on the mic? Is Wavy joining us on the mic? Yo, get over here. Let me grab my controller. Yo, you mean a okay? How have you been? I'm good. I got seven. A seven? I was seated. I was seated eleven. So I'm five and seven. There we go. Improving on the exactly Cornell win. Yeah, okay. yeah. We, we love a good. We love Mario. Mario. Set up the Oats has D and D at seven. Oh, so DMD at so seven. Our top is IRL timing it now. Oh my god. Yo. That would have been like, whoa. Imagine. Yeah. Imagine. Yeah, this is going to be a really fun set. No, no, Absolutely. So we're going to have players. That's the thing. I think we're going to have to see the cloud again, if I had to guess. Cloud looked like it was working out really nicely. Octopus Cloud? Just for Kirby. Yeah, exactly, just for Kirby. You know. He is a Palo Sephiroth main. Very tall characters with very tall hitboxes. Oh, yeah. Kirby is a very short character. So you can imagine how he feels about those matchups. Exactly, that, that that makes sense. And then the, I imagine it was because of the dish joint. Look, yeah, the character of Titan too. That's a, oh, yeah. I just think they both struggle getting it's, poking the. And Palo and Seph both had some common flaws, namely, no really amazing adequate options, unfortunately. So they kind of are just bullied by people who mash on the trio. Mm. And if you look at Cloud, you see that like frame four up the other shield that is a huge ass sword that is really down from him. And he also has the up smash too, both of which can hit grounded opponents. It's a very logical pick. Thing. Well, here we go. Octop and Oats, they are on the set. So now they, they are about to play. So I'm gonna, yeah, so I guess we can assume Octop will choose Cloud again, as you said. Yep, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing we'll see the Cloud. So now this is Loser's Finals. Wow, that's exciting. Oh, you don't have to, Holy uh, cow. Oh my god. So third place, and now they are fighting for maple syrup. <laughs> Both have yeah. already obtained Extra maple syrup. syrup. Extra maple syrup. syrup. They've already had maple syrup. There's more maple syrup at stake. More maple syrup. Oh, no. Understood. One is fighting for the cup, another is fighting for the pint. Who is gonna obtain the pot <laughs> of maple syrup? Wait, is this for, is this for third? This is this for, is for third, yeah. Got it. Okay. And Whoa. I haven't actually fought Octop since the first tournament. So and I that was game 15. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, I'd be really curious to see if you can punch it out here. Alright, yeah, and we are seeing the Cloud versus Kirby. There you go. We saw Limit. <laughs> really <laughs> limit charging. Uh, yeah, I love that limit. This frame one limit charge. <laughs> And there, there is the up yada show that I was mentioning before. Very useful to this matchup. Oh. And notice how he DI'd the up beat out, so Octop decided to not do the second hit as to not get punished. That's something that's really important too. That's true in this matchup. Because it's one thing to use up beat out of oh, shield, here comes the up punish from landing. Yeah. Oh, and that up beat out of shield yet again. Now limits on deck, and um, Octop is sharpening with the back airs. That move is kind of a menace. As you, if any one CEO both throwing out twelve back airs in a row versus Peach, does rising back air hit Kirby? I do not believe so. I would Probably find not, it right? very difficult. So if you noticed, Octop was doing mainly falling back airs. Mm. Yeah, it's like the micro, the, the spacing game at this point. It's not just throwing out back air, oh, but it's, oh, it's throwing falling out. out. Octop's landing with a raw F smash. Very amazing read. Oh, oh the, the trip. Down tilt trip. Oh shit. Yo, some JJ, JJ? Yo. <laughs> What's that mean? Oh, oh no. the JJ. Oh, oh no. Yeah, that's Dang. the Double one day. downside to Cloud. I want to eat my shoe. Why lock the shoe? Yeah. yeah. No, he's just not as good as he was in Smash 4. Obviously, you can't keep Limit forever, but also the recovery is very susceptible in this game. Incredibly susceptible. That's true. You're so right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, but it's okay. He has true combos to finishing touch yeah, now. It's, 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 it's done. It's Path 4 wasn't as big of a deal since edge guarding in this game is a lot more prominent. So I think, I think, in my opinion, so I think Cloud just suffers a lot more. Mm. Also, J Jaw J Jaw refers to another Kirby. Oh, player. okay, got it. I, I didn't catch the reference. <laughs> but, wow, Octop so was challenged two stocks, but now he's evened it up with the blade beam. Holy cow. Even stock game. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, dude. We didn't go for Fading two. away after the first hit. Fading away, drifting out. It's like, how am I gonna land? Rushing forward yeah, air? Falling forward airs are safe on Kirby Field if spaced, I believe. Which, oh, that's really good. Oh, the cross slash into the back air. Classic clock, cloud, cloud combo. And also, the, the cross slash is really good because that'll hit Kirby whether he's dying or not. Mm. Oh my god, Oats trying to end it all with the edge guard. <laughs> 
Very scary. Yeah. Many, many there we go with the back air. The, the abs, that, that move is an absolute menace, but you see constantly coming out. Absolute menace, yeah. But Oates trying to go for any edge guard option he can. I mean, anything will do. That was a crom air dodge. <laughs> that was a crom air dodge. Yeah, with the limit. Very scary situation for, for Mike Kirby here. But Octop not going to need it. Sealing it out with the, the rising up air. Rising up air will catch Kirby's landing. And then Octop's now going to take the first game? Yep. That puts him up one out. That's a thing. Yeah, that's the mind games with Cloud. Like, your opponent's just constantly, like, in fear of limit the blade beam, the cross slash, but he can also just use it to, um, for the speed buffs and kill you in many other ways, especially if you're Kirby. That's true, I forget about the speed buffs for the yeah. Cloud. Yeah, that Cloud. If you notice, like, Spargo's Cloud, he always, he's probably the most reserved Cloud of using limit. Like, I see him, like, just straight up let it go away, and he never even burns it sometimes because he's, like, speaking the speed, speed buff. Mmm. Oh. I'll look out for That's that. why he's second best. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> oh, oh the platform the stopping the Kirby. Yeah. And the up the shield to call out the fair. Very smart. Another up the other shield. That's, 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 that's going to be a pretty good I have to get past the sword. He did. <laughs> there he goes. Able to land up the other shield once again. Ooh, oh, trying to just call it out. Oh, the jab lock with the down tilt. I have not seen that before. Yeah. I was not aware of that jab lock. Interesting. Neither did I. But then again, I did because he did that to me in our set. Oh, damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> so I knew that one. <laughs> Much felt. Oh, oh no. the there. One, two, buckle my shoe. Like we said, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're done. done. You're Sounds done. explodable recovery. Being shown off the yet again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kirby there, I think, I, I believe Kirby there is incredibly underrated. You know, just run off and then drill and then yeah, at the same time. Kirby's surprisingly decent at edgeguard. Definitely decent at edgeguard. Oh, punishing yeah. the, da the dash, cross up dash attack with cross slash out of shield. Very good awareness from Octo. Mm -hmm. Canceling the cross slash, another mix up. Oh, being, oh, it's actually being able to air dodge. Is he low profile or No, he air dodge that. I don't think you can low profile cross slash at all. I just watched, I watched a low profile of Meta Knight dash attack today, so I'm just kind of convinced that anything right now. And I'm not going to burn the limit to recover so that he doesn't have to worry about getting edge guarded. Very smart. Oh, it's kind of just fishing for the raw F smashes here. And our top one is not um, getting hit, so you have to wonder. Space out. The thing is not the right thing to do right, right now. Because right usually he gets and it through the down tilt. Is the backer going to come out? I, I, I saw one. Okay, now he's playing. Alright, forward tilt. Another edge guard situation. Oh, oh, air dodge. Oh, you're fine. Oh, uh, no! Somehow not being able to make it back. I'm not sure what happened there. Even with limit climb hazard? That's weird. Yeah. Did he lose his but this mind. is still Cloud Kirby, so. This is true. Oh, <laughs> Seems to charge up limit once. And Kirby is the protagonist of this whole game. Oh, no, the inhale. But good, oh, great good mash. mash. Very, yeah, it's a very common thing you see from Oates trying to inhale people off stage because it, it apparently can combo into footstool, which is really interesting. He did that to me our first stop, and mm. it was very, it was very unfortunate. You shook. You shook him. Okay, but even stock game. Even stock now, and now even now Oates has the advantage here with all this extra credit. Oh, the raw F smash Oates again trying to call it and seal this out quickly. The drill. Didn't oh, combo the dash attack on shield going unpunished. Oh, oh my god, off top shield is a skittle right now. <laughs> yeah, Kirby's not gonna grab you at 113, so he's yeah. just like kinda chilling. He's down he's down to shield everything. He's very much playing defense here, throwing out the the, the, the menacing back air again. Well, you got limits, which should be fine. Yeah. Oh, air dodge yeah. needed. Air dodge to reserve one, the limit. Oh, we see the cross slash come out. I was gonna say, you have to wonder if we're ever gonna see a finishing touch after the boss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, touch the after jab the reset, finishing touch. <laughs> jab reset, question <laughs> mark. Look at for sound like. Oh, oh, down no. smash. Yeah, Hitting yeah, too no. hard to the ledge trap. One, I think one. he probably thought he was um, at a good space to punish the roll getup, but whiffing, unfortunately, and that's a hard punish. Mm. So yeah, spacing is everything. Spacing is indeed everything. Just, yeah, especially like the difference between like, oh, okay, as yeah. a cloud, you know, I can't use rising yeah. back air. Yeah, you notice like, like uh, Octop has not really been using F2 in neutral much because Kirby, I believe, just straight up ducks it if he's down tilting and stuff. So you really only saw it come out there trying to ledge trap and commit to the roll read, but 
Mm -hmm. I think he had the read, but I think he just didn't have the spacing. That's what it looked like. But yeah, 1-1, one, one, right? 1-1. One, one. All right, very tight set. 1-1, one, one. yeah, best of five. So. Right, now whoever wins this one will have a huge advantage. This is, Mango says this is, the, this is the game that decides the set. <laughs> I, I agree it's worth. And he's played a couple majors before. <laughs> so, you know, he, he has a few majors under his belt. He's got a few wins under his belt. <laughs> you know, how are the summer people doing right it's now? Also, it's, he turned 30 today. Fun fact. Wow, Happy birthday, Mango, if you're in chat. Wow. Yo, happy <laughs> <laughs> he, he is our one viewer, Mango. Yeah, yeah happy okay, birthday, top Mango. An advantage here. Just juggling oh, yeah, like, um, <laughs> The game. Ooh, in the blade. Oh, yeah, the game. Wow, the blade be not killing. I thought I forgot how weak that move was. I thought. Like, Kirby at the Legend of 90, I definitely thought he was dead. I forgot how weak Cloud was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so, here we go. Cloud reclaiming center okay, control. Oh, he's even it up. Oh, trying to catch the recovery with the down smash. Oh, no, off top he was in the range to up smash out his field. But just barely not. No. Lotus is going to recover. Oh, and the nice. back air. Up, 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 up top able to even it up immediately. Yeah. Oh, very good. And combo. even letting it snowball so two with its momentum. Two hits, Two hits. <laughs> Cloud is strong. <laughs> oh, more time has her. Good drift. Oh, well, good SDI from Oaks. Yeah, even regardless of how well he's faced the Kirby down air, Cloud can probably just be out of field now. So, very good recognition for Off Top. <laughs> Another up field shield. Classic shield. And this is exactly how the first stock was, and, and now we've got it, and then I've got it. For play of the oh, it's very wisely drifting away from the up smash out of shield range. So you know Our top is golfing right now. <laughs> he's golfing. He's up smashing. <laughs> he, is, he really is golfing. That's he's golfing. That's the thing, he's like, four. Out of, out of shield games. Kind of insane, not gonna lie. Oh, oh, got some oh, wow. from the blade okay. beam. Healing the blade beam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're super negative after that, but apparently <laughs> Imagine? Can you just punish it? Can you imagine punishing it? Crawling at the fact that Octop would shield after landing with the back air and Oats shield grabbing it. Very great punish. Oh, both players just kind of waiting in shield, waiting for the other one to strike first. Oh, oh no! I no. And, yeah, the, you have to wonder if Octop should have just used the limit to recover safely. Because those edge guards are really menacing. Yeah, he did. I think it was, it was either him or, or Oats, so he was just like, alright. Yeah. Oh, the down tilt. Uh, a little unsafe, but it's fine. He didn't get punished. Alright, cross slash at the other end. Alright, throw. Yeah, Cloud, Forward. unfortunately, not really having a very good grab game at all. Another one of his main weaknesses, but calling out the inhale with the short hop. Second back air ledge. Yep. Nice. Classic back air ledge. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's a question. Oh, in the jab block with the down tilt. Up top needs to start hitting these techs, or else um, Kirby just gets the down tilt, down tilt. Oh no! That's it. Yikes. Yep. Yeah. Clouds recovery again. And Oats gets the pivot game. The pivot game. Oats. To Oats. So now at least Oats will get the counter. Yeah, the Oats has been um, uh, definitely like um, striking less on up top of the field unless it's very well spaced to avoid the upbeat up smash on a shield, especially kill percent, so that's really good adaptation. And of course he's like taking advantage of the cause whatever, so I'm not surprised by that. And we have to wonder, are we gonna see the cloud pick? Or maybe another counter pick? Yeah, someone with a better recovery. Probably not gonna be Sephiroth, Palu, honestly. Um, I to guess. Oh, it is gonna be Sephiroth. It's gonna be Sephiroth. Octop Soul Mage coming top out. Sephiroth. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. This is his Soul Mage, if I had to say. Is Sephiroth not in your system? Yes. Sephiroth is not in my system. <laughs> yeah, forgot to Getting the Shadow Flare and Kirby, interrupting the combo. Yeah. Here we go. Well, we'll pretend a Sephiroth icon. Yeah, Ooh, hitting him with the Octoslash. Um, oh no, you're dead. Yeah, he's that is why Sephiroth is the same not weight. Perfect. Yeah, There's, not only is Kirby they actually the same, they're the same exactly. Yeah, but Kirby's F smash is very good at killing. Uh, I've died to that as 84% a snake, and I'm a very heavy character. So you can only imagine how how, how much Sephiroth struggles against that. Yeah, yeah, we see a lot of Nair. 
Nair is actually the only aerial uh, uh, Tuck can really use in this scenario. When Oats is crouching, he crouches under fair, back air, and even up air, actually. And the downer is obviously really unsafe. But Sephiroth with Wing is a comeback character, one of the best comeback characters in the game. Yeah, I just feel like dealing with short characters, Sephiroth just seems like a pain in the It does. Mm. No, absolutely. Don't try and deal with that by the ledge. It's just not worth it. Oh, and Octop using the very um, rare wow. flanking strategy as Sephiroth. He, he's so good at flanking. It's yeah. actually insane. And the flanking will be actually proving to be really good, but both striking with the up stat. So I think if you got a couple more hits, you can lost win. So, is this big brain? Yeah. Oh no, Octop committing too hard to Kirby lands. Oh, it didn't get the counter. Yeah. Oh no, going for the falling That's up there, not going to hit Kirby. Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what, I, that's what oh, I would think. Oh no, planking with the F tilt with Kirby's down air. Very unexpected. He's a dish pick, but even stock game and Octop does have the wing. This is a top five character now with the wing. In my opinion. <laughs> Maybe not against Kirby, but <laughs> in general. <laughs> Here you go, yeah, Sephiroth, he says he's in oh, danger. In the he trying to the Shadow though. Flare. He, he was ducking there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy. Yeah, Sephiroth, honestly, more of a zoner than a lot of people might expect with Shadow Flare. Whoa, back oh air! That's gonna kill! Back throw bar, Shit. back air. <laughs> Jesus Holy Christ. Cow. Wing five. Sephiroth. Game five. Sephiroth took that, game five? Yeah, if you noticed, the... That's cr... That's... I was in? Yeah, so I've played quite a bit of against Octop Sephiroth, and I have to say, he's definitely one of the best Sephiroths, like, period, at utilizing his entire moveset. Like, the way... It, Sephiroth's just such a technically difficult character to play, because keep in mind, with the wing, your entire mobility changes, so your yeah. fastball timings with your aerials are all completely shifted, and you obviously really want to perform well when you have the wing especially, and not die to Kirby F smash at 70. So <laughs> Octop is re being really good at utilizing, utilizing the wing, has been, it makes sense why he plays that game. He has Final Fantasy music. And now we have game five. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So maybe he's, that's a buff. <laughs> it is a buff. Yeah, uh, it is indeed a buff. Sephiroth's tools are super good, but they're really hard to use, I feel like. Yeah, they are. And especially against Kirby, a lot of your stuff that you want to hit him with, you just can't really do. Oh, I'm trying to do the footstool out of shield um, down here, but. That's the Mars. Yeah. It's facing the F-Tone. Yeah. Uh, Two of them. So now this becomes the real. This is where, like, we exploit Kirby's Sephiroth. way. Octops playing Sephiroth. <laughs> but this is where Kirby's active range gets exploited. Yeah, I know. Getting a frame trap by get, Kirby. I like oh, the idea of like Octops. That's gonna kill Kirby. Kirby. Um, yeah, Sour Spot in the back here, that makes sense. Octop trying to thread in with the Giga Flare. Ooh, the Giga Flare. Yeah, shit. Um, okay, up it. Up there. Side. Oh beat. my god, three shadow players on Kirby. Stock up. It's up there. Oh, use such this a good rock. Rock. <laughs> That is very smart. Nice. But the number of That was a really good rock, but he's just he's feeling it. He's just right now. He's off top doing the little yeah. dash dance. Yep, so that's, what, shield. <laughs> that's the best punish you can get. <laughs> he didn't hit him from the fair one, so he's just like, alright, I'll just shield him. Oh, and the counter. This Sephiroth counter pick has proved to be very effective. Oh, the stone! It worked! Yep, still Do you down trade your stock for your 30 there? To, I feel like it's not bad. Is this too little too late? Well, we'll find oh, out. Is Kirby able to get the grab, but the up tilt? Oh no, the counter. One of the best counters in the game. I think it might have the best multiplayer, I'm not sure. Not oh, I guess Joker counter. But it's definitely one of the best counters in the game. I think it might have the best multiplier. I'm not sure. Someone needs to back check that. Um, yeah. Light I think Joker's is the best one. Uh oh. Oh, oh he that's tech. huge. Very good tech. That's a huge tech. I mean, that's a tournament. That's a tournament winning tech. That's it. That wow. Was a tech. The Sephiroth counter. Uh, uh, Sephiroth counter. Oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah, I was not expecting that, but wow, he yeah. actually did it. This is the thing. That was and crazy. So Octop is going to take. Losers, he's gonna finals. You. He will, so yeah. So now we're gonna see another Octop versus Z. It's the one all the way on the left. The maple syrup and pineapple cake. Oh, it's, we've got something for you. Come over. Come over. We're gonna present it. It's gonna be great. It's, it's gonna be great. All right. Hello, everybody. Meet Oats. He just got 
third place at our Cornell Monthly, and we wanted to present him something. Maple syrup and pineapple cake. It is your second place prize. A whole pint of maple syrup. Oh! Or wait, no wait, it'll be third place prize. No, it's third place prize. Wait, it's third place. Oh no, third is, third is that cup. You said I'm confused now. Third is this? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay, sorry. You get less. You get less. That's fine. That is it, okay. Alright, I believe I am playing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yo. I haven't seen this one. First tournament actually, where we went to game 15. Game 15, they did. Congratulations, Ode! We're going back to where we started. You got maple syrup. You got maple syrup. Congrats. Let's get maple syrup. That's pretty cool. It is pretty neat. It looks like very good. You help support Cornell Maple Research. Thank that God. is true. And education. And education. We got all the maple, the maple makers. Here we go. All right, so it looks like it's time for grand finals as a consequence. is likely in the back. Him, but yeah, I should get over on the side. It's fun yeah. commentating. You should. Sure, no, yeah. Thank you, Z. Good luck to both of you. Good luck to both of you. Hoping I'm, to see some good gameplay. Yeah, I mean, the last time I played, I went to a lot of games, so I'm hoping it will be good. Thank yeah. you for warming the seat up for me. No problem. <laughs> All right. So for our viewers at home, we've got here are the current prizes. So we've got maple syrup pretty cool so we've got so first place is now fighting they they are they both first and second place whoever whoever like no matter what happens in this next set both players are going to be receiving some a whole pint of maple syrup and a pineapple cake however <laughs> <laughs> Only first place is going to be receiving the bear. this the bear. Cornell the bear. Whip the bear is what it's all about. 2021 yeah, bear. Definitely. It is, it's it not is. Build a Bear, it's Mascot yeah. Factory. It mascot mascot Factory. Fa legally distinct Mascot Factory. Legally distinctive. Wait. And you can take uh, off the <laughs> chain. Oh, huh? thank you. So you can deep rope the bear. You can deep rope and the bear. That's so interesting. Why would they you can't take off the headphones. <laughs> so I don't know if the shirt would ever be a go bring. That's 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 me. My headphones never come off, but the shirt sometimes. Ah, no. uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. Yeah, no, maybe, no, maybe no, no. Let, let, the winner let, can do let it. The winner, the winner, winner gets to do, the winner to. gets to disrobe the bear. Yeah. <laughs> I think disrobe the bear is the name of my upcoming metal band. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh actually, we could. It has a zipper. Just, just open the screen. It has a zipper, bro. <laughs> That's so sick. All right, hold on. Do we want to use that projector? projector? Hey, who wants to see grand finals on the projector? I'm kind of down just for whatever. Right. Right. It sounds annoying. Right. Next response is, right. let's just get it going. No, you guys wouldn't be playing on the projector, but the gameplay we would watch would be on the projector. Yeah, let's do it. We just don't want to do I don't think people are that. Yeah, you guys would still be playing on that one. I don't think. I don't think it's worth. I don't think it's worth. Is it worth? Can we move that big to your team? Jacob, can we move the big turkey? Who wants to do this? Who's? All right, I guess it's happening. <laughs> it is indeed. I didn't. I didn't get any interest okay. from the players. I was two. <laughs> when did you? What did you back throw that? That killed him. Game four. I don't remember. It was like fifty. It's crazy. Wait, what? Did he back through? Well, he didn't actually kill him. He back through, back through. Back through, back through. Oh, okay. But it was like, it was so good. It's so good if they don't grab you. The bear is a zipper. You can unzip the bear. You can unzip, you can not only undress the bear, you can unzip the bear. You can de-drift the bear. You can de-drift the bear. Back air. The bear. This is, uh, got him. This is, this, this, in, in honor of Octop, this is named Palutena Bear. We don't know who wins yet. Well, I know. I feel like Octop's been using a fair amount of bears. I guess, I guess Snake's been, been throwing out the bears as well. I suppose. <laughs> I'm excited. Do you know how to do it? That I do. Okay. So let's see. Hold on, chat. We're gonna quickly upload this to the projector for the sake of the viewers. So we're watching. So the stream is gonna be on the projector. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna extend it. And then we're gonna. Yeah, I used to play like every day. Like a little bit. Oh, 
Well, we've come a long way. Yep. This is this was been a, a hell of a ride. This was the first grand finals of Chrono Smash, and it will now be the last. For the semester. Yeah, that's that's kind of funny. Last. Yeah, it's a. Uh, we had a little bit of a character oak going in that sense. Who won last time? Z1? But it was game 10. That's insane. So. Have, you, have, have these players played in this tournament yet? I don't think they have. They have not played in this tournament yet. No. They have not played yet. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna get Here we go. I wonder if we're in this. No, me too. Yeah. Are we both? Uh, no, 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 but then you hit like Sam Sora and you go to the Sam. Okay. Alright, let me get back to the seat. Hopefully, not everything. <laughs> we give up the projector? Yeah. Smart. <laughs> I think like, this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll work out. Oh, okay, they're switching switches. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Wait, what happened with the projector? Uh, it's, it's not gonna work. I don't know why it it's not working. Real quickly. It's not working. It's <laughs> going to, though. We're forgetting a projector. Damn. <laughs> So extent I don't know why I turned off though. You forgot about that. It's so good to play with the They're playing on the modded switch. There's a modded switch? What's it modded with? Uh, Octop has special costumes for Snake and for, for Sephiroth. Oh, wait, that's funny. <laughs> So I one time I played on his switch yeah. set and it was last hit game five and and you lost to the cop. No, the mods the mods broke the switch and it crashed game five. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. Uh, I kind of do. I don't. So I got. Is it on? <laughs> You pl did you plug the HDMI into your computer? That I did. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. change the you have to change the projector input. And it identifies the display. You just change which I don't know if that Uh no. I don't need sure. Not a big one. Yeah, the switch is Yeah, we we're coming to the model down the switch, so please good. I really want to Trust me, you know, I said this whole thing, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's there, but it's identified. Uh, Oh, it's I don't think you really want to get any of the Yeah. No, no, I agree. Shut up! No, shut up! I think I lost it. Yeah, yes, he does. He literally has laser. It's really fun. The laser is way worse than the other one. No, it's laser might be bad. Laser is going to get it. You can get like, they can get laser. Laser sucks. Yeah, well, no. Yeah, probably a good time. What are you supposed to <laughs> Uh, 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 like you literally can go grab that like seven and if you, you if you have four, you get better just like four. I've had that done with people in the car too many times. Uh, uh, getting the side I only want to get my music to it. I'm like, 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 I'm like,
Hello, chat. We have a whole viewer right now. Whoever you are, thank you. And I, you know, whether this is on in the background or you're just watching it full screen, pretty epic. Uh, trying to figure out currently how to hook this display up to the projector in the room which we are playing. Um, and efforts so far seem to have seemed to be fruitless. No fruit to be had with these efforts. Oh my god! Okay, I changed my mind. There is much fruit to be had with these efforts. Um, we've got a, a, some incredibly talented people here at Codell uh, who have skills such as making the projector work. Got it. Um, all right. Projector is is, is a go. Oh, projector is a go. I'm just saying. Oh, now we just walk in. And now we set it. And now we set it. Why not duplicate? Oh, sweet. Okay. Right. So, so we have the projector is live. Projector is live. This is pretty cool. This is a really modded switch. What the? <laughs> Yo, who switches that? It's off top switch. Wow, you guys off top switch is modded out the, out the wazoo here. That is modded up the wazoo. The do is that a dark red background or is that a black background? It is. The stream is on there. The stream is there. Oh yes, you guys are good to start. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep. So let's see. Off top is playing Palutena. Yep. Off top going through that Palutena here. Back to the classic. Z is playing Snake. Let's see it. So this is now grand finals. Let's go. So Cornell monthly forty two. Yep. Grand finals. Best of five. Yeah, both players looking pretty even so far. Snake attempting to attack Palu's shield with those ledge traps. Mm -hmm. And now the winners and losers icons yeah. finally mean something. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Off top. Really coming after Z here. Really connecting all his attacks well. <laughs> Paltana jumping around the stage here. Moving so swiftly. Z able to kind of try to keep her at the ledge though. Paltana holding that grenade. Gonna be able to throw it down to get back. Alleviate some of that pressure. And here we go. Z using dash attack to maintain stage control. Yep. And then using the Kita for the edge guarding. That's Ooh. gonna catch. But oh, but not gonna kill. Great recovery from Octop yep. using the DI and uh -huh. the air dodge. And I'm using landing shield there to cover the up smash as well. And dash attack snake. Dash attack's incredibly underrated. Yeah, yeah. Dash attack is such a funny move for snake. Oh, and Octop able to ledge cancel that up to move down to the platform. Oh, and perhaps... There. Oh, I thought that was a missing poop, but no. Using it to get back to the stage. And Octop sitting at 144 right here. Not showing any signs of slowing down. None at all. Catches the last hit box of that nair. Will it be enough? Looks like not. Explosive flame catching Snake in the middle. They're going to be extremely dangerous in, com in combination with his grenades. Snake. Oh, oh the, the counter. counter. <laughs> but oh. the back air. <laughs> That's a bear. Dang. We'll see a good question. No, too sure. Hmm. Up top with the down air forward air. Or down throw forward air. Tempting to down air into every single one of his aerials at some point today. And just as I say that, the down air back air. Or down throw back air. 
classic. We've been seeing it all day. It's been eating so many kills. Oh, maybe. Up here. Yes, yeah, because it exploded, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not too sure. Not too sure why we did it. He's our mascot. Banjo is our mascot. <laughs> He's our mascot. I wonder if the players have been playing harder if I barely were dressed like Banjo Kazooie instead of in a generic winter sweatshirt. Honestly, a winter that's, sweater. That's a really good question. <laughs> yeah, you can see all the the cherry blossoms in the background. From exactly. The modded battle. <laughs> I didn't even notice yeah, that. Yeah, what? <laughs> 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 Octop, so trying to get back to the stage here. Z is trying to set up those special up smashes. Yeah. They have some work to do. See if you can get a good edge guard. Or... Both players have been playing very good neutral this entire stock, but Octop still, you know, leading on the back of his previous accomplishments. Gonna get that side B. It's not quite gonna be enough. Z has the force to jump away from the second one. It looks like the auto reticle is gonna catch the up B. And that up air is gonna come out. Z does the air dodge preemptively. And is able to kill with that jab. Very nicely done by Z, but he is at 155. We'll see if off, off top can run this set back and bring the set to a glance. Z moving through everything off top is trying to use to keep him up in the air. But off top, here we go. Z at 188%. Yes. Oh my back, goodness, though, catches the dash attack with the grab? Doesn't even tumble. Knows he's dead there. Mm -mm. Yep. A very good game one though from off top. We've seen Z two stock, three stock people all day. You know, off top is certainly proving himself to be, um, you know, a worthy competitor here. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, Windows. Oh yeah, now I'm doing Windows <laughs> manipulation. Hold on. Alright, there we go. Are you sure? Projector is looking... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's all good. It's running, doing some magic. Oh, okay. Um, so Octa gonna open up with a nail, not gonna connect it into anything though. Very uncharacteristic for him. No stop this. Alright, let's see. So Switch back with auto reticle and is able to shield those bombs. Zero moving very carefully here. Back and forth. Okay, so here we go. So Z going in. Both are starting off really even on this first stop. Yeah, plays a clearly very good match. Z going for the edge guard, using the up smash. Up top, jumps right over it. Yeah, like just just a little bit. Z going off stage, but getting back quickly. And gonna use the C4 in the jab to try to stop Octop from coming back. Octop though, gonna hold out that shield, not quite gonna break. That's the thing, it allows a lot of shield pressure. Uh -huh. And the back air beat out the up it. That was on the way. Yeah. And just look at how fast Octop starts moving when he even gets in a little bit of advantage. Like the pressure this guy's capable of applying. And insane. the mix, like dashing in, jumping back. Yep. Oh, with the roll the read! Oh my god! Oh, oh but the up, up smash, smash in return. I've not seen very many of those today. Not at all. That, that's the first one I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, that's going to be down throw. Back is not going to connect. As he was telling us on the mic earlier, that is fake. And ostensibly, the fact that he knows that would mean that he is capable of avoiding it. Lots of lap, lots of matchup experience here. Yep, and the side B going to take that stock for off top. Game's still looking relatively even. As both characters throw grenades back and forth at each other. <laughs> That's the truth. Oh, there for Palutena into dash attack into a nair. Alright, yeah, so gonna jab. break through that side B with the jab. Oh, Palutena gonna get the trip with the neutral B going into side B and then up air. What a connection. Both players now drifting around each other, trying to find a way in. Absolutely. Snake, Snake going for the jab, yep. using the Nikita to the bomb. A lot of explosives at ledge. Yep, all right day now. he's been using that jab to amazing efficiency, just like there. 
Got the kill with it. How many people have seen that a snake jab today? <laughs> oh, quite a lot. <laughs> many stocks have been taken due to snake jab today. Yeah. There's a snake there. Yep. Oh, we're gonna try with the explosive flame. Not quite gonna land in the next spot. Snake living that due to his insane weight. Gonna stuff Taltana's approach out with the neutral air. Oh, but that, is that a back air? Or down air? It looked like back air. Okay, well that back air is gonna take it for up top. And again, that stock was pretty much even. Up top starting with about 50% while Z's at zero. Let's see who can make it happen. Z able to kind of keep up top up in the air here. Combination of up smashes, C foils, up airs. Up top finding his way back to center stage though, gonna hit, get some hits with the nair. And Snake firing that Nikita off, attempting to keep Paltina off the stage. Paltina still using that auto let it go with space. Snake jab though, put in some more work. Paltina sitting at 157. And up there's tilt. the up tilt. Nice. And just like and that, it's even. Yep. Z putting another game away. You know, uh, people have been saying, as soon as we knew this match was happening, last time this happened, it went to game 10. I yep. don't think it would be unlikely to see something here. Both players seem to be playing very evenly. That's the thing. Thinking of the same thing. It's game 10 scenario for you. Oh, we're going to something else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, hang on, I gotta go deliver a switch though. Okay. All right, uh, looks like they're going into game number three. Hey, Thunder Phoenix. Hello, saying go Octo. All right, Octo oh, no, we got some, some people support for Octo. People support in chat. Yep. Speaking of which, Octo is off to a good start. Yeah. percent But then Snake, 37%. Yeah, but just off that down there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, from there and then down to into back air, into yeah. jab. It shocks me how balanced this game is when I like see like like so many moves in isolation seem so broken, you know? And then just like and then just combining them. The wind box from the down smash. Something to be noted. Oh no, dare dodge. Hey, but he's gonna recover, buddy, and he's gonna tech it too. Back air. Only takes a nair for his troubles. Yeah. And Gonna see this dash attack come out here. Nikita coming out to try to punish the recovery. Not gonna get it. And when we see a back air here, we will. Yeah, we uh, back throw. I always I keep saying air when I need to. Oh, that's oh not good. dash attack sending very high up. It's insane how even these percents are right now. 139, 136, 151. And then up yep. top will get a hit and then it'll be even. Oh, and then Snake Jab. Oh my Snake goodness. Jab kills. Cannot believe Paul Tan is living that. We'll reflect the up smash. Oh. But then another one. That's I wasn't even explode. sure who died there at, at, at some point. It's hard to tell who died. Yep. Oh, Z, wow. Z, jumping out of the up air. Yeah. So he wouldn't die. Could I, could I come and disrupt it a little bit by that uh, grenade? Uh, oh, back, back air. Throw. Back throw. God. Oh, no, <laughs> Not quite gonna kill. Hey. Ooh, it's like right, good night, JD4. <laughs> See ya. Take care. Yeah, Snake carrying that side B twice with Palutena, but still gonna get the kill there. What a move. Oh my goodness, now that's a lot Is he able to set up the explosions to go off all as Palutena comes back to the stage? All of a sudden, Z is looking in a very good position here. Ooh, that side B. Paltana avoiding that despite it going in circles there. Right there. 
smash. All right, dash attack. Probably yeah. death well attained. Yeah. Dash attack. Black top playing excellent neutral here. Despite a lot of yeah. pressure, especially on shield though. And there's that jab. Gonna kill again. Z say no. I I I heard I heard the, the rumors about game ten, and I'm not going to let it happen. <laughs> Oh my Ooh, Octa be able to convert that getting hit by the grenade into a back air. Right there, into there. Yeah. Oh, Another and the landing back air to cover those get up. And this game all of a sudden is looking very even once again. Indeed. First hit dash attack. Yeah. And then got so much just happening on the screen right now, dude. The snake. Many explosions. Able to hit that Many jab. Right now, is the snake going for the edge guard? Palutena going in for various aerials. Shields to dash attack, shields, back throws. Let's see, now the edge guard situation. Snake going in with the dash attack. Get some sort of aerial. Looked like in there. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna get two jabs. Yep. Nikita edge guarding. Up smash. Throw. Up down here. throw. Dash attack. <laughs> side B. <laughs> Up top recovery. Snake using so many moves. Got an up top. Up top. Trying to break through. Back though. air. Back air is not. Back gonna, air. Not gonna land though. Up smash. <laughs> Jab. Jab. Whoa. Game. Yeah. Oh, is that up tilt? Oh, yeah. That all of a sudden. Snake jab is boo boo. Oh, you're right. Wait, I've that's been, been F tilt this entire tilt. time. Bro, I've been calling that jab. Bro, okay. That's amazing. We, we've we been calling right. F tilt jab for so, like hours. Wow, that's F tilt. That's, that's, that, and that makes much more sense now. Yeah, then it kills. That's true. Jab is not fun, 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 fun. Yeah, he has like a like a, like a rapid jab, right? No, he does three hits. It's oh, okay. three hits. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. No, but that is F tail. Okay. Yo, Sephiroth Octa counter pick. Opting, opting to make the switch to Sephiroth here. And see if that performs any better than the Palutena against Snake. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we got Sephiroth leading that forward with Snake ducking under the side B. Clearly has been around the Sephiroth uh, ring a few times. Sephiroth though capitalizing off of that Side B finally hitting, getting that back air. F tilt gonna come out from Snake. Now we know it is not Jab. God, someone who was watching the stream was just being driven absolutely mad by that. There's someone, there's someone out there that's like, oh my God, when are they gonna realize? When are they gonna? <laughs> oh wow! And Sephiroth tries to convert off of that bomb explosion to get Snake with the back air. Luckily, he got the back air. That's gonna catch him. Off top still. Damn, I've never seen a Sephiroth play like this. This is insane. Snake using his duck to his advantage and catching Sephiroth to cover with that up, with that up smash. Sephiroth still got that one. Oh, and no. Oh my goodness, goes deep for the fair. And up top is shadows into down smash. Oh, yeah. up tilt gonna catch. Up tilt is gonna catch him, but up top is, for lack of a better word, absolutely schmoozing right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Z not done yet. Getting his conversions, setting up the bombs at the ledge, keeping up top in a disadvantaged position. Up top gonna use that sword in the wall to his advantage. He's still gonna get caught by the bombs. Nikita, not gonna move here. And now, Kate is a back in neutral. Sephiroth has the wing. Will it be enough to put this away? That's the question, yeah. Snake needs to take this stock sooner yeah. or later before Sephiroth snowballs with it. Because mm -hmm. it's gonna get harder and harder as time yep. goes on. Exactly. Luckily, does get that on there. Oh, Sephiroth. Wow, good shield. That would have killed yep. the shield that was there. Yeah. Sephiroth, aware of that snake up tilt, you have to be. Both character shields are pretty small, and that F tilt barely gonna leave Sephiroth alive here. Oh! Oh, the explosion from wow. up smash. That ledge invincibility just barely wears off there. He was masterful timing. Oh wow, the characters are climbing in the air with explosions. Right, wow, the cypher oh, triggered the counter. Oh, and he under. 
Because he had a definitely a disadvantage here, but we've seen what he can do if the opponent loses even a fraction of the focus. Whoa, and then up air. The up air. That's one of the advantages of Cephaloth. Can we finally... are at game five. Game five. Game five. Yeah. And Cephaloth is one of the few characters in the game that can actually punish that high snake recovery that Z has been going for this entire tournament. We are currently at a at a game five scenario now then. Crazy. So if Octop can take this, then they are going to reset for another set. If Z takes this, then, then Z will get the bear. He'll be he'll obtain the bear. He'll be the bear of the bear. And a whole pint of maple syrup. Yep. Got Sephiroth versus Snake. Yep. Up top. Obviously choosing to run it back with Sephiroth given how well that last game was. Z immediately leading with the C4 on the left platform. We'll see if that can pay off for him. Sephiroth getting some nice conversions here. That snake getting into the ledge already. That C4 is gonna be relevant. Snake. I like how Z has been crawling to approach off top here as to avoid getting hit by those side bees. Oh, and that back air. Gonna catch Z. Able to shield the, that, that. That's jab, right? Eh? Not that. Yeah, What's that for us, dude? Oh, you're four two. We now know it to be four. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the grenade triggered the wink. Yes. <laughs> I did. I did. All I saw was like, I was fine with you. All right. Ooh, ducking under the nair there and using F tilt, barely not getting that kill. But the up smash is gonna seal it away. Sephiroth attempting to use that grenade, but Snake pulling out the shield as always. Kural coming in clutch again. And Snake using that power cover, gonna have to watch out for the massive up air there. Off top. Oh, I was about to say, his still not get, not get hit, but here we go. He's, get, he's getting his combos as 48% off the down tilt. Oh, maybe an explosion? Oh, that shield is not gonna do it for you there. Those will break your shield. And the octop the full throw. throw goes for the dare. The oh, up the up tilt tilt is catching Z, pulling him up off the ground. Still very even game here. Although Z definitely seems to be adapting to Sephiroth a little bit. We even saw it at the end of last game. Mm. Oh, and that up they're gonna set that explosion off, hitting both competitors in the process. <laughs> Sephiroth perhaps charging that projectile but deciding it's not the right time to use it here. Parrying that back air, getting the up tilt off of it. Oh, and Z failed to crouch at the crucial moment there. Oh, and that Sephiroth side B is going to break up his uh, forward tilt. Dash attack, putting him in an advantageous position. Forward tilt, again. Such a good option. And because he just shields that yeah. in shielding makes it standard oh. stage control. And barely dodging that the, back air. For the back air. Yep. You know, absolute threats. Sephiroth getting that foil throw. Got to fire off the projectile to go to the ledge. He can, he's, he's able to jump over it and use that explosion to get out of the grab. Not gonna get him out of the back air though. And Sephiroth, with that wing, can really go deep. And wow, that is just catch waiting, the catching landing. the land, not even moving anywhere. Just yep. up to it. So now then, oh, power tilt. All right, and this is last stock of game last five stock. of grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Winner of this game determines the setup, the reset, <laughs> or yeah. a bear. Exactly. Those are the two options here. So then, will Octop stay alive? Yep. Percentage is looking relatively even still here. Back throw Zero. is gonna come out for Sephiroth. Oh, but it's oh, the is gonna get gonna caught gonna by cancel the, the Octo oh. Slash. And now Snake down tilt. Oh, but Sephiroth's gonna get the grab. And an edge guard with forward tilt, but Snake's gonna fly above away from danger. Oh. Except when he's trying oh. to land with the C4! Oh my god! Gonna goodness. trigger the wing! Not gonna die yet! Oh boy, and, and now Sephiroth so is in a winged state. Yep. 
Snake jumping around that solid so at with such agility. Zephyroth getting that back throw. That's gonna cool. chase Snake Forest out here cool. with those aerials. Oh. And now Snake's above him, and we've seen how good Zephyroth's up airs and up these can be. Will Snake be able to land. Oh, oh the core took the second out place. of it. And he gets the weak up air, which also probably would have killed. And oh, that up, up smash is going to finish it. And that's going to do it. And that's going to be the tournament. Z so sitting at 123 on his last stock there. Wow, what a close game. game. Three. All right, Z. it's time to present awards. <laughs> Friends, come over for his birth. Yes, <laughs> fellow Smash <laughs> brethren. That was great. It was game as it should be. Yeah. <laughs> All right, wonderfully close game there. All right, friends, and now we get to behold. do what everybody's truly oh, been waiting for. Over here, over here. Is the um? Hopefully, there's like enough space. On the, the award ceremony, yeah, the very formal award ceremony. We've got a mini award ceremony here. Yeah. So. Oh, um, really. All right. Yeah, you want you want to switch the? Oh. Well, yeah, so we're doing the switch off. Oh, okay. Switch yeah, switch, off. switch the view. All right, here we go. The commentator view. So. Hello. Hello, everybody. Undefeated Hello, in Cornell tournaments, by the way. Hey, nice. All right, I got... Can I bug finals? No, I haven't got some games yet. Yeah, no, no. I'm going to go for it. But okay. first, we got to give the prizes. Oh, yeah. So, Teddy bear. so to Octa, so we're second place, you got yourself a whole pint of maple syrup and a Taiwanese pineapple. Yes. Congratulations. And Z, Z first undefeated yeah. this whole semester. Crazy. Sure? Yeah. In every tournament he's appeared, That's true. he gets pie, Taiwanese pineapple much. cake. A whole pint oh, of man. maple syrup. This is what I came for. And, yeah. then, <laughs> and then the Cornell Winter Bear. Yeah. Congratulations. Very impressive. That is, that is incredible. So, I got to play with you. Take them off. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. shoot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to do a bug finals. I, I, I would love to play some Are we streaming finals. the bug finals? Well, well, let's go okay. off top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some... yeah. Sadly, yeah. all the viewer support was for Octa. Yeah, all the viewer support Octa. Chat was in your corner, bro. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Deal. All right. Well, I'll just log in here. Yeah. Be like, yo. <laughs> all right. Where's my control? All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna be commentating in that case. Stream? I don't know. Oh wait, guys. Does anyone know where a red bag went? Oh, it's on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I got confused. Uh, like, like, like in Pokemon? No, yes, exactly. <laughs> I hurt myself in my confusion. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, it's a set to a Oh, sorry. Oh, what? Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> Alright, so Thug Finals here. Uh, as as anyone who has attended Slash V Smash tournaments will know, um, this is the only match that really matters. Um, and here uh, we have. I hope I'm pronouncing this tag right. Anekikia. Anekikia. Oh shit. How many how many tournaments do you have to be in to be on the PR? <laughs> um versus Z, the winner of the tournament. Um <laughs> Let me try to find the tag. I don't think anyone who only attended one was that he has Yeah, but I like. So, I, obviously, I, I might be oh, losing no, a little no, bit for my, my co commentator here. Uh, would be quite the refreshing upset. Uh, we'll see what character he picks. But everyone who has gets right. I like everyone who's off there. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Some hype tag setting. Go Sammy. Alex, I don't know who Sammy is. Is that Z? I guess that must be Z. <laughs> I don't actually know Z's name. That's crazy. Let's see. What? Ooh, we got the, the, B, the B plus A attack plus special. Smash attack. Ah, oh, quite a bold choice. I don't know anyone who uses anything else for special attacks. 
Alex. Yo, Alex. Let's look at the 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 um, so let's see where the players are going to go here. Seem to be discussing it over. Lila, no, Pokemon, okay, Lila's not even legal for this tournament. So uh, all of you out there who've been salty in the past about Lilac's legality, uh, congratulations, this is a tournament for you. No Lila at all. Um, and we got Roy showing up from, from Anube here. Um, not Diddy Kong. Is Roy not on this? Roy is on this. <laughs> I avoid Sorry, game. trying to configure the layout. Alright, so it looks like... Honestly, it's off to a decently even start. Oh no. Right, I forgot the projector's full screen now. So it looks like we're off to a decently even start here. Like, whiffing that up being gonna get punished for it by a down throw. Uh, Snake, leaving those grenades at ledge and covering the get up with the back air and going to take that stock with the explosion. Um, Z showing the same, uh, you know, zeal and effort that he has been all tournament here. And Roy, kind of looking for a kill right here. Up B, not exactly gonna do it, but he will chase Snake up there. Uh, fail to cover the landing. F kill, just barely not gonna kill Snake there. Wait coming in clutch. Cypher gonna be smacking Roy for a little bit. Oh, and there's the Dancing Blade. Classic Roy kill move. Every, every Roy knows this. Every, every person knows this. If, you don't, if you're watching and you don't know this, go get the person exam and see if you're a real human being. Um, both players kind of whiffing a little bit of neutral right here. Um, although, Snake kind of trying to decide what he wants to do to cover this get up here. Opts to just go for a bunch of jumps as opposed to setting grenades or something like that. Getting caught in his own explosion, like really, whiffing the up B, but hitting that nair into the F tilt, and this could be big. Gets that F, F smash to capitalize. Snake has that parry into the blue dash attack. Like, he's kind of running around, seeing what's, seeing what's going on. Oh, charging that F smash and just gonna get punished by an up tilt for that. Uh, yeah, you know, you don't get to become the, the most, uh, the name of the most notoriety in the Clanel Smash scene without being able to punish a F Smash coach in the middle of the stage. Um, both characters kind of floating around here with aerials right now. You gotta carry that side beat and get the F tilt off of it. And Z, just take your dominating lead right here. Gonna get that down air, so much damage on that move. Um, Gonna sticky go and back throw to blow up the, the sticky and that's gonna be game. So it was looking fairly even towards the start there, but after that first stock got taken, Z was just doing his thing. Looks like we are in fact going to game two of Thug Finals here. Um, yeah, it's gotta be like, oh, those are on the long sides, let me switch that. Yeah. There we go. Oh, wait, no, but they're, they're sitting on the opposite side of their, of their players on the screen. All right, well, um, you know the players already. So, uh, I mean, you know the characters already, so we should do this. Um, yeah, I know that. I thought it was pretty good. So, uh, Light, the 50% here, uh, trying with that neutral B, not gonna work, and in fact going to literally blow up in his face. Snake getting, okay, that was a real jab. That was an actual jab. And Snake, waiting patiently for Light to finish that side B, getting the dash attack. I'm really coming back aggressively with the up B, but it's not gonna matter is that explosion is going to do him in once again. 
And Lily, in fact, being able to use those explosions in to his advantage, hitting Snake into his own explosions. Snake with the back throw, getting Lily away from the stage and attempting to keep him there. Uh, but, you know, trying to go deep with that nail, not going to be consistent with that game plan. And Lily's back in the middle with the counter. Uh, not going to put it away, but going to put Lily in a very good position here. Snake able to cover his return to the stage uh, with the ex with the neutral lead. Um, and players are now back in neutral. In fact, Lily has to play across this Nikita and the up tilt. Got to take it for Z, a man who has shown that no matter what percentage he is, he is not a kill percent. Uh, Lily is going to secure the kill with that up B, but, you know, you have to wonder if it's too little too late here. Um, of course, though, comeback's always possible, and, you know, Lily, Snake, Snake already sitting at 50%. Um, however, Lily's stock is about half gone as well, and whiffing that up B, not gonna be good, but Z misses that punish. Attempting to set some stuff up on his side of the stage. Yo, this VOD's going on YouTube? I did someone to review what I did wrong in both of those. Hey YouTube, what's going on? Like and subscribe. Um, you know who will not be liking and subscribing probably is Snake, given the fact that he is dead now. And Loy, you know, Loy, very explosive character to take some quick stocks. Uh, we're gonna see if Z can finally fall here in the finals. That's fair. Holy Tilt, gonna come out, dropping that Nikita, ledge grab anyways. Um, there's gonna be dashing back and forth very quickly here. But that explosion's gonna put it back at disadvantage, but he can get back. Oh, and that whiff up be not gonna be punished by Z. Very interesting there. It's a mini nair. Oh, and the side B. I can kill Matt early, but the straight explosion gonna pick up some knockback there on Lai, get him out of advantage position. Both characters dancing around each other very efficiently now. Snake able to dodge that forward smash and get the up tilt. And that is going to be game two of Thug Finals. The Z. Yeah, I know. It is, I did. It, it's because y'all are sitting on the wrong side, so I tried to swap it over. Yeah. And is this going to game three? It is. So this is a best of five. Uh, perhaps going to be even more intense game five. Uh, game three here. Um, and on Akitia, switching characters here to Marth. We'll see if, um, you know, that maybe less, of, less aggressive, more measured approach is going to be the key to beating Snake here. Uh, so far? I don't know. Too early to say. That up B out of shield, though. Very important boost option for Mike. It's going to be an essential component of his game plan. Explosion into back air. The same combos we've been seeing from Snake consistently throughout all of his time on stream. That up, oh, that uh, get up attack gonna cancel out that um up smash, but the the, the down beat. Wow, very well placed, sticky there. Uh, Kim Snake gonna get the up beat out of shield, but Snake still coming back to the stage and. We, what we've seen from Z is anything to note so far. He'll live past one. He'll live past 126. He'll live past 107. And you know we see that now. Not afraid to hold shield in the middle of those uh, bombs, despite the fact that Mark is Mark is packing a shield break in the in neutral B. We'll see if uh, Mark can use that to his advantage at all in this set. Change that. Yeah, my helping move tells you to go back. I think the fast can. Got that overlay change to most. Snake's in a comfy 165 right here. Um, just has not been. Snake's been just throughout this entire day been doing such a good job of just having like being able to live for so long. Uh, Mike is finally gonna be able to put the stock away though with that upbeat burst. Uh. 
Oh, and perhaps it's going to get a little string going here. Snake attempting to go for the reverse edge guard with the forward air, but not gonna miss. Gonna hit that second time though. Both players spiking each other to hell and back. And Marth able to keep Snake out a little bit. Um, using that forward smash. Uh, trying to use that down to keep him off ledge. And, you know, Snake are they 115 again. Um, oh F tilt can stay, not gonna kill, and the F smash, going to put this to last stock. Very well played stock there from Anahika. We will see what will ha what happens here, uh, the rest of this game. Up B, getting back to stage safely. Um, oh my goodness, and we have a little bit of a, a kerfuffle there, is what I would call it. Uh, a little bit of a mix-up, and that's an F tilt. And that will be game. Thug Finals unfortunately taken in a 3-0, but it was close. Um, that was close. I, I don't think that that could be called. That was not like a shutout as as the Thug Finals could tend to be. It's an emergency best of seven. Emergency best of seven? Okay. We got the emergency best of seven for Thug Finals here. As is tradition. All right, I'm gonna stay on the mic. Uh, comment, mo commentating that you know patience is um patience is gonna be key here if Mike wants to win. And yet, taking 39 in the first 10 seconds of the game. Oh, that counter gonna be punished. Z seems to be very aware of that option. Gonna try to drop the C4 on him, not gonna get it. And the Wolfgram Ledge is gonna be able to avoid that up smash. Ooh, two frames with the F tilt. Oh, and such an unfortunate SD for Martha. Oh, me, I'm the homie stock. You have to respect it. You do, you have to, it's, it's Thug Finals, you got a homie stock. Especially when it's 3-0. Um, you know, not, not a knock against the seriousness of Thug Finals, though. I think, uh, we may be forced to forcibly adopt to this bear away if Thug Finals go against this. Oh, shield break here! And he's on the platform. How am I capitalize on this? Not with a tipper. That's how. Snake able to back out of that explosion. And using that dash attack to use that C4 and end most stock swiftly there. Uh, we have more than his kind of tournament stock here. Uh, is what I'll call it. <laughs> um, Snake's got that up tilt and the down air, laying on the percent heavy as he is known to do. Leads the roll in with the down air. Just the most damaging move he's got in his arsenal. Oh, and Moth is sticky. Oh my goodness! Moth counters that sticky. Amazing foresight there for Ana Kikia. Um. And. Oh, that shield was almost getting it, but the up tilt from Snake. Gonna take this out. You know, we saw some pretty hype stuff from most that game. That amazing prediction about when the C4 was gonna go off and countering it was, uh, you know, uh, the galaxy brain for sure. But not gonna be enough to take the entire match. So that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a full, uh, uh, unfortunately, in the finals. All right. So, I, I believe that will be, be wrapping up our time on the stream here. Um, but, uh, yeah, great tournament today, all around. Saw so much good play. Um, I got two VODs to analyze for myself. Actually, I probably won't. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to. Hey, you're back. You want, well, t tell us. Oh, um, what, are, what are your thoughts on the Thug Finals? Alright, the Thug Finals Z is really good, so... <laughs> I have a lot of fun <laughs> yeah. on, I guess. I don't know, it's just... Yeah, neutral is... I, I guess neutral is something I'll gain sure. with more experience. I yeah, think. exactly. Yeah. And uh, Z looking to be playing the Mega Man and Friendlies, but as Friendlies are starting, probably be signing off on the VOD okay. for now. Sounds good, yeah. Yeah. Alright, yes, you want this to be on stream? Alright, okay. Oh, okay. We, we, we We're gonna be commentating some yeah. families now? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll, let, I'll let you handle this. I have to do some homework. But oh, yeah, yeah homework. It's been a. Uh, Actually, been, I need been, to do homework. Alright, well, maybe. Should we, should, should we just end the stream then?
Uh, we can just keep it up. I don't know. Very well. <laughs> yeah, really? maybe, maybe, maybe with no commentary. But yeah, it's been great commentating here today. Yeah, um, I mean, thank you guys for viewing in, or if you're gonna watch the VOD later. Yeah, thanks thank for, you for watching. watching this. Like, like, and subscribe. Like, and subscribe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I would appreciate a subscriber too. A subscriber. Oh, that would, that would okay. be pretty well, yeah. Well, um, yeah, I will, I'll be signing off here. Perhaps commenting in a future event, I don't know. But hey, sounds good. Yes. Take care. Okay, oh, okay everybody. I'll grab my notebook in your chat for reading purposes. Oh, I have a long time. Oh, really? I have tapped them. Okay. This explains a lot. Okay, this is bad. Yeah, okay. I don't have tap jump on. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Oh, you play like Broken uh, Oh yeah, I play Broken Yeah. Or well, it's a GameCube controller, but it's it's the game. The Switch thinks it's a Pro controller. I was like, I'm it's like a game. Yeah, I didn't switch the GameCube. I was like, I'm still having some inputs. I was like, that would have been, been cursed. Didn't act like that Broken That's okay. Hello, good people. I'm gonna be. Reading yeah. signals while we're online, so if anyone wants to hear about some cool um signals, you can while watching Smash you can listen to some stuff. This is this is not it. So to, for today's friendlies, we're gonna be reading DTFT and sampling. So a DTFT is a discrete time Fourier transform. What the fuck so, are you talking about? <laughs> I'm I'm studying while we're streaming. So so you know I'm 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 t telling chat about the, the studies. You know maybe they can relate to said signals and discrete Fourier time oh, transforms. I, I that was a tight air dodge. That was that Yeah. So. So sometimes in life you may have a signal, right? And you know your signal will be discrete. So the difference between continuous time and discrete time being that you know in discrete time you only have a limited set amount of points, but the number of points in a continuous time signal is infinite, uncountably infinite. You know. So. So while a dis so while a discrete time while a discrete time signal is countably infinite, a dis uh, a continuous time signal is incountably infinite. As in, you can't count all of them, but it's still infinite. It's infinite that you can't count, but that's only the difference. So. The Fourier transform part comes in when you're trying to change the domain of the signal. So usually, these signals are persist in the time domain, correct? But sometimes you're working on a problem where you want to analyze it in the frequency range, right? And you know, sometimes the math can be really tricky when you're trying to worry about frequencies in the time domain. So you can perform a discrete Fourier time, the discrete time Fourier transform to put it in the frequency domain, and then the problems become addition and multiplication algebra kind of stuff. Pretty neat, right? So that's a discrete time Fourier transform, and there are like these nifty equations that have to do with both. So a DTFT. So you have x of omega is equal to the summation of negative infinity to infinity of your signal, your discrete signal x of n multiplied by e to the negative j n omega. So it's a complex phasor. And then that omega in the x equation is all is a real value. So it's a real continuous value. And there's an inverse of that signal in which you take 1 over 2 pi and then you integrate over a negative pi to pi the x omega signal times e to the j and omega. 
So some important notes. Not every discrete time signal has a DTFT, and not every two pi periodic for your transform uh, you signal is the DTFT yeah. sum yeah. 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 signal. 269. Nice. Oh, by the way, who's here? Anyone? Anyone here in chat? A anyone here? Yeah, exactly. Is, it, is anyone listening to the to the, the story? Yeah, exactly. Someone's on the VOD listening. Listening on the VOD. Oh! It, it, it seems to be one viewer. There's one viewer who's listening. Oh, I, I should change the... the thing. Oh wait, who won the last match? I did. Ah, nice. Just add one, make it a five. <laughs> Actually, that's cool. It would be just be a total. Just keep the streak going, see how long until he loses one. Hey. Yeah, yeah, so these are now. Bug finance. I would thank you. Yeah. I thought he was never going Yeah, I'm kind of sick of losing to like bad matchups and like getting camped out for like 20 minutes. Oh, what time is it currently? Uh, it is 7.8. Okay. I think I'm getting out of here, so. People gotcha. Like, 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 like. The time limit. <clears throat> Crazy, we're now on code yellow. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's not a matter of how long you find it, though. I wasn't trying to do a whole lot of extra stuff anyway. <laughs> yeah, same. Sure was gonna do so much partying during finals that. <laughs> oh no. You joke, but like, don't you last like four days a lot of people? No, it's been like. Oh, seriously? Dang, that's understandable. Oh, whoa! An upset. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Wow. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh my god. Uh, the, the giving taken ratio. Oh, everyone, everyone rolls in, roll back in the up there, and we get to work here. Very cool, Kanye. You died for that. I did die for that. Yeah, I want to just call it Eddie. Alright, looks like now would be a good time to end the stream. Alright, 
Alrighty, viewers. Or, oh yeah, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> That's true. I assume people were just switching in and out. Hold on. Here. There we go. There, there, no. I get my 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 little five seconds or so. Five seconds. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Alrighty, for whoever's still viewing, thank you for watching for this long. Oh, there are two viewers now. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, that's quite the note to end it on. All right, so, well, I guess you don't want to hear me reading about discrete Fourier time transforms. No, we do. Oh, this seriously? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, let's go. All right, so. So we've got some more important notes on discrete time Fourier transforms. So it turns out that not every discrete time signal has a discrete time Fourier transform, because some are just really weird. And then not every transformed signal has an inverse discrete time Fourier transform to change it back to a time domain signal. What does this read? By fiat, extended definition by linearity to say Okay, so they just they just wrote it different to include linearity. So that means you can take your signal and separate it into two parts with scalar multiples, and then you can combine them if you, and then you can take DTFTs of both of them and recombine them. That's pretty sick, you know. So linearity holds for the discrete time for your transform. And then let's see, what are deltas? Oh, deltas are a pulse signal, so it's a pulse signal that I believe is either 1 or infinity, or no, it's just 1, but only at a select point. It, it works out for discrete time signals, right? But then for continuous signals, they're really quite a pain, but it's all good. So now let's see. I suppose I should learn how to solve these instead of reading them, but reading is also meaning. Given an LTI system with impulse response H, say system has a frequency response when every input of the form X of N is equal to E, J, and omega now. All N is a valid input for which a system, the frequency response of the system is the DTFT or H bar of H in DTFT holds. Okay, so the frequency response of the system is H bar. Gotcha. Really? Oh, is someone playing Chrom? Oh, so close! I love like, Chrom. Like ultimate is like so broken that the only way to stop your opponent from doing Yo, did you pull that off? Yeah. Whoa! Is that 2-2? Two, two? Yep. That's not 2-2. Two, two. Well, it's actually 5-2, but yeah. 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 Also, probably. I feel like I want to like play English to make it better, but I also love that. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see some chapters. Oh, you viewers will love this one. So, the Z, so now we have we're on Z transforms and LTI systems. So, first, what is the relationship between the Z transform and a DTFT? So, let's say X or Z is equal to the infinite summation over a discrete over the discrete time domain of a signal x of n multiplied 
by Z also, to the negative one. one in two. So that equation, that x of z, that new function of z, that transformed signal, has a range of conversions. And the unit circle, where the magnitude of z is equal to 1, is contained in that range of convergence. So if the range of convergence of signal x is in between radius a and radius b, we have our a is then less than 1, which is then less than b. Then we can plug in any z equal to e to the j omega, where omega is a real number, into is a real continuous number, into series for x of z. So what does that mean? That means you can now plug in e to the j omega to a uh, z transform signal. And that will equal the discrete summation, the discrete domain summation of the x signal times e to the negative j and w for all of those. Okay. I don't know if it's possible, but I literally can't huh. make my nerve. This is gonna be awesome. I do think that's it. Like, like, probably if you go out, it's just not gonna be a serious thing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And of course, you get to use power there. <laughs> what a good book. Oh, meanwhile, ESC and Z, they are on the last stock of the. Final game in this best of five club finals, if it remains best of five. Oh, not the spike, but oh, and the Luigi. Oh, close. That'll do it. That went to game five. Oh, no, I'm good. Final tomorrow. Oh, God, yeah. Yup. Oh, yeah, we're about to give a final tomorrow. What are we doing? Alright. Alright, it looks like people are done playing, so we're gonna log off for today. And all of you guys watching, thank you for joining us. We got finals to study for, as you may have overheard. So, we'll see y'all later, okay? Thank you for joining us today. No, I didn't have finals.